Hello folks and welcome back to Core Farm. Here we are, we're starting to do the road in, so and already Crash Counter plus one. <laughs> Just started off the episode and already crashing Crash Game us two. But yeah, so in this episode we are starting to do the roll in. We need to roll all of our fields, get that yield bonus. There we go. So we have a look here. Look at the yieldage. Yield bonus, 68%. So... Oh, 75% now. So updated. So yeah, we need to put fertilizer down as well. It's only half fertilized, so... But we can do that when they start growing or something. Not too much of an issue at the moment. But yeah, I think now, since we've come to the end of March, I think we can fast forward a few months afterwards, just to advance time a bit, to progress a bit, because I think now don't really have to do much, unless we get any contracts popping up, which I don't know if they will, they should do. I thought we've had more in March, but yeah, still nothing. Greenhouses are doing good, apples are doing good, so yeah, at the moment it's all working out really well for us, so we have do you think we need to have a pallet storage facility so all the pallets we could be producing? Just simply because we are producing a lot of pallets. Obviously if I had 75 grand, I'll get the production that will get some apple juice, I think it is. Yeah, apple juice. Yeah, we can go with apple honey, but we need sugar and bees for honey. We can buy the sugar in. Don't think that's out of the realm of possibilities. So if I have a look here, do I have the particular mod in enabled? So no, it's not those. No, I don't. But yeah, pretty sure there you get like the pallet add-ons. Was it the pallet edition? Yeah. Yeah, it's all here, so... But yeah, we can look at that, see what the prices are. If it's worth it, then yeah, sure. We can buy some sugar in, import some sugar to get some apple honey, but... I think if you can just go with apple juice, like... As we had a look in that episode, they are really good all year round, like, prices-wise. Because, yeah, if we have a look at the prices... Go down here to apple juice. We'll see what I'm on about. So yeah, apple juice. Here we are, 3700 at the moment. We'll go up to 4100. So that's up till November time. Uh, crash counter plus three. But yeah, this is going to be a lot of work for us to do. Yeah, maybe you could go away without rolling, but we need the yield bonus. And at the end of the day, it's going to benefit us with an extra 2.5% of yield. Could this make a difference of tens of thousands of pounds for us, potentially. But, anyways, we will start off with doing a little quick time lapse. We'll get it all done. And then, hopefully, we'll be in April and we'll be doing some more contracts.
so that means contracts. So we've got a few contracts available, so let's go and grab these bags a sec. So yeah, we've got some contracts available, so we got two stone contracts on 133 and 136. There are small fields, but heck it, why not? And then we've got a frozen contract on field 95, so that's why we've got all the equipment down here. We've got pallet our fertilizer, got our fertilizer spreader over there. And also we do have some fuel because we do need some fuel. We've got fuel at the farm, so whilst we're down here. Heck it, just buy a pallet of fuel. There we go, that's filled up to the brim. And this should be also enough for the planter here. Even though we got seen that at the back of the farm. So no harming. And purchasing some more. Now I'll just try to find. This one here, perhaps? So, ah, it's that one. So, if we have a look. Yep, 96% filled. Actually, that was almost bang on. So, yeah, also, we need to get the top of the fuel in a sec. Smash into our equipment from the dealer. Yeah, it's going to take a little bit. It's only going to take. 3200 litres or so. There we go, that's rapidly filling up. And yeah, we'll leave the rest at the store. I'm sure there's going to be more contracts. But also, there is some hay contracts, so we're still demoing the tether, so we can do that. Also, we need to look at borrowing a wind rower. So, obviously, we sold a wind rower before. So, for contract work. Ooh, yeah. I could wind row it 20 meters. We do have the tractor for it. 60 meters at 240 horsepower. Actually, what's the price difference there? 52 and a half grand. That's 240. If we... Uh, where's our... There we go. 240 plus... Actually, that could work. That'd be 485. For the 60 meter one. And... We can use the... Fent for that, so... You know what the heck is? Do something different. So, okay, wind rowers. Not 20 meters, but 60 meters, sure. Is there a fence brand? Chrome John Deere fence. I won't get fence. Classic green. Yeah, that would work. I'll actually change that note, keep that black. So 2700 quid that costs us. A bit expensive, but if you know what? That is not an issue for us, so there we go, just quickly do that. So yeah, now let's go add fill up, so yeah. Desperate for fuel for the Massey. John Deere also needs fuel. So let's get fueled up and then head to the fields. And there we go. All suited and booted to go. So, yep, we've got workers underway heading to the fields and start doing seeding and planting. Of course, we're going to have to help out that just because of the angle and that of the fields compared to north and that. So, but yep, they'll get started, they'll crack on with that. And we've got this field here to do, so we need to find the entrance. Oh, <laughs> what's that crash number five, six now? Something like that. So yeah, here's a gate over here. Workers blocked apparently. Ooh. 
really could just give yourself a bit more of a wider berth. How hard is that? So hopefully now it doesn't crash into the bloody... Oh, he's... Uh, okay, fair enough, the gate was shut, so... Wide fence there on that, but... Usually I'll manage to get to the fuels, but who uh, knows. So yeah, let's go and get the words. Turn it on. And get the work run away. So that's you. You don't have any more issues? No, got the bridge just fine, that's good. So yeah, as I was saying, we got some work to do, so I think what we'll do is a little quick time lapse off, just getting a few contracts done. Because yeah, the hay will do. And that what I'm thinking is we try to keep as much of the hay as possible. So obviously when we do our next batch of TMR, we have pretty much free hay basically. That's easier said than done, because obviously the size of the bells we're gonna be doing, but they're all going to the same cell point, the farmers market, so yeah, if one let's say half a bell goes in there themselves. You know what? I'm not too worried about that. Plus, we do need money at the moment. At the moment, we're just getting by. We're going to be fine until when we do the lint seed in that. Or sell, not the lint seed, um, fill beans. Sell the fill beans in June. So, overall, I'm not worried on that. But, yeah, workers seem to be going alright. So, yeah. Let's go. It is all sorted. And I'll see you folks. Whenever we're done here, so yeah. Get okay, so, um, and I'll see you folks in a few moments.
and there we go. We are done and we've done some more contracts. We've done three size contracts and now we're just taking the bells over to Town Store Bells. With the hay contract, we got 72,000 euros left over. We already put one bell in, the one small bell we accidentally made at the start. That's gone directly into the sheep at Stonebridge and that consumed it straight away. So, we get to left with 64,000 euro big bells. And before the store shuts at six, let's go and sell these bells. So 221,000 years, and this will really help us with having the money for the apple juice production and things like 75 grand it is, so let's go and see how much money we can make. There we go. And ignore that minus like 9 trillion. But yeah, 56 grand we made from those bells, so not too shabby. Oh, come on. Really? But yeah, I thought we were going to make more money than that, so. Alright, what I'm going to do is simulate that money coming in, so let's go to the bank. Transfer money six thousand and seven hundred. Not not too fuss about the forty quids. So yeah, that leaves us with a hundred and forty grand. So yep, yeah, I am happy about that because if we have a look here, go into our factories. To, yeah, the apple tree factory. The only problem is finding the space to place it. So, I think if we go up the road, you yeah, head over to the farm. It's not really too much. Maybe put it in the cow's fields. But yeah, it just looks wrong, that does. I should have moved. What about this old. Ah, what about here? It's gonna be a bit of terrain reforming though, so. Yeah, I'm not particularly keen on that, so. I may look at some other places, even if it's like a small plot of land we can buy, and then just place it there. But yeah, so let's look at the contract situation now. We've got one more size contract on 70. Yes, please. And got some more hay contracts, which we may do. But yeah, not too fuss on that. But yes, we get out of here before the gates close at six. It is this totally shut, right? Yeah, 6 p.m. Yep, there we go. They're sh showing up for the night. So yeah, 70, where's that to? Up here, right? So yeah, not to worry, we'll get our mowers over, get all that done. Well, that's going to be for the next episode, so yep. Yeah. As always, we're going to leave it here today, making pretty good progress now. Money-wise, a lot more of a better situation. Uh, oh, 6R. Now we've got one of those. Don't need an upgrade combine. Well, yeah, so I think next time we'll start looking at the apple juice production. Get that going. Because I think we've already got some apples, so. Actually, let's so have a quick look, shall we? Lost right here. I think Superish Farm is just around the corner. There we go. So, where do we turn in here? Nope, not this way. This way we'll cut from here. And yes, we have already got pallets of apples. Looking good. Ok, 
patent this dude, so we need a front leader over. So, they're looking alright, easy to access. What about the ones over here? How are you doing? That one's a bit skew wifty. Maybe a bit of a challenge. Actually, maybe do with like, the big bag and support package. That will help us with transfer these. Ah, these type spaces. Let's we get a skistier looter. Bar one, perhaps. So, so how much is skistier looter? Like 50 grand or so? Yeah, 50, 35 grand even. But yeah, sorry, anyways. We'll figure out that out in the next episodes. Hello, chickens. Hello, folks, and welcome back to Core Farm. Here we are, we've got a bunch of hay bales here. Also, mine's gone up significantly because we have been doing some contract work. We did a few hay contracts, all you to see. Also, we did some size contracts, got a little bit of size there sorted. But yeah, so this is our hay stars. This is from some pretty big contracts we've done. It feels like through two and thirty three. So yeah, actually let's get this unloaded and under shelter. And uh, once I get started doing this, I'm gonna shoot some clips of us just doing these contracts, getting done, and then we'll resume from there. So as you can see, we've done a fair few contracts, so yep, yeah, that was needed because we do need money at the moment just for farm expenses, but mainly to pay off the incredible loan we've got, so let's just go and pay some of that off now. Is there anything in the used market of my interest? Nope, not really. So yeah, we can go to finances, so... Let's repay a bunch of that off. There we go, so now we're down to 1.15 mil to pay. Still quite a bit of ways to go. Obviously, yeah, doing all this animal food stuff here. Tea bar for the cows. And yeah, let's go there. But yeah, also we got our hydroponic greenhouses. And actually, that's what we're going to be doing today as well, is sell a lot of them, because, yeah, we've hit the power limit, and that is mainly from the greenhouses, so we'll get that sorted and sold. So, yeah, let me finish putting this one storage, and then we'll head to Stonebridge Farm, where we will start selling the vegetables. And there we go, with all that sorted. So yep, yeah, I forgot we had some bells down here, so picked them up, took them back to the farm, obviously without feeding the sheep first of all, so there's one bell left here. Forty thousand litres, but anyways, 
be in these sort of moves on these because think about is it May now and it's best time to sell wool around April May. So if we get this load up and if we have a look at prices so scroll up here we have look wool about 3600, 3700 smack bang or where we need to go eggs we can wait a bit longer and sell them but you know what I thought heck is sell them now we do with some money at the moment because we do need to purchase a skid skid deer loader for the apple so I'm looking at the prices not much variations but look at this one here for 700 Pine Creek Long Meadows and all that. I think, you know what? Let's go to Long Meadows Store. Seems to be about the best price for the eggs and for the wool. So, eggs versus chicken stews over here. Oh, yeah, chickens are over here. So, first spawn point for the eggs. Ah. Right here, so let's go and get this load up. Actually, yeah, we'll take these and get a worker to sell them. And then we can drive the things like the fence we got hooked up to the vegetable trader. So, yeah, let's go and. Oops. Bit of smashed eggs there. Come on, get on there. There we go. See, so, yeah, overall, we got. 8,000 years of wool and just 2,800 years of eggs. So, we don't see much, but every little helps at the moment. So, actually, we need to go. I should have gone straight ahead, but let's go this way. But yeah, we got a lot of apples. Now, we've got 15 apple trees, so that's 15 paddits. Plus, since we skipped some time in that, there's another two paddits ready to come out so one thing in this episode as well is actually I should have thought about this before I pay back the loan is the production to get apple juice I think that's like 75 grand skids here is about 40 grand so between these and these we should make some money I think so where do you say we're going to go toward Long Meadow stores yeah Long Meadow stores so where is that to? So, tall trees is there. That's where we'll be taking the veg. Actually, it was Long Meadow Source we were looking for, so got a bit confused there. Anyways, workers off on doing that. And now, it's the fun, like, experience of selling these, because, yeah, we get so many pallets all in one spot. As you do see, we do have a bit of a frame death. And I completely cocked that up. Let's try that again, shall we? There we go. But yeah, so we've got 31,000 euros of strawberries, 7,000 euros of lettuce, and 15,000 euros of tomatoes. Oh, the sag is absolutely killing me. So, rather than you watching me and suffering from what I have to do with this frame rate, let's go and reconvene at the store. And there we go, after suffering from what seemed like forever. Now let's get rid of these vegetables and get our frame rate back. Because, yeah, it was really annoying. Or it is really annoying. A little bit more forward, get the things on the back. There we go. Now look at that money rocketing up. Wow. 67 grand. I thought it was going to be about 60, 65 grand. So yeah, not too bad of a hole if I should say myself. But yeah, I think there is still more to sell. They also, we said I get a profit. They also do need a skid steer loader to maneuver those pallets. So just because of the tight space and that, so what's the difference weight wise? Oh, I think not. 
We'll splash out on that. Also, we need a lifter. So, which one's it? This one here. There we go. Big bag winch. Oh no. Ooh. For an odor, take No skid steer, so. Is there like a pallet lift or something we can use from the CSE pack? Guessing that works. But yeah, you can see the, the mount's different between all the differences, so we'll try that. It's only 250 quid, so worst case scenario, if it doesn't work out, we can always just set it now and get a proper pallet for it. There's a furrow spread there. What does he find in the field? Everything else is up the Stonebridge farm now, so. Let's uh, just recover that at some point. But yeah, so what I'm going to do now is quickly get the rest of these pads on. Eggs are ready to be sold, so we'll do those next as well. And then we'll see what the final two is. Let's definitely get out of these 10 grand cover. 75 grand we need for the production. Also, where do we put it to? I've got no idea, to be honest. And there we go. The last bit of pallets. We did skip ahead a little bit just for another pallet spawn, but anyway, so we're going to sell that. And yeah, dedicate the 75 grand mark and change. Why did that not sell? Alright. So, 384. So, about 42 grand. And if we go to here, and now let's sell the wool and egg. So, should get a decent amount of money for these. Nice. So. That is an additional 40 grand. And now we need to take this back to Stonebridge Farm. Because we need to start loading the apples. And I've got an idea on where we're going to be placing... Yeah, we can go down here. On where we're going to be placing the... Oh, what was it? Apple production. Right by the silo next to 91 there. That's got a good little error there. It's just big enough for the apple production. And so yeah, I think all that requires is water. Get that sorted. Not an issue whatsoever. Also, we did pay coin bloke from the store. Gave him a bit of an extra tip of 100 quid. To bring down the skid steer loader. Because initially I was going to use this. Take this to the store with this. But anyway, I thought, heck it, get a worker now. To bring down, so let me go left here, then we'll cut around, and then we'll be past the English farm. So, yeah, I'm gonna jump cut this, and I'll see folks at the farm. And there we go, let's just go and pull in here, mind everything. And yeah, you can see now we're getting two pallets spawning, so I'm guessing that's the number of pallets that can spawn. Makes sense, it is a pretty small area, but anyways, so if we have a look here, yeah, apple tree itself, another thousand litres. So we got 45,000 litres of apples, and no idea what that equates to in terms with the production, how fast it is, but anyways, we'll use the skid steer here. He is a bit slow, that's the only damn slight, but really this is just for popping around, loading some things up, I thought. Yeah, this will work it, and this has got straps on it, so we should be able to lift these pallets. My question is, can we lift two at a time? Uh, so we can do that, and that would be a deal for us, so... It is. Oh, it's going to be a very long time to load. Yes, 
yes, I know you're not accepted there. So now, perhaps we should have used the other tree for this, but we'll use the same base since we got it here. I think, yeah, if we get as much of these to load up as we can. Because then if we go to the silo, so I'm just going to have a inspection first of all. Alright, okay, that's not there, let's go there, so head over to the silo a sec. So, yeah, I'm thinking over here. I was struggling with navigate way through, but yeah, so I think there's a little error here. Hopefully, it doesn't require too much construction. So, if we go into our productions and have a look, so. Should we do it that way? Or this way? I think since the pass is going to be spawning at the front, so I'm thinking here. So, something like that. There we go, just trying to find a spot for it. There we go. Okay, yeah, so if we have a look. So. Apples and that, so that's good. We've got enough apples for what? 8, 16, 24. At least two months, so we're going to be having a surplus of apples actually. Obviously, we can make apple honey, but we need honey. Not an issue. But the sugar. Mm. So we're going to do apple honey, but we will do apple juice. We'll activate that production. So water will get distributed over because all the plum system from the water distributor at the pond at the farm. And yeah, just in case of getting this all loaded up and then taken over. So and these are pretty big pallets, so yeah, we can get two breaths, so I think if we do that. I'm sure hopefully the Massey can pull this as well because yeah 45 pallets that is getting on for what 35 tons because each pallet weighs 810 kilograms so this is gonna be a pretty heavy load for us but anyway so I think the best way to get this all done is another time lap so yeah I'll get this all done and I'll be folks at the production facility.
there we go. We are done. So, let's get in the last pallet here sorted. And, yeah, that was eventful getting these on. This is out here. Very bumpy, and that should smooth this up for placing the apple trees. But, the lessons aren't. So, yeah, we're getting the second load on now. We did get the fence, and did have to buy your front way because, oh boy, was that first load heavy. 27 pallets. Makes sense because that weighs what 20 tons or so give or take so makes sense but uh, still very surprising nonetheless so anyways pop that on too far back do not push off there we go so let's go and pop into the fence everything strapped up boom 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 so we've got 18,000 years. We put 17, no, 27 already in. It helps if you actually lift this up. We can actually see just like how the tractor squats. It's proper squatting. A little squatter. But yeah, so I think if we head up this way, we can get out. Yes, but no. Well, it's a good way to turn around anyway, so we can go the way we came in. Just came over there. Yes, I know apples ain't accepted there, do not tell me game. I know. But yeah, so with these apples, already we're going to have a large supply of apple juice, and with a production rate of a 8 to 5 ratio at 2,880 cycles per month. We are going to have excess apples, so maybe we will come to sell the apple juices, sell some excess apples, but yeah, I'm not sure on that. We need to figure out exactly how much excess we're making from, obviously from the trees. Obviously, I think we can set to distribution at a cost. I think for now, we'll keep it as it is at the moment. That should also really should be on the left as well, on the lane. Not straddle the centre of the lane. Yeah, I don't want to put the fear of God into people. Just coming the other way and not doing it again. But yeah, I think also, yeah, we need to start growing, so we need to take care of that at some point. We only need to get also fertilizer down on the fields because I think some of them aren't fully fertilized, but they do a pre-application for planting the crop, so yeah, we can have a look at that in a sec. As we head over here, um, yeah, fill gates in, and yeah, start doing some of the actual farm stuff. I think, yeah, contracts for now, we're going to stop doing the contracts. We'll take it as and when, but at the moment if we need stuff done on the farm, fortunately we have to prioritise that. That's why we did a bunch of contracts in April. That's just sort of a space bump for us, so have a lot of free time. Got a lot of contracts done. And we definitely needed to pay off the loan. So yeah, we have a look here now. Four to, yeah, it was forty five thousand the years by the moment. Hundred six to the years, hundred sixty three. So yeah, we're going to get a lot of pallets from that, so... Again, combine that with greenhouses. Mm. I think what we'll do is, with the greenhouse stuff... <coughs> we'll sell them as and when. What about the apple juices? Is there any particularly worth keeping them around? Because if so, we need to look at storage for them. See, so, yeah, apple juice... 3,800 at the moment, so... I think as soon as we start getting apple juice coming in, if there's a certain point, yeah, we'll sell, but yeah, we'll sell it in October. Also, as you may have noticed, we did get rid of the sell everything container, as you just like here before, because we sold it there. And there is a reason for that, so if we come over here to a new sell point that was being placed by the bank, so. Oh, let's go to the yard. So, yeah. We had an issue of 
fucking crushing. Or I think it's fucking crushing. Constantly. That's like several episodes. Like, Actually, fair has been going on for a while since, since the start of the series, more or less. Where, every so often, I have a game crash. And sometimes, zoom in, get to a certain point, it'll crash, restart, works every time. And it's that cycle of, if I'm in game, it works. But then if I leave the game, and come back in, it crashes, so... Yeah, during, in between episodes, while well, I was doing the contracts, I had a lot of crashes around here, around this point here, so... So I worked Sir Yards, uh, the multi fruit buying thing, or the cyber thing container, and so far, got rid of the cyber thing container, and no issues whatsoever, so must be like a bog conflict in that. <coughs> but yeah, so anyways, the bank, they've put this in, and this is basically the sell point for our apple juice. And the fairness of say it's brand new now, there's still quite a bit of grass around, especially like weeds and I thought they would have eradicated it, but, oh, you know, but anyway, so, that's that, I'm not too worried about that, but yeah, so, with our fields, we have a look, obviously we've got our weeds, barley, oats, a rye somewhere, yep, rye up there, and of course our field beans. So if we have a look, grown wise, yep, our wheat is going to be ready first, followed by everything else. But you have to go to fertilize, so yep, that needs fertilizing, and so does that, desperately. So we'll get those done first, and even bits over here, apparently you missed some out, but for the most part, yeah, just use one application of fertilizer. One more application, shall I say? And of course, all of our feed built uh, field beans and our sugar beet field. It's got weeds and is this field beans down here? It is. I guess because we plowed the field up, we don't need to. Yeah, makes sense. If you plow. We don't need the weeds and that, so I think what we should do is actually should we do the weeds first of all? Depends. Let's go to the farm sec. Uh, we'll put some row crop tires on on this. I'm not sure actually if we do have row crops, but if not, we'll go and buy some. So yeah, let's get back to the farm, get everything hooked up, and then I'll see you folks there. So there we go, got everything all set up, got the Michelin arrows, they costed a grand to put on, so yeah, grand for a set, not too bad, so yeah, we did advance time maybe a little bit, that's because, funny enough, had a game crash, so so we'll get rid of this other free container, apparently did not work, so actually I think we can do with doing this up with some or herbicides. Since we don't use it for liquid fertilizer, so it makes sense, so is there any issue anything in there? Is there any yes yeah, herbicide in there, so ah maybe it's from sides. Zip. Where do I fill this up from? Uh, ah, there we go. I was just wondering, like, how do you fit it up? Oh, no, 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 no. Dang it. Oh. No, we don't. No, it's not fitting up. Ah, it's all going wrong. Better for you a sec. There we go, yeah. Man, it's all over the place today, but yeah, got a sort of throws us back in, so it's all good. Because yeah, I'll just go and remind myself of what do we need to do? I think it's just the fill beans and sugar beet field, so 
Go to weeds. Sugar beet, yes. Rye, yes. And these fields, yes, as well. So yeah, not too bad. So let's go and get some sorted. Actually, is there a bean contract? There is one. And it says requires a weeder. Also, we have gone and accept some contracts. We'll do those sometime this month. Not too much of a rush for them to be done, so that is fine by me. So let's go and turn this thing on. And we're getting rid of the weeds. You can tell the difference between where we have been and haven't been. Yeah, absolutely fest with weeds, but as one of those things is what it is. Ain't too bad. Ain't gonna take too long. I don't think. I should probably get to the edge. I think I missed some bits there. Doesn't matter too much, but yeah, I'd rather if we can get rid of them. I prefer that, but... So yeah, I think what we do next is... Once we get this done, fertilize the fields as well. And these fertilizing. And then I think where we can leave it today. Maybe it'll be a very longer episode here, but... Uh, it makes a change. I'll try and do different things. Yeah, as we the channel now, it's going well. But it can be better, and... I am working on doing other content, so... Stay tuned for that, some more go-to videos. Obviously with the expansion coming out next week, haven't bought the DLC yet, so make it look into that, but yeah, looking at sort of spreadsheets, uh fact sheets, sorry. Uh some videos has been coming out like Dagwin's series on it so far. And actually it does look a pretty good DLC, like the carrots parsip and red beets. Actually equipment involved as well. Pretty pricey for like 600 grand for the was it self-propelled one? But yeah. But anyways, I will continue on this. And yeah, I said it wouldn't take us too long. And I'll see you folks once we start doing the fertilizing. done. Time has elapsed a little bit and we are in the third week of May. We've done everything and then we decided, you know what, take two weeks off and that. Care for our animals and that, the basic things and that, but for the most of it we just enjoyed our time off and that. And just progress time a little bit. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to set a worker off on spraying. I'm going to hop into the John Deere 
And yeah, we've got no reward to sell, so... With the time lapse, depends on how things go. Hard to remember what exactly happened because... It's been about a day since I last recorded the time lapse. And a lot of things has happened, including five more game crashes. Our variety progression before the time lapse, after the time lapse, and yeah, just all sorts of stuff happening. So I'm hoping now the game more game crashes because I got rid of most of the mods I've been using. Or mods I have enabled, but currently not using. May have been planning to use out there day. Or did not use it because I went with a different piece of equipment or whatever it is. Things like some combined stuff in there, like some attachers and that headers and that for the John Deere combines by Sid Modding, and have several other bits of traders, all sorts of little things here and there that could be causing a mod conflict. So I'm not sure if that is the solution, but we will find out. Actually, whilst we're over here, we've been doing some little work. Move some pallets around. And we've got all of these. We've got a bunch of apple juice. So we've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 pallets. That is 8,000 litres of apple juice already. So, also, we did sell a load of apples, 16 litres. Obviously, Initially, we did put them into here, but then I actually sold them, got about 18 grand or something like that, I can't remember exactly. But then, because of the time we've lapsed, we've put another 15,000 litres in, and currently we've got 29,000 litres of apples. So, yeah, that's what I said about the whole surplus thing. That's a good thing, so we know we can always spare some apples here and there. But yes, we've got 11,000 litres of New York. I thought maybe we could find a production or something or some facilities that could use the manure and progress it. Maybe like manure pellets or something, but for now I'm not too worried on that because it's all about cost and we are desperate for money at the moment, so yeah. So I said it, get some quick profit now. And because also I think we've got some veg cell as well. Yeah, I think so we have, so let's have a little look here, shall we? And yes we have, so we've got our manure now. I've got some veg in that cell, so 16,000 litres of strawberries. 7,000 litres of tomatoes and 5,000 litres of lettuce. So let's go and sell that. Let's see how much money we can get. I think this accepts it, right? Maybe. There we go. Now I'm just selling everything. Okay, so it's all grabbing everything at once. So that is 16,000 pounds, so 17, there we go, look at that money rocketing up, that's an additional 19 grand, so yeah, was that about 37 grand or so, not too bad, so now we sell the manure and we should get about 11 and a half grand, 12 grand out of this. Wrong way. Oh well, I should be doing this, but screw it. Let's go and sell the manure. Also, I put times up to times five. Just put a little bit of added pressure on to me to progress in that whilst I'm doing these episodes. Simply because of we're on four day months. Times three is a bit yeah at the moment, so really you should be like five times or even six times speed. We've got four days. Four weeks. Realistically, but in actual game time, it's four days. But so now, I think before we round off the episode here, let's go and grab the slurry and sell that. Got ten and a half grand there for the manure, not eleven and a half. So let's see about the slurry. Here, 
years of slurry, and yeah, 20,000 years, I think there's like another 800 years or so left currently in the slurry pit, so I'm not too worried about picking that up. But yeah, so once again, we need to get the bank account up for it to go quickly back down because we need to pay off this loan we've got, this incredible loan, 1.15 million at the moment. Finally, we're under a mil. I'll say the about, uh, let's say the 50 grand. Yeah, let's see 50 grand because, yeah, just in case we need stuff now. Actually, is there anything to use market? Ooh. Stone picker is handy, but do we actually need it? 22 grand though. Compared to if we just lease it, 3200 actually, is that the, no, that's the basic one. So, yeah, you know what? I'm not gonna buy that. Also, with the whole fertilizing and herbicide work, we have a look. In terms of fertilizing, all we need to do now is put the last application on 45, 53, 54, 107, and our grass fields. And actually, also need, need to actually fertilize this as well. Weeds, on the other hand, we have a look. Weeds are all eradicated. All we need to do now is weeds up here, and then it's off to fertilizing <coughs> the other fields that needs doing, and that's going to be pretty much it. So I think next time what we'll be doing is actually be selling. I think as long as there's nothing major to do in for, the fourth week of May, May four. I think we'll go straight to June, and that means we can sell our lit not linseed, our field beans. That's best I'm selling them, they'd be around the four grand mark by then, so should get about another what? 240 grand out of it. 235, 240 ish, depending on what, what the actual peak price is at the end of it. Maybe even close to 250. You never know. Depends on if there's a great demand or a particular sell area is desire more compared to other places but who knows it's an average with that thing so who knows at the end of the day it depends on what the market it takes and all that so actually stop here a sec because yeah when's the best time to sell apple juice so we have a look Philippines just to clarify yeah June it's going to be around 4,300, so actually, yeah, about, got about 60,000 years, give or take, I think it's like 59,500. So yeah, let's say 60,000 years at 4 grand, that is, what, 240 grand, you actually know about 260, yeah, 260 grand actually, so, currently, is that, like, just hitting the 4,000 mark. Obviously, you also got like three, four hundred, three, five hundred, and all sorts. So, but yes, yeah, go down here and have a look at apple juice. Price is going to go up. Currently, we're at three, three nine hundred, which is around the lower end. So, if we go into June, maybe, maybe we can hit four grand. But yeah, regardless, was. We're going to be selling it soon, so get some money from that, and yeah, that's going to be absolutely worth it. The apples themselves, 1800 give or take. So yeah, I am not too worried about that. But besides from that, I think that's going to leave it, so also what I may do in between episodes is a bunch of contracts. So what I'll do is, sorry next episode, do like the intro bit and all that, include some screenshots of us complete these contracts and then some clips of us selling in obviously the excess bells but as well if you do it in now nah, I won't do it in June because I don't want these contracts to go away but yeah so we'll get all these contracts on our clue screenshots and clips where it is where it's needed just so that you don't know I'm not basically cheating money in 
I'll do trying to clips and that where I can and where I remember. Also, those that drag the video out too long for having just a bunch of clips of the end of the contracts and that, so yeah. But anyways, that's what we're going to do today. Hello folks, and well, here we are with Skistir, and that is because we've got some more apples to move. And as you can see, we are in June now, well into June, actually just over the halfway mark, and we do have a busy week ahead of us, that's just fair enough, a busy rest of the half of the month, that's because we've got a few things to sell, we've got our linseed sell, not linseed, every time I guess that makes up, fill beans to sell, also we got our apple juices to sell, because they are being, I'll say, juicing quite a bit, so what I'm going to do now is, do some clips of us getting some more money, I do contracts. I did this in the last episode. We're just going to do some contracts. So, yeah. What's what you did? I'm going to do some clips and then we'll go from there. And as we get a worker taking that over, what we need to do now is hop into our vent. Uh, where do I leave that to? Ah, over here. So yeah, we've been busy, done a fair few contracts, and had some technical difficulties with some issues with... Well, I think I bought it down to the Massey Ferguson we had. Uh, just with the whole game crashes we've been having in that. Maybe it was a conflict with the Massey with another mod, I don't know. But with that mod no longer here, touch was so far. We played around for a bit, then a bit of non save gameplay work and that, and just mess around. And it crashes at the moment, so. But we still have the Massey, technically. We basically got a. Got a replacement from the dealership because the other one was buggy and faulty and it was a quite a brand new one. It was second hand but a new model. Uh, this year's model, or last year's model, we got it actually. But so yeah, they basically gave us, as an exchange, a similar Massey, same horsepower around the 325 ish mark, I think it was. It is a larger chassis but a older model so I'll take that uh, with what I can so I'm not too fussed on that. At the end of the day it's our Massey basically in essence just on a larger frame and all that stuff so, so yeah overall I'm not too worried but yeah so now it's time to sell the field beans. We can do that. Uh, may have an issue there. Well, no. Man's just get spout. So we need to go to fill beans. Sixty thousand liters. Uh, if we look at the prices at the moment, oh, it's forty eight hundred at town stores and going down. So it's above the average. Garden center is forty seven hundred. So that may go up a bit more. I'm not sure, but. So yeah, 4800 at town stores. That ain't a half bad deal, so... Alright, you stop there, because you're gone past where I sent you to. But yeah, so we got 60,000 liters. And you go to the store. So yeah, let's go to the store and sell the Philippines. 
we still be able to wrap around here, but it's worth it. Send fill beans now, and look at that money rocketing up. We'll easily hit half a mil, half a mil, and change of 286 grand. We got wow, that is a lot of money. And unfortunately, a lot of that's got to go back to the bank, so I'm gonna pay, I don't know, most of the loan off. I'll say to around 600 grand mark, maybe 500. Actually, yeah, you know what? Yes, get down to a good old half a million. So, yeah, that leaves us with 87 grand left over. That ain't too bad. I'm still got things to sell, including the apple juice. So, let's go over there and have a look at. What we've got set up over there. Ah, see, so yeah, there we go. Let's get unstrapped. We'll hop into here. Basically, we need to get off this, so let's go and do this. Actually, you know what I think what we can do with the apples. You know what, we'll just do it this way. Also, what I've got and done is I'm also going to be. This is going to be last apples for now. We are manually transporting over because I'm going to get a local courier of sort and they will pretty much deliver apples here. There's going to be a bit of a charge though, but you know what? It's going to be worth it. So, I think actually, you know what? Put the times back up to times five. So, yeah, here's our Massey. Technically, it's brand new. It's pretty much the same wide tires with weights. Different car scheme doesn't have front loader. However, I sold the old front loader setup and got one thing to the John Deere we've got. And yeah, let's actually have a look of all of the apple juice we've got. So, yeah, we've got a fair bit, I would say. So, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20,000 litres, well, 20,500 litres of apple juice. So, we have a look. 20,500 litres. How much money does that actually equate to us? Well, a fair amount. So, if it's about four grand per thousand litres that is 80 grand and that's only for a short period of time so actually what well, ain't too bad so got a John Deere just because I thought no it's a replacement of the Skiz Deere permanently we still need Skiz Deere for like the apples and that if we do apples again I was uh, thinking like, like something like this be far easier and quicker to do with an actual front loader tractor compared to the skid steer but so yeah if we go free like that the thing I'm thinking about is the weight may need to bring yeah that's gonna need a front weight up for sure and actually I'm not even sure if it's gonna be able to even transport this so Let's go find out, shall we? So, that needs to go to the farmer's market, which is located up here, so, by the animal dealership. And it's one of these ones over here, so, if you know what, the best way to get it done is a little quick time lapse, so yeah. We'll get it done, and I'll meet folks at the sell point. <laughs> Mm-hmm.
Started off really well there for that time lapse, then yeah, actually got the uh, the big bag grab thing stuck in. Yeah, sort of went a bit chaotic from there, but yeah, overall wasn't too bad, I'd say. So yeah, we got twenty-one and a half thousand litres. So let's go and see how much money we can get. So guessing about eighty grand or so. Eighty grand, give or take. There we go. Actually, yeah, making decent money we are, so... Yeah, you're all not too bad. 83 grand. Plus an additional... 2 grand, I think. So, 85 grand. Oh yeah, this you just show you by what? 13 quid or so. So, yeah. That is not too bad. Still got a couple more contracts we can do, but at the moment we need to prioritize some bits, so I think once again, do we start paying off the loan more, or do we... I think I'll hold on to the money for now. Yeah, I'm thinking so, so then if anything pops up in the used market, or if you want to buy another piece of land. Actually, because of how much money we've got from the field beans, is there any field bean fields? So, go to here, turn field beans off. So, having a look just up there, I think. Yeah, this is just 86. Yep, yeah, unfortunately, it's only 86, so. How much is that field? 101 grand. What about ooh, soybeans? What, 111? And what's that, 13? Maybe, just maybe. But then again, we can maybe look at another green field. So we've got a few oats at the moment going. Is there any more outfields? Any big ones? Number five? Or maybe even like number two? That's a weak field. But yeah, at the moment I think we'll leave it for now. And yeah, just look at fertilizing. We need to do fertilizing on 46. That field, these three fields, and Definitely this field over here because we have not put a single application of fertilizer down yet. Lovely, so weeds are good. Lime should be good, pretty much. Yeah. Rolled in should be fine. Most of it should be mulched. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah I forgot about that. But yeah, so we got a few things to do. And I think. Yeah, we'll squeeze at least some of it in now. And then the rest we can do in the next week of June. So, actually, how is our animals doing at the moment as well? So, sheep, doing good. Chickens, plenty of food. Cows, they're nearly out of that slightest, finally. So, then we can put some TMR in. At the moment, our Anguses are only 11 months old and they're worth just shy of 1500 quid. Our 
horses they're worth around 1800 quid and I think once they've run out of food we may sell them because yeah they're alright in that for a little thing but overall it's not really profitable long term but it is profitable but not on the mass scale we need to we may keep a horse here and there just for entertainment purposes but yeah, besides from that, I don't think we really could do much else with the horses. I know in the next update by Auction Leaving, which hopefully will be tested soon, unfortunately the Giants is a huge weight this I'm looking forward to testing this so and even then the actual time on the disc get tested, I think it's what, two weeks? Or maybe two work uh, two weeks of work days or so ten work days. Take so yeah. I know in the update it's gonna fix the lighting system where I think it's by Blue Bill, is it? But things like when we get into winter, sun rises about ooh, what 11 a.m., 10 a.m., and sets around 4 p.m. And that doesn't happen, not even here in the UK where this is based from, so. Yeah, it's slightly out skews and I think realistically. It's like being current recording this now, what? Six o'clock? Pretty much what I would call dark now, so yeah, it's only an hour or two's off. But even then, if it's like sunset at four o'clock, that's not really an issue. That's, yeah, it depends on priority and that, the weather, the year and that, and all that other stuff, but yeah. Mornings, it's never dark until 10 a.m. here in the UK. It's always daylight by 8 a.m., 9 a.m. Yeah, I think it's about 8 a.m. it gets daylight. Hard to say, personally, because I'm not a morning person, I'm more of a night owl. And we did get a demand there. Was that for something bells? Wasn't really paying attention to that. So I'll have a little quick look. So, anything of interest? Uh, Pine Creek Bells is alfalfa. Is there any other high demand? Not really at the moment. Uh, as far as market, it was like F something Bells, so. Unfortunately, we don't have any sugar be cut yet, so. Oh yeah, that's a shame. But yeah, I think we'll use the Massey since it's practically a little wear on that. Yeah, it's, it's a thing I did want to do, but after extensively go for all the mods and that, unsoiled individual mods, find out what may be causing the crash. And yeah, the Massey was the last one I recently deleted, so. It could be in the Massey Clash with another mod. I think I did have a few Massey mods installed, but even then, I think on By Spring, I got a few Massey mods enabled. By different modders like Blaua or Blue Organ Modding, and a few others, so. Yeah, I'm not too sure on that, but. Anyways, it is what it is. Leave the trailer here for now. Whilst we do the furrows is spreading, so we shouldn't really need to wait for this. Uh, maybe get away with a small wait. Sure, why not? Why not indeed? So maybe that's something like a ton, ton and a half. Yeah, something like that. Jet black, sure. It's so gonna re offset that. Yeah, maybe not. But again, it's that little thing on top, so. Yeah, so we get the weight hooked on. And does that make a difference? Yeah, yes, it's actually quite level now. Maybe gone with a touch more. But overall, yeah, not too much. But you know what? With the whole loading app, you know what? Screw it. It will pay it off. 
finances just faffing around the tab so yeah let's say just show 400 grand which in fairness at one point I think this was like what two episodes ago three episodes ago I said the farm was in financial trouble and it was but yeah combined yeah doing the contracts has definitely helped us, I ain't gonna lie on that, but at the end of the day, we started off as contracts for business and we've pretty much, when we're desperate, we fall back onto the old faithful. We've got the equipment, more or less. And again, that's one thing we may have done is by the way we're back, but then again, uh, I don't know. He may possibly see off the grass fields, but I don't know. Get any more cows in, especially when the cows grow older at Stonebridge Farm, they're going to be consuming a lot. And I just realised we're going to perish the sugar beet field, but not that. Yeah, let's just do the sugar beet field. But yeah, it is what it is, and that in the day. I think so. Yeah, I said, we'll start doing the fertilising, so I think if we do. The sugar beet field here. Then we'll head down to do the field by the green mill and the field by 144 at the bottom left. Depending on the daylight, we may skip the green mill field and go straight to the bottom. So, I think we've got time because I think field beans they're not ready till September. So, even if we do it in the Last week of June will be fine. We do need more fertilizer though, so I think there's some at the farm, but uh, yeah, we're right by the store though. Could buy another paddy if you want to. Nah, I think we'll just go to the farm or something maybe. But yeah, so anyways, I'll get us done. And I'll see you folks once we're done, most likely in June 4.
Cancun, a early start here in July. We've got some more apples, about 6,000 litres, can't quite see when into the soy zone, but, so yeah, I'm going to quickly sell this, so, yep, mine's gone up a bit, but also it's gone down, that's because we have leased some equipment out, because it is harvesting time, so, like we did last year, we're leasing the combine header, not buying it, there's no real financial worth of doing that, so, over here to the store, we've leased a Massey, a Massey 7 Series, and rather than borrowing like some of the dealership's equipment like we did last year, I'm going to just lease independently. So we've got a forage pickup and a trailer for the stroll, because we will be collecting stroll. Usually the dealership ain't open early, but we've made an exception, well they've been an exception for us. And yep, we got the Class Comview Flex 1080. This is a 10.8 meter header. It is absolutely massive. I mean, that is huge. But it's worth it. It's what's needed. So, and over here, we've got the combine. That's ready. That's fueled up. And we've got our tractors here, so we've got the fence with the Trans 70 trailer and our Massey with our Pro Series trailer. So, what contracts have we got available at the moment? In fairness, not many. There's a few bidding contracts which they came up earlier, not now, because those are huge contracts to do. We may squeeze them in if we can, but we've got contracts on 84 and 112, that's for oats. Both going to go to the garden center, and also we got a harvest for the seed at 119, and that's also going to the garden center. So I think what I do is I'll send you up here. So we got 112. So if I send you uh, there, ah, it needs to be on the road. So. Right here, so there we go. Now it works. Uh, I didn't see we won't get any straw, but we'll send you in a moment. We'll take this ourselves. So, yeah, that's going. We need to go to the combine. There we go. So, yeah, I want to send that up. But then again, I don't think the workers are going to be able to manoeuvre this up, especially with the fent in the way. Let's move the fent out of the way, shall we? May not need the trans -70. Actually, I'll send that to our farm. Because we are also the to harm sorry, crop, so... Let's do that, so I'm going to send... I think the Trans-70 is a huge trailer and it just about fits us, so I'll send that, send that somewhere there. Because yeah, if we have a look at the map, go to our crops, and our wheat is ready to harvest. So is our barley, and so are our oats. And these are barley fields. Yeah, they're going to be ready in August because we planted them late. Which, in fairness, I don't mind. So, I'll try the worker. I know it's going to have problems. No. I'll try the combine, but, but even then, that's going to have issues. I know it's going to have issues. But, anyway, as well give it a go. Issues even even the bloody yard. That's the thing. This is huge equipment. It barely fits. I mean, like that, that's an awkward three-point turn. But that's the thing. The size of the farm now. We can have either multiple combines on the go, of a smaller capacity, or one big one. So yeah, I'm gonna risk it. 
all send you there. And I'll drive the combine over, so... Where's the combine? There we go. So yeah. No. Not the combine, the trader. There we go. So yeah, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to take this over, get things all set up, and I'll meet you folks at field 112. And there we go. So yeah, here we are. On something, so yeah, I think we've got decent turning. So let's do this. There we go. We'll go and hook up the header. Trigger is here already. That is good. So this is Lindsay's right 112. Actually, I think we'll shut the gate and give us a bit more space to. Turn around. There we go. So yeah, one twelve. What's that? Oh, it's out. So we can do one twelve. Either take it straight to the garden center, and then go to eight four and do that, which I think we will. Makes most sense. So it's going to be already on route. Unless we had to head south through center three and all that, and around. But yeah, got a few options for us. But yeah, it's 6 o'clock in the morning, and yeah, we've got a lot of work to do. What you want to make sure is Shrew Swath is on. So if we get Shrew, turn on the combine. Everything's looking good. And we are underway. The first harvest of the year, and yeah, it's going to be contracts, I think. What we'll do is the first half of July we will at least do contracts. But then over time, as we head into August now, we will prioritize our own fields. Because yeah, we need to at the end of the day. Actually, in fairness, we may at least a second combine to help us out here. We have one combine doing the farm work. Now another combine to do contracts now. Maybe that's a possibility, but who knows. So yeah. That is where I'm gonna leave it today. So yeah, next time we'll be doing harvesting, contract work and all sorts. I may even actually what is that automatically saving? Didn't mean to do that. But yeah we may do like the main contracts now at some point if they stay up long enough. Because, yeah, that would be nice, especially using like the Chrome Big M. Technically, borrow the equipment, use a Chrome, and then we can at least a wind rower in and that and get all that sorted. Yeah, I think we'll do that with those. Another size contract. But, yeah, the reason why we haven't paid the loan back because also we need green mail. That's about 120 grand, so we'll do that. I doubt we'll be able to keep much out, so we'll bust the props and we'll go straight to sell them. And then when we do our own fields, we will, of course, buy the green mail and put the props in there. But yeah, so anyways, that's it. That's what we're going to to say. Hello, folks, and welcome back to Court Farm. Here we are, we're in the last week of July, July 4. Last episode, we did the at start of the 1st of July. But we have been extremely busy. We have been doing a ton of contracts. And if you look at the PDA, pretty much almost every field, apart from ours, has been harvested. And I would say, at the very least, over half of those, about two thirds, were done by us. So yeah, 41 we've done, 42, done a few of these fields. Done some fields down here, a few over here. We even did the huge rapeseed field in 46. And yeah, so what I'm going to do now is include some clips of us completing some contracts. So, not clips, screenshots. So, if we go to. Ah, I've already completed these contracts. Yeah, so 
completely done at least ooh, 12, 15 contracts or so, give or take. So yeah, what I do now is quick to some screenshots of us doing that and also a clip of us sending some bails because that will explain why we're only down to a measly 8 grand. So obviously, as you can tell, we've done a fair few contracts, not sure if I included all of them, but I include most of them, including some bales, so I think I've got almost a hundred grand in just extra bales. So yeah, what I'm going to do now is sell some more fruit, you know, some veg, well veg and fruit juice, so that's 19 grand, because yeah, I've got like 55 grand from the big bunch of vegetable salt. I'll we'll scoot up here. I'll sell the rest of the apple juice. There we go, that is an additional 37-ish grand, so the total, what was that? It was on 8 grand, so almost 60 grand. Yeah, 57 grand. So that ain't too shabby. And also what we need to do before we start doing the harvesting is quickly scoop up some raw manure. But yeah, so from as to tell from the screenshots and clips, we, at one point it was over 400 grand. So where did all that money go? Well, it's certainly not paying off the loan, still got that. But I can see from the top, July, minus 530 grand. Yep, we spent almost 400 grand on just one piece of equipment. You can tell part of the thumbnail. Five guests that will be in the thumbnail of sort. We bought a second combine harvester. Along with that, we sold our old small blue trader. And what we've done with that is got some new traders, so somewhere. Maybe in that field over there. So let's quickly scoot the manure out. Leave the manure over here so we have a look. Nope. Yeah hop into the Massey. We got two brancher power tubes. Well power tube plus and this one is a Brotner something. Yeah, DD, whatever that is. So, I think these were, if I had to guess, about 30,000 years each. Yeah, 34 for the swivel axle, and basically 34 for the fixed one. So, yeah, that, it cost us a fair bit, but it was worth it. So, now we got those trays over here. And over here we've got the John Deere with the Trans 70. So yeah, what I'm going to do is we've got our barley field here, right? Is that barley? So yeah, I've got barley there, barley barley. Those two are going to be ready tomorrow. Or the next one. So we got wheat fields, we've got an oat field here. We've got a huge amount of field, so the workers going to be just get cracking on that. But now let's head to our new combine officer. And there we go. Let's have a look, shall we? This is a New Holland 1090 with a draper header. I think it's like a 30 meter header or something like that. Because, yeah, I was browsing. I was looking for a second combine. I thought the 7.7, .7, that's very good. 
been using that on by spring or maybe the 2560 but so looking at the price of the combine just over a quarter of a mil we can get this the 690 but it has a variety of other options 790 880 890 980 990 and ah, just a whole sort of configurations and I'm thinking a bit of extra literage 13,000 litres versus 10 higher horsepower it's going to be more reliable for us saving on the amount of wear and tear because god the cloth is uh, it's costing us an arm and leg at the moment but it's to be expected so yeah, we went with the 1090 and went with the long pipe yet yeah, long pipe here at the back so you can see it curls in and the header as said 13 meters yeah 13.7 meters obviously for this map that is way too big for the fields and that get through all the gates and lanes but this is going to be primarily combining at the farm we're still going to be keeping the cloths and the header yeah we've done over six hours of work already just do contracts alone in between episodes and that's what we're doing every year these are the cloth header the cloths will keep and that would be purely for contract work. But now, can we actually get this out of here? Yeah, should be able to. Last thing is just going to be mining off the train for an act. Last thing I want to do is get that caught on anything. And that should also reminds me, turn that back on. But yeah, this is absolutely huge. Looks clear. Oh, you better stop. Best part of beacons on. But yeah, so it doesn't really for right. It gets around all good. But things like tight gates like here. If we try enter into this field here or should be fields. Yeah, it's going to be an absolute pain to deal with just because of how long that drive is. But for where our farm is, for where our fields are, it is absolutely perfect. Simply because we got huge access, we got wide entrances, plenty of space to maneuver around, get to the fields. Storage may be a problem for the header. My thinking is just leave it in the field or something, or leave it around the yard and out somewhere. Because, yeah, I mean, no way getting into a shed in that. Already smash our new combine, you absolute cluster fudger. But yeah, I think that should have class is already almost filled, so that's working south. I'm crashing again, so we need to do. I think if we start up north, like 109 in that, so that requires going left here. That's gonna be fun with all this stuff. Crash counter was at four now. Okay, worker is filled. Keep the F, and that's going to cut me up. Yeah, we'll try to. But yeah, it does require a bit of like a three point turn. Yeah, just having a look. I think it maneuvers right because a lot of the. It's a draper in that, so. Obviously, we need some more money. I think we need another 60 grand at the moment. Purely for me to purchase that green meal, but we can figure out something for that, so I'm not too worried. We got like over 2 million litres of straw just sitting there, like 2.1 million. I think if we sneakily hop across Oon Farm, 
Yeah, so if we get to the field, we can go here. that so we're gonna need to hop into not you hop into the Massey so I think what we'll do is quickly get his top up set so just bear with me and there it goes but the is emptied so, so somewhere here so yeah we're gonna have a fair bit of barley in that and that's right there for the bathing but yeah, without any other dizzy dadding, let's get this thing unfolded. I'm hoping the pipe's going to be long enough for us to extend out. Yeah, that's going to be long enough.
done with the barley field here, finally. But yeah, the New Holland, that has done 109. And field 59 is almost done, so yeah, not too bad. I gave that second combine was definitely worth it. Yeah, it was definitely worth it. Again, it's pretty much twice as work. Uh, half the time pretty much with working at, so... Yeah, I am not too disappointed in that. We've accepted these bidding contracts, and that's going to cause a bloody pain in the ass again. Oh, right, fine. Just fill that one, let me pop back up. But yeah, in terms of barley, that is 55,000 litres, so not too bad. So I'll send that up to the farm. I'll send that somewhere there for now. They'll eventually figure out, because now this needs to go onto a wheat field and help the new horn. So it's either 50. Yeah, 56, pretty much. Got oats on to 58. But yeah, apart from that, not much else needs doing. So yeah, I think we're pretty much one field done. So I think what I'll do is, I'll just get the heads and done on these fields, and then swap workers over as when needed. But what we need to do now is focus on straw and start picking up some of the straw from these fields. Uh, yeah, with straw, we're going to be sending these, we're going to make the bells and sell them straight away. At the moment they're about 100, 105 quid per thousand litres. Yeah, if I wait until December I can get an extra 50% in price, but honestly I'm not too worried. Now, I'll just sell a lot of these straw bells. So got plenty in storage now. We've done some TMR work now. I think we're gonna be fine with TMR for now because all the cows, as of July 3, the third week of July, they were topped up with TMR. And as you see inside though, we've got I think like 485,000 years, so yeah, ain't too bad, not too shabby. And if I set the worker off on here. I'm just going to go that way. Fine. Worker's almost done here. Again, not too bad. I should know worker's done. So yeah, we'll get the worker creep across this hedgerow area here. Where it's being crushed down. And this time, I'll make sure we go in the clock... Not to anti-clockwise. Because, yeah. Obviously you do it clockwise, you harvest that, because then the point comes out on the left, it makes more sense, less likely to be in a crop in that. And compared to the worker, she was just willingly turn around in the hedgerows. At least I was trying to be considerate. But yeah, I've got oats there, we can wait for now. Off here, yeah, get the wheat done. Yeah, nothing. What we'll do is we do the headlands, and then we'll get the workers off on their way, do whatever they want, and then we'll resume sort on this shore because yeah, this needs to get bailed and sold because we need another sixty grand for the build.
yet, but yeah, so everything's filled. I don't need to get everything emptied, so yep, yeah, as I said for now, what we're gonna do is sort of green in here. And then at some point, maybe this week or next week, we will quickly do his bane contract. And hopefully we have enough money to purchase the green mill. Because yeah, I'm pretty sure it's something like 112 grand, 115. Something like that, give or take, but we can have a quick look here, so go to the green mill. Nope. Green mill, there we go. So you can go over here and have a little look. Somewhere here. Oh no, no, it's over here, it's a trick point. Yeah, 121 grand, so. Just workers are just absolutely full. I should think you could go away with it. I know. Because here we go with another combine load. But no, we can't. So, yep, workers off doing that. And why did it go like that? Oh, I don't know. Just do your thing, worker. Hopefully, that turns around left. Don't turn right, please. Thank you very much. I will put this in here as well. And then, yeah, we need to get the shawl done because, oh, uh, yeah. Quicker we get it done, quicker get sold. And if I had to guess, we'll probably get about. Ooh. Ouch. Not, not getting out, but maybe three, four hundred thousand litres. Of straw. If so, if it's 40,000 litres, that would be about 40 grand, give or take a grand or two. And yeah, that's all that matters at the end of the day, we just need the money coming in, so. Actually, before we go on to do the straw, let me just quickly jump cut, quickly get these emptied, and then we'll resume from there. Just gotta get these emptied. And there we go, that is workers sorted, they're on their way, everything's been all emptied in that. So yeah, it's time to get straw. And yeah, tempted to get a production, who knows, about you straw and that, but at the moment it's all about the finances and we need the money for the green mill. Yeah, purchasing that harvester was a big change in that for us. But is what it is, and because I think things like you get like straw manure production that I'm using on No Man's Land, I convert straw into manure. Actually, I'll make sure this is all set up properly. Yeah, I'm doing 249 semi year bells, so it's your typical 240 semi year bells, but it's nine times as dense. So, I think this was it about. Yes, about 81,000 litres spells. So we're going to have not many bells, but a lot of straw wind. Yeah, we're going to miss bits from time to time here and there, but it is what it is. Ideally, we like to go with like a 20 meter width on the wind rower, but yeah, we shouldn't have the horsepower because that requires like 350 to 20 centimeter one. And uh, Bader that requires in the realm of 250 horsepower, so we need a something like a 600 horsepower large tractor. And I think at the moment, if you want to go with that, they're very expensive. I'll see if we can find one that does 600 horsepower. Oh, yeah, we can. John Deere 9R, but it doesn't have a three point linkage on the front. Yeah, we'll need to be a, a custom modded tracks for now, but yeah, with straw now, I think there's other productions with straw now, you can get like hats and that of it, like straw hats, something in the realm of that, but yeah, 25% and we're already at 20,000 litres, so yeah, there's going to be a fair bit of straw here. 
So I think straw. Dang it, all save again. Forgot about that. Yeah, so the automatic save one, so in case we do have a crash. Uh, it should be fine, but I think I'm. Yeah, anyway, so straw. If we go down here, have a look. 147 at the moment, we're going for like 102, so. You know what? That's fine by me. I'm not fussed on the profit from short because we've got other things going. We've got the greenhouses, we've got the apple juice now. Okay, we can sell the apples themselves and get more money from them in the course of a month than we would, I don't know, if we just wait around with straw now and get an extra 10, 20 grand at most. 3 grand at most, but. Workers almost full, dang it. I just started this. Anyways, can we get a full bell before we need to fill the combine? Or empty the combine? Because the combine's filled, not emptied. Yeah, words. Uh, difficult at times. Nah, I don't think we'll get this filled up before we're on 8%. Maybe we we'll just hit 17. Uh, 6 and 80 sometimes. Wish we had the beater that had a bit of a wider pickup in that. Nothing stupid like with the quick bell now, which picks up everything. Just a variety. Actually, I think there was a recent update on this beater setup, so if we go down and have a look. Uh, where's the mod to? So apparently something else was added. I think, I'm not sure if it was a bell loader or a beater. I think it was a bell loader was added. Yeah, but I think it was a bell loader and I think it was maybe one of these. Was it that one? Yeah, Arkson, yeah, I think it was uh it was a beater that was added. Oh yeah, workers filled. Dang it, it's in crop. Oh well. But yeah, workers making light work of this, and we're going to be done by noon, pretty much, I think. Yeah, apart from the snap bits here and there. Yeah, two combines is worth it. If you had the money, I would like to get a second brand new combine, but... I don't think after we've paid off the zone, we're going to be taking a... Blah, 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 any more of those for a while, just because... Yeah, it's good having those, buying stuff, but then it's the stress, it's the worry of paying stuff back in that, so... And the combine is absolutely filthy! God! And the worker stopped. Uh, is that the cross? Maybe. So if that's the case then. Already emptied, so I'm asking the team on as we set the momentum off the trans empty to his thing. So I'll put you over there. Yeah, you're stopped. Well, actually, in fairness, it's almost done. It's just this little bit here it struggles with, and honestly, I can't believe him. But yeah, I'm thinking already ahead now of what to do next year of... Once we get the green meal... Uh, blah, blah. Man, I'm struggling for words today. But yeah, once we get the green meal purchase, I'll have a look at the production rate. And just see... Basically, if we need... I doubt we need more wheat. God, if we need more wheat then, so be it. Even though I did say we was going to do cotton, I am tempted by cotton. Apparently there's a bug or something, some people's experience, but I'm going to take the risk because we've done contracts and cotton seems to be fine. Yeah, that means decent a harvester and that, but if we do like a large field or two of cotton, it would be worth it. Especially if we can convert that into, I don't know, fabric. And get some clothes out of it, maybe. Even if it's just fabric, just 
one step further, still worth doing, calling for making fat break. And I think what we do afterwards is, yeah, I'll let the New Holland continue on with the wheat, and we'll get this thing on doing the oats. So I think, yeah, I'm not going to take too long to do the rest of that wheat field, so. But yeah, we've got so much drawings. Maybe we can get. Nah, I doubt we'll be able to get all the oops into one trader. Maybe. If we can, good. But at the end of the day, I'm not too worried on that. <coughs> so that is. Yeah, going to be almost four loads. Mind my head. Because, yeah, I'm thinking what we can plant with crops and that. If we look at the planting calendar, we could do canola in August if we wanted to start planting that. Or green again. If not, then we've got to wait till next year to do something else. We can do cotton, that's February. Sorghum and that is all April. Sugar beet is April, March and that, and so soybeans. Maybe do corn or something, get some chaff and that. Who knows, there is a, a variety of things we can do here. Oops, without smashing into the tree. Oh yeah, I'll have a little ponder and I'll give it a little four now. Down there. I think we can get away with going across up here to the Oops Fields, hopefully. But then again, as well, we can sell the combine because look, it's almost like 53 hours and that, so I should know we should have gone that way. I think if we do, oops, yeah, up there in that corner over there. Combine's almost filled again. Man, that is just churning through it. I think all the waffling on is just hitting it hard and just cracking on with it, so fair enough, we'll run alongside of it. There we go. We're emptying and harvesting on the go. Last thing with the point that there's ain't much wiggle room with a header in that. There we go. Yeah, I think once we've done this, get the harvester on the go. And then we'll start focusing on the shore. That's going to be parked over here. Hopefully that doesn't get away with the combine. I don't know. I didn't realise we can hire a worker. I know you can with the wind right now, but... You know what? Fair enough. I was going to need a worker doing that. Um, yeah, we'll get this combine sorted, so... Now I was going to start harvesting those... I'll be over there, but nope. We'll do the oops. Maybe I don't know. Think if we're planting crop next year, do oops again. Yeah, because I do want to do some productions. Obviously, I'm not gonna go over the top in that. That's what like no man's land is with by spring. We're doing uh, what's it? Potatoes, and that's gonna be processed into chips. But yeah, there's, there's a few options here we can do. Purchase more farms, get some more animals in. But yeah, definitely series 8 will be right up soon. <coughs> maybe around episode 50, maybe, perhaps, but... Because yeah, by spring, that's doing well. I know one of the series is going to end before Christmas, because I do want to do... What well, ideas for two Let's Play series? Or even maybe sort of merged into one, depending on if I can get the 
pre uh, premium edition before Christmas. Because if I can get the premium edition purchase now before Christmas, obviously I haven't purchased it yet. I've looked at the Z uh, was it Z uh, Zelenska, whatever it is. And yeah, it's a decent map. Now it's like a yeah, Polish map, I think it is. Yeah, because I want to do sort of like kind of like vintage farming almost, like 60s, 70s, maybe 80s, 90s at the very most, or latest and that. You know, just do a bit of old school farming and that. Obviously if we're doing the root crops and that. I need to do my research into D-Wolf. Pardon me. Yeah, D-Wolf and that, because I know... Yeah, like, they're self-propelled harvesters and that. That's brand new, but some of the other ones, I'm looking to the age of them. But who knows, come Christmas, maybe even mods and that, that can do root crop harvesting, because I'm sure... Yeah, I'm sure people like Matt Trucker and that, and so to <coughs> adapt that Colossus to do the, Coloss the Colossus Harvester Pack, should be exact, uh, to do the new crop types, I'm sure of that. And I'm looking forward to that last thing with FS22 is the mod community. It brings new life to the game, it extends the lifetime of the game, so then developers aren't rushing to, you know, purchase, or not purchase, develop a new game in that every year and that. But yeah, I'm excited, I am. Maybe, yeah, if we, this series and that going on, <coughs> thinking, sort of, like Revenge of Survival and that kind of thing, and the Lonska separately, or do it together. I'm not too sure yet, it really depends on a few things and that. Also, I want to play on like American maps and that, do some American farming and that. Not so really just because it's big fields and that, but just in general, I haven't really played many American maps too much. So I think if I was going to play American map, I'd be looking at something, I don't know, maybe the American Falls by Lancy Boy? Yeah, I may want to play like a Lancy Boy map. I know he's doing, what's it, a Michigan map at the moment, he's in the works off. Recently released like a PDA of it, so tempted to play on that if that comes out before the new year and that. But yeah, I've got a couple of options in that. And... Oh, that didn't get too far. Not far at all. At least we've got one bell produced at the moment. Yeah, if we empty the beta and that, just want to have a look at this. Is it 81,000 years? Yeah, that is a huge bell. That's a super dense bell. So it's really stick, it's just finely squished and compacted together. Alright, I'm gonna try this again with the worker now. If it's struggling then you know what we'll just do this ourselves, but so yeah, I think we need to get the rest of this all done. Harvesters needs needs to be all done in that. <coughs> and I think come by two o'clock, everything will be done. So yeah. Well at least the combine in that these straw eh, not so much. That's gonna be a bit longer, but anyways. We'll get the rest of this finished off. And I'll see you folks afterwards.
And there we go. We are done with all the combining for today. If we have a look here, go to our crops, have a look. It is all being harvested. Looking low sec. So, yeah. What we got to do next is the barley on these two fields and right up there. Sugar bee and the filler beans aren't going to be ready for some time. And just looking at some other fields of possible contracts. Oh, this one's near ready. What's that one? 88. That's uh, potatoes, right? Nope, sorghum. I thought it was sorghum. Was I sorghum or potatoes? Yep, yeah, sorghum. So, if we get like 88 and 136 popping up, that'd be a very nice contract to do. Along with like 95 as well over there. But yeah, there's a few options for us. But yeah, so we are going to sell our forge wagon here. It's no longer needed. As well as we haven't used it for ages, not since like the first bash of signage before we had the wheel loader now because we're making bales. So we just pick it up. Can't use it for contracts. And if you are doing signage, yeah, signage will be it. I have got the wheel loader, so when it comes into the bunker silo, I see if we did pick up this actually, so forget about that bit there. But yeah, so we sell some milk. The worker is just heading down to Floyd Down Stores and we're going to sell some milk. We're going to sell this. This should get about 50 grand maybe. Give or take, hopefully. But yeah, also we've got the combine set up. So we've got the cross over here. I think, yeah, the cross over here with the trans trailer. I doubt it's needed, but oh well. Anyway, so yeah, as I was saying, we sell this, get about 50 grand, should get about 22 grand for the milk, so between that, we should have enough money to purchase a green milk. The worker's almost there, so we're going to arrive there at the same time. But yeah, I said, no longer needed. Not since, yeah, the first batch of signage, so I thought, heck it. So, because I was thinking, how are we going to get 60 grand within a week and that? I thought, yeah, we've got milk and that. Milk, Surrey, Almond York, that'd be about 40 grand between them. Maybe a couple of grand as well for. Maybe 10 grand at most for the apple juice and that, but. Then this popped up I thought, oh yeah. Oh, oh you ship it. Go on, move out of the way. Terms like I didn't have my beacons on, but still. Anyway, so I think whilst we're down here, we could go ahead and repair the massy as well. Give a little service. Massey, so there we go. Four grand for that. Oh, yeah, about 47 grand, so not too bad. And that is the milk as well. So, yeah, that is 120 grand. And go to the right mill, 120 something. There we go. 124,800 weight. Just step away here for a sec, it's a bit noisy. And yeah, again, sorry, episodes, we was on 8 grand. Now we're back down to 6, so. Well, yeah, it is absolutely worth it. So we can get bread underway soon. And if we head down here, we can have all of our flowers. So we can have. Besides from sorghum, which we haven't got. Furnace, we should have done sorghum, but oh well. So yeah, we can do oat flour. We can get too much out of that. Rye, we're going to be doing tomorrow. 
barley and wheat. So yeah, if we have a look at our storage, yeah, 2.2 million years of straw. But yeah, so 180,000 years of wheat, 55,000 years for barley from that one field, and 70,000 years of oats. So yeah, not too bad, a decent hole. I am extremely happy with that. Because yeah, I think in, if we get the flower, that is going to be worth about 1400 And if we further process that into said bread, wait till when it's at its absolute peak, which is around December, and we'll get a five and a half grand per thousand or so. Yeah, even that's, yeah, that's a two to one, so 4,000 years, yeah. Or 4,000 pounds, so it's definitely worth doing the bread. And yeah, besides from that, worker stopped again. Uh, give up the worker and that. Yeah, I've got short work to do and that as well. That's going to take a fair time. But I think that's where we're going to leave it today. So yeah, next time, we got straw to deal with. We got the grain mill to deal with, and hopefully we will also have bread to deal with. Not sure on the bread, but who knows. So yeah, anyways, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to yet, then please consider. But for choose to do, hope you're nice day. But for now, it's me from our Envoy Extreme. And I'll see you all uh, very soon. Hello folks and welcome back to Core Farm. Here we are still in July. And yeah, we've got some grain here, we've got the barley. Load up, well, one trailer, and all of the oats we've got. That is because I'm going to take this over to the green mill we recently purchased in last episode. Cut that car up. But yeah, so taking it to the green mill, we've already got the trans trader up there with a full load of wheat. And yeah, we're going to be put in, get some flour. And hopefully soon we'll make some delicious bread. Some fresh, crispy British bread. So yeah, Combine's also here ready to start doing the rye. Well, I think when we do the rye, yeah, I think we'll have a trailer here anyways. Because, uh, yeah, I think getting that in with Spout, it's going to be difficult, like, maneuvering around. So yeah, I think we'll just do it ourselves, so... Anyways, let's go and put this in. Bang on five o'clock. There we go. Wheat and barley's going in. See now that the trans are empties of fair. What do you mean extremely quickly? Perhaps if I could Maybe upon like a little loop cycle, if it knows its way around with the worker and that, they could pick up the wheat and just take over to. Uh, what was it? I'll take over here, but. Silo? No. Oh well, uh, it was worth it, so. If I just get go back to the farm, I just want you to go. Somewhere there. Position blocked, fine. Right, how about here? There we go. So, get out on this way. And then we can deal with the barley. And now the oats. So, if we have the look here, go back up to the top. And it should be, yep, yeah, there we go. We are starting to produce the flour. 
and yet we're gonna be getting like from the wheat alone that is what 120,000 years a month and change so yeah not too bad that's a few months there alone that will last about just over two months the barley so when we get the rest of the barley over but yeah we've also got the barley to do in August and yeah the oats that's gonna be about a month so not many oops, but I need they every little help, so yeah. Let's get the rest of this grain over and then we'll go from there. into our productions have a look so yeah all the wheat's in barley's in and oops so the wheat i'll say that should be just enough for about 11 months or so so yeah not too bad there obviously barley ain't gonna last long and as i said the oats will last about just over a month give or take maybe a month in a week so yeah, I think, what else could we do? Ah, wait a bit. Yeah, we'll sell some slurry. Because we do need a little bit of cash and flex. Just to find the combine in that. Well, find the header for the combine. Even though it's going to have mu not much more usage, but still. So, worker can go back to the farm. And actually, how is our animals doing at the moment? Doing not too bad. Cows, yeah, not too bad. Oh, rabbits need some food. Horses, I really should be exercising them because they're going down in value. Their fitness is going down and they're getting a bit dirty as well. So, even though I am planning on selling the horses once the food is run out, which is still really look after them still, but. Yeah, currently our Angus is only 27% towards puberty, so still a ways to go before we sell them. But I think you get almost like three grand, I think it is. Maybe even more, but yeah, rabbits need some food, so we'll, we'll grab a bell, take it over. And then apart from that, it's just straw work, so yeah. In between episodes, we did do the finishing off the straw work on these fields. And then all we got left to do is the straw, straw work on the other fields. For when we harvest them, like the barley fields and that. So that's why it's here ready. To do the barley. And yeah, we should get another two bells out of it. I'll say two bells, these are like 80,000 litre bells here. On Yeah, I think sure. Let's sell some of these bells now. Might as well. Because we are planning on selling them. Or is it worth waiting for one more month for straw? Or, but do you think the price is going down in August? Yeah, so not much more, but 
of a garden center or value view so value view is just over there so I think we'll grab them instead and take them over there I think we got like eight bells maybe seven or eight bells so my estimate of about 400,000 euros of straw is a bit down but about 300 or 400 I think I'll grab the old straw bells from uh, where is it to uh, from the shed. Yeah, I'll sell those as well. And straw we get from these two barley fields and rye. We'll build them. We'll keep them purely for animal bedding. Even though I think yeah, it's a bit excessive, but dang it. For the headroom. Okay, not screw it. Get the hooked up. So, yeah, I think we'll do that. Get your spells and sell them. Yeah, it ain't giving me too much money, but then again, we've also got 2 million leaves of short to sell as well. So, now I'll get 200 grand or wait to winter. Get another 50 grand on top of that. There's options there, but unless there's anything like in the used market or anything we need to buy, I don't mind waiting on those just purely because of the time and effort involving. Oh, uh, yeah, just to get them obviously filled up. And then souls is going to require several trips. So yeah, we'll grab these bells, get them sold, and then I'll see you folks at the store. And there we go, that was very hectic to deal with, and I should have used a bloody bigger trader, but anyways, we've got 1.06 million litres, plus another 81,000 litres for that bell, on the top, yeah, uh, somewhere there, on that top left, I couldn't strap down, so yeah, 250 was from, of course, what we had in storage, and the other 800 or so thousand, was from the field, so not too bad. And what? Screw it, just put it all in. Mine's gonna go up anyways. There we go. And look at that money shooting up. How much was that? 180 grand, so yeah. Not too bad, decent profit in that. Can't complain on that, and that's for sure. And yeah, I think we're losing the light now, so I think what we'll do is we'll rest and then we'll start working on the, the straw. Oh no, sorry, we'll harvest barley in that. Also, we can start having to have the factory as well, see if we get any, oh, not any green mill, any flour coming in. And there we go, we are in this now. Let's put 
times back up. So, yeah, we've got some apple juice, and once again, I'm just going to make a quick buck off that. So, let's go and have a look at some cell points. And apparently, there have been some new cell points added in. So, we go down here to look at apple juice. There we go. So, actually, it's the sell everything container is a good price. So, we'll send that over there. So, sell everything container is up here. So, just gonna place it on the road and then we'll just take it in once we're done there. It's probably not reachable. Also, it might go down a little bit. That will be made clear in a future episode. It's a little bit explained. Over the years, I've laid the groundwork for some future stuff we're going to be doing, including some productions I want to go for. That should make sense. Yeah, I was going to roll my there. Fair enough. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I can divulge now. Sure, why not? So if we go over here, or just somewhere over here, there we go. If you remember, we did have a pig farm over here that we removed. Oh, where's the pig's enclosure or where it was? Over here? No, no, I think it was over here. But yeah, so we've done some terrain work now and just edited the surface. So, let's just go into drawing mode. So, where's the pig enclosure? It's one of these over here. Ah. Yeah, it's over here, so literally next to, I think that's the horses. Actually, can we remove that? Sure, let's buy that. Well, you can. Yeah, I know that was a bit of an expense, but actually that also gives us another area to use. I don't think you can remove the fencing, which is a shame because this would have been a good production area. And it still can be because I've got some ideas for some productions and we can place them down now if you want to. So, well, I'm not going to do it quite yet because I need to get the horse and all that done first. So, not the platinum stuff. But yeah, I've had some mods now. Of variety, including dairy and that. So, because I want to sort of utilize the milk now and get butter and that, butter, cheese. But I think also the cookie factory has an option, yeah, to make sugar. So, yeah, of course, eggs and a few other things. But yeah, we can get all sorts of different cookies from it. So, if you look at prices again, so we get chocolate chip chocolate chocolate chip so I'm not sure what the difference is there oatmeal I guess it requires oats we're going to do oatmeal raisin because obviously it involves raisins strawberry cheesecake flavours and then obviously you get the variety which I'm assuming is all five together which yeah 67 grand for a thousand litres and actually, is that sensation a bit above? Yeah, it seems to be a bit above price compared to your normal stuff, so that's a good thing to know. But even if you don't do that, even if you just get something that produces, you know, like your milk and butter and that, well, butter and cheese. Yeah, cookie cell station, six grand compared to 5,100, five grand. So yeah, that is a possible option for us. But obviously we need a lot of milk, how we sold a bunch of milk, what, last episode or so? But yeah, also, other productions. And all of it is because of diversifying our income. Simply the fact that we need different bits of income coming in. Get a cheap dairy there for 62 grand. Or cheap-ish. Then obviously you've got your farm productions and that by Umatono. Yeah, even sugar, something like this. Would do 10 grand. 
amongst other things it can do, we can get sugar from that, from sugar beets. And also you can get a variety, you can get cakes and that. Yeah, it's a bit of like an all-in-one production kind of thing. But a lot of it is for things like tomato salad and that. So yeah, tomato salad, tomato sauce. Which I'll be more looking at for the fruits production. And all your cereals and that. But yeah, so you've got a few different options. And so when you come to planting next year, you can do crops. And then further the process of them to get potentially a better profit. But yeah, so... Actually, one thing I do first of all is turn the interactive markers off. Because I do get a bit annoyed and I just had it on just like that's on the placement. But yeah, I'm thinking the cookie factory is an option for us. And if we can make some cookies. Yeah, that's better. That's a production I haven't used before and it's just something different. Something different and something wrong with that. So let's go... And sell the apple juice a sec. So let's go from here. So yeah, I'm thinking, yeah, the bank's playing some... I didn't realise that was a sell point there for the apples. Or apple juice. Not too quick there. But yeah, let's make a quick buck. 16 grand, not too bad there. Landscaping work though, by the guessing people to the bank and that weather. Pour a bit of extra concrete down. But yeah, so I'll get that returned to the farm. And now let's focus on the harvesting. So you go there. So yeah, I think best course of action would be with the worker. So I did also want to do one thing. And you straight line, big can, so actually stop checking yet. It's producing straw, that's good. And then we can get our brand new combine here. Which has only had an hour of usage out of it. Nothing in comparison to grand scale things, so Starting off to a difficult area where we just trying to see this and yeah, it's going over a few bits now, which is to be expected. It is a bit of a fun uneven area. And really I should have more to flatten that area over there. And crash counter two more right I think in this episode. But yeah, we've got bread underway now, so we've set the flour to distribution, so go into our production, there's a few contracts, but yeah, we've got the flour going, and that's making bread, we didn't have a pallet of bread yet, but maybe before the end of the episode we can get our first pallet of bread out, obviously that's going to be like two weeks, we'll skip ahead, because yeah, we can get two pallet every two weeks, just under two weeks, so yeah, there's that. But yeah, and also be making more flour. And I will stop and start this production most likely at some point over the year. Because yeah, we're going to hit the limit for too much flour, so that's going to be another thing. Also, actually, I should have that Massey at the Great Mill. So then we can cart with, uh, what's it, cart with the Tran 70, and then we can, yeah, get the right and just dump it straight into the production. And actually I'll do that now in the right. But yeah, even with all the production that we're going to do next year on the farm, I'm still going to do crops now, because I'll do, well, of course I'm going to do crops, that's all the purpose of it. We're an apple farm, of course we're doing crops and boy. But yes, what I mean is we'll do a variety, like five, six fields, do all different crops. Obviously got a bunch of field beans going at the moment. Which is good, so we get a lot of money. But I think once we get ourselves out of debt, 
we still have to dedicate a field to fuel beans as we need that money crop. Any farmer would have a money crop in basically the crop that needs yields the most per hectare. I think that's the best way to also determine the value of something that is the value it brings per hectare. And yeah, that's the fleet field beans. Saying that, actually, in terms of like, timing that, I think actually should it be the better crop to do. I mean, that's like that is requires a dead harvester and we're almost chucking straw into the river. Let's do that. Don't be environmental. People coming out here and hand commanding us. Don't be locked up. But yeah, as you see, it's going to take too long. You know, I think once we get the head done, we can get the workers on the way properly. Is that worker blocked over there? It is. So yeah, actually, you know what I'll do is I'll get the worker off Just in the old direction. That's decent enough. So yeah. It's all done, transferred over. It's gonna take a bit. Well, uh, yeah, it takes so long, I think. Before dinner time, we'll easily have all the fields done. So, yeah, I will get all the fields done, and I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done. Almost done with the harvesting. 
now it's just the ass of the party to do and we got the cloth over there doing that little strip over there and we've got the new one doing this over here so this shouldn't take too long and yeah let's have a little quick gander at what we have got from the rice so far so if you have a look here go up to the top and we'll see we've got 41,000 years of rye double check if it's still online yeah just over that it was an of course initially and then we've got 122,000 years of barley and yeah we're down to 30,000 years of oats so yeah that's going to be a lot of flour being produced and already we're at 9,000 years of flour and that is enough for 4,000 yeah that's just on its own at the moment two months worth of bread so I think at some point we will stop the flour production maybe around September or October so that we can have a stockpile of flour to sell over the course of the winter I think that would be a good idea and then what we can do is store them got a few options including some very large bags we can put them in courtesy of A2 Studio and what I am referring to is the global bags something we have a look here so under pallets I think go to the end yep yeah, the global goods pallets so yeah that can hold 200,000 litres of anything and I'm pretty sure that includes flour if I'm correct actually this will show us at the bottom all your normal stuff, yeah, flour it will do as well, so that's good, to, yeah, that's good to hear. Also, sorry, non getting the swaths and that picked up. And of course, as said, oh, what's it called? I'm going backwards, just turn around. Ah, uh, fine, so let's do the same thing. Wait, what was I saying? Yeah, I can't remember. But yeah, so a Australian foot there. But who will put these? Oh yeah, the straw I was all about. Yes, I did in the last episode. We was going to keep the straw. I am tempted because I think we can buy bells if we need to, decent sized ones, as and when it is needed. Because yeah, that's one is eleven thousand years. Because yeah, we've got enough TMR for now, and I've only just realised we've gone way over top of the TMR for our Angus cows. Basically, they don't need TMR, because they're beef cow, not dairy cows. They don't need, well, they can do TMR. Oh, what's that working doing? 2-6. That tiny little shrimp we're doing, but yeah, in terms of like how much they grow in that and their value in general, hey, it's fine. You still get it's exactly the same value. So I think what we can do is start giving our cows some hay. I think we still got a few hay bells in that. Of course, we do need some for the sheep in that. So. Again, with what I'm planning on doing, what crops we're going to do in this coming year, maybe do a cheeky grass filthy, say, plant it at end of August. That's going to be October by the time it's ready to mow. And then we need to just cultivate it or whatever, dirt drill if we're planting a crop next year, we're going to to cultivate or subsoil perhaps. But yeah, that's a few options for us. I'm most likely, maybe go down the subsoil route because then we can get stones produce some more lime and because it's like some of these fields already got medium stones previously we could perhaps get away with having large stones coming up next time but again that's something we've got to look into as and when that arrives but yeah with the cookie production 
things like strawberry cheese. So yeah, maybe we need like more sugar beet in the coming year. That means then do we invest in, in the sugar beet harvester in terms of buying it out outright or just leasing it? And that's gonna be the question there and as we complete this pass we will turn off the combine header and empty it. Because, yeah, again, I said, sugar beet is a very valuable crop. And even if we don't get all the sugar, well, if we don't use all the sugar out of it, to rephrase that, we can just sell the sugar beet, or sugar beet cut. Sugar beet cut can go into the BGA, I think. Or is that a Pacific Moddy one? Again, is that, please say that combine's turn around. Thank you, at least one, one worker was doing something right. But yeah, so just a little bit of swivel left. And the rest of the horse in. And then I think we'll do some straw work as well. Because yeah, I think we've already got two bells to produce, so yeah. If ever we can sell more straw. Why the heck can just sell it? Sell it all. Sell it all. But yeah, also I'm thinking about yeah, getting that tomato salad, tomato sauce production and salad production on the way. Because hopefully with that we can make a little bit more money from the greenhouses. Because yeah, like, what, over the course of a couple of months we've got like 55 grams worth of stuff. Yeah, so it's obviously including the strawberries, but still. I ain't eating too bad of a job. 55 grand, and if we can make a bit more money out of it. Obviously, we've still got the loan to pay off, so. Um, obviously, it's a multi year thing, but the loan's not a one year, we've got to pay it all off. And I'm sure with like, the fill beans we're going to be harvesting, we'll get that money back June next year very easily. So, yeah. I think what we'll do is. One more time ups, finish off the harvest, get baited, yeah, get the baiting done, and I'll see you folks afterwards.
And there we go. Uh, we are in the third week of July. We skipped ahead a little bit. And yep, we also done a few contracts as you will have seen in the time lapse towards the end. Of course, the screenshots. And yeah, that's why we're on 365 grand now. But now we've got a half a million litres of straw. And we're going to sell these at Vibe Bells because we can get £105 per thousand litres. So that should be about 60 grand almost for these bells. So I thought, heck yeah, why not sell them? And if you need bells for the straw and that down the road. Then over, we actually we've got some in this side over here, so I should, should turn left there, but we can go to the store via this way. But yeah, because we've got like 2.1 million litres of straw, so yeah, not an issue whatsoever there, and that straw may be sold over the course of the winter and that. Unless something comes up, and we need money now, then we'll set straight away. Go. Mine's going up, 420. Yeah, that's way over 60 grand. Well, just a bit 61, but yeah, not too bad of an estimate. And yeah, also looking forward to go and see what we've been producing that. We've produced the flower because we've now set that to store simply because we've got enough grain or enough, or enough flour in the bakery to last till the new year. So yeah, I was going to have to look here. Now see here, we've got these pallets here, and we look easy just to move them. Move that way, 5,000 litres each, so we're going to get a fair bit of money for this. Fortunately, if we head over to the actual bakery itself, we're going to be as lucky because it is a slow production for the bread. So you go over to the bakery. Not even a single pack yet. We've even got 1200 litres and these are 5000 litre pallets. Of course, if we need to get some out straight away, then I'll take the appropriate action of deselecting the was it large pallet capacity and get a pad out but yeah we'll have a pad of bread for winter and that so not to worry there but yeah that's all the hard apologies there that was a little game crash we just had <laughs> literally after it automatically saved so one good all the save was on and two that was the first time this happened like done what easy three hours off Playing, like doing background work now, and it hasn't crashed since I've had that all save enabled. But now, yeah, so that's a bit of a weird one. But anyways, back onto the task I found. What I was going to say is, we now need to start doing the field work, field prep for next year. So there we go. That's all that sorted. Obviously some of these fields are going to be wheat again, I'm thinking 57 again, have a big wheat field, or wheat, actually no, barley may be a good one, so I'm thinking like so 52, 53 and 56 could be barley, that leaves us with these five fields, and I'm thinking, obviously you can't do barley in that plan until September, but that would stop her, so yeah, really apart from the canoe and that, so nothing else we can do this year. <coughs> apart from cotton in February and then any other crops in the next year, so maybe it could be worth just doing some grass work now. Ooh, didn't know there was a bell there. Good to know. I'll come down here, we'll leave that there, we'll keep it. So yeah, I'm thinking, do barley fields, then do grass, and then come the next year, do something else, I haven't quite 
figured out what we're going to do. We look at the cookies factory. There we go. That's clothing cookies. Horse raisins. Yeah, butter, cheese, strawberries, chocolate. And what's that? Oh yeah, oats for oatmeal cookies. So yeah, there's a few options there at least. But maybe go a bit more on sugar bean that get more sugar made, so if that's gonna be the case. A little cough there. But yeah, so yeah, we're doing oats. But yeah, depending on what we get from the sugar beet field in October. That's why I'm going to be harvesting the sugar beet. That will dictate what we're going to do. Because I'm thinking like sugar beet we can do. Corn. Get some popcorn and that from it. If we can find the space. Get some cotton in. And then we can get some clothes from it. Also what about a little vineyard in that. There's nothing wrong with that, it's just the equipment involved. That means a lot of work, but then again, saying that, we can do sidage and sell the winter. Also, we've still got 400,000 litres of sidage, and if we sell that over the winter, that's at least 200 grand we're going to make. All the there's like then seed and rye and that. But what about alfalfa? Let's do. Actually, yeah, let's do alfalfa. Not sure what the growing cycle is, who oh, on those. And actually also I forgot I've got to convert this into a mulcher, so let's quickly do that a sec. All sorted, so yeah, we need to get the mulching underway. And yeah, that's gonna be quite a bit of an endeavour. But yeah, I'm definitely thinking next time we start expanding the productions and that. Get Cookie factory and get the farm production facility in. That lets us create the tomorrow salad. Well, tomorrow sauce hence salad. Not the same thing. And then, yeah, pretty much go from there. Actually, before I quickly leave it here for now, house the manure. Not too bad. We need mucking out before it hits 10,000 litres. Mind your head. But yeah, having this mulcher. This sort of mulcher roller configuration is absolutely handy. So you already got weeds growing in the fields and that, so. And that's the thing also I know, remembered on why I'm not getting a 100% yield bonus. It's because we're putting the herbicide down only when basically it starts germinate. If you do it that pre-application I was on about then we wouldn't have an issue with the herbicide or with not the herbicide with uh what's it weeds. So yeah didn't we didn't we do something we're spraying that like preventive spraying on one of these fields. Was it this field over here or was it like one of these fields? Uh, I'm not sure, I can't remember. But yeah, I thought we tried it and weeds weren't growing. Actually, the map may help us with that, so go to weeds. Have a gander. Yeah, it was this section over here. To the left, I oh, know, wait a minute. That's where we're done. So yeah, actually, you know what? I don't know, but yeah, we've got weeds everywhere. On all those fields. Not all of them, fortunately. But yeah, I think if we do from spraying. But yeah, we need to mulch, fertilize, subsoil, get the rocks picked before we can do any big crop work and that so that's gonna be a bit of an endeavor in itself but at the end of the day it's all gonna be worth it. Hello folks and welcome back to Court Farm. Here we are we've got the worker doing the mulching. 
Mine's gone down a little bit, and that's because we have leased out another mulcher. Well, on the back of the John Deere here, it should have enough horsepower. And also, we bought the global transport big bank pallet thing. And that's going to be for the flower, because as mentioned in that episode, we do have enough flower to last us over the course until December for when it is time to sell bread and flour, so, so I think by the time we hit December we should have two 5,000 year pallets of bread. Yeah, I think I've done this, but it's like the second week or for December 2 or December 3, we're going to get that second pallet, so, and of course we haven't got the first pallet yet, so, Obviously, it's a 5,000 litre pallet, and we only produce in 2,000 litres per month, so that is four and a half weeks, no, sorry, two and a half months, almost, or two months and one week before we can get a pallet, so it's a bit of a slow work, but it's, again, passive income. I've got plenty of flour on the go at the moment, so... Yeah, what I'm going to do is detach this and obviously you've got a discharge site and a auto load site. So I'm thinking if we push that here. There we go. Now when we get pad squad up in the future, all that flower will be going straight into here. So I'll leave that there. That counts as one pallet, but it's got a huge capacity, so all the flowers are going to go in there, and come December, we'll just set it. And I think actually we'll fill most of that up, I think, so, so yeah, let's make sure everything's going on at the moment. We're going to be running out of the oats very soon, but at the end of the day, it's extra flour, so I am not too disappointed in that. But yeah, with the bread, only 30 dungeons a year. So we do have a little bit of milk. That was by accident when I went to sell something off camera like several episodes ago when we bought the actual bakery in the first place. That's a little test. So I'm going to put that just over there like that. I'll get this unfolded. Because yeah, six grand to lease this was pretty expensive. But I think it is worth it because we need something just to speed up the work a little bit. We do have contracts available, but I don't know if we're going to get those ones done, especially the bathing ones. Whether it's hay or grass, I'm not too fast at the moment. I'm willing to do anything. We've got plenty of money at the moment, so we're not in a deep, in a deep rush for it. Uh, yeah, we're going to have horrors coming up very soon. So I think September is when we can harvest the either sugar beets or, yep, yeah, sugar beets, September, and fuel beans as well. So, yeah, as I said, we've got plenty of work ahead of us. So, yeah, if we squeeze in some contracts, and yeah, we will. But at the moment, the priority is getting these fields turned over. Getting these mulched, plowed up, or cultivated, and then get the rocks picked. So, do want some more lime in that because we do need lime, especially with all the issues we've had. We've got no silos of seeds or fertilizer at the moment, so we need to buy some more very soon. Because actually, how much is for like the fertilizers and all that? Go down the pallets. So yeah, liquid fertilizer. We're gonna need more of that. Actually, what I'll do is I'm gonna buy just a bunch of those. There we go. Get around when we're at 400 grand. One more. So you can get that in storage. Could do with a couple of pads of herbicides as well. 
five of those. And then really we need seed as well. Not sure where is it to these under big bags. No not the animal foods. Yeah, these ones here like the multi crop ones, so I think yeah, so buy two bags of seed. Oh two made pallets. We need to solve that, so and there are some bells we've left in the field over here. Ah, I forgot about these ones, so let's quickly get that resolved actually, so leave that there. And yeah, look, we left this over here. Vehicle it wait a minute. Vehicle is broken. What do you mean vehicle's broken? What have you done? Wait a minute. Tabbing around. Where's the messy to? Why I can't I tab to yeah, I can tab to this. Oh, don't tell me you've put it in the bloody drink. Oh, don't tell me. You idiot. <coughs> oh, no. That. Yeah, that needs to be towed out. Why drive into the wa bloody water? Yeah, that's going to be expensive to recover that and yeah, see if it's damaged. Hopefully, the workers turn the engine off before it went into the water because if water's gone into the engine, that would have bloody hydro locked it. So, oh god. Right, fine, let's get this recovered and see what the damage is. Well, that was expensive, so yep. Yeah. Shop is just open. We've had to cover, of course, the Massey and the Roller. And yet, yeah, as we drop down to the store, thankfully, our insurance is going to cover any cost of repairs and that, or whatever has to be damaged done to the Massey. Apparently, they tried to start it. A lot of war got chucked out from inside the engine, but. At least it's not hydro locked. If it was hydro locked, then we'll be looking at a bigger issue. But so yeah, since then we've just been picking up those bells. Also, just moving some of these pallets. And uh, yeah, I was on about yeah the production of what was it, tomato sauce and salad. I think we'll do that now. We got stuff here, so sure, why not? Let's do it. So. Where did I say I was going to put it to? Over here by the old pig enclosure. Oh yeah, over here. So yeah. Got the mowers. So let's quickly just move those out of the way. Damn wall save, come on. There we go. So yeah, let's get rid of these mowers a sec. So go boom, and boom, let's get rid of those. Because yes, yeah, I also want to put down the cookie factory. But of course we need stuff for that first of all, so go on to productions, factories. So I want that one initially, so that would go somewhere there like that. Apparently it's blocked by something. It's that little bit over there, so a little texture, so we will get that removed. I'm not putting it down now, just one as a placeholder. So I know where to put everything. So high output one, there we go. Okay, that's gonna go there, so that's gonna come to about here. 
and then I want is it this one? No, not that one. One of these ones, so yeah, very cute, very small, very dainty. Actually very clean put it in here. Uh, where's yeah, if you know what heck it will put it somewhere there like that. So yeah, things are coming <coughs> in there. No, sorry, things goes on the side and comes out the front. So yeah, then all I have to do is put a little texture down. Thinking. There we go, just something like that. Just put a little bit of asphalt down. I should do the whole area because I may add another one. I could do cl <coughs> close. So yeah, I think here making clothes would be ideal as well. But then again, as well, with all we're going to be doing with the cookie factory, we can make cakes as well in the bakery. And that's a, an option for us, but for now, not too worried on that. So yeah, that's decent. I'll decorate it with put some trees down or something after everything's done. But yeah, I think for now. Let's get all this done, and then we'll resume with the mulching, that needs to be done. done so that is the tomato and that is in the new production strawberries are being for the time being I sent them to distribution the ones in the greenhouse so they'll get sent over to the bakery obviously that's gonna fill up very quickly that's just a bit of extra storage in that yeah flowers on the way all good but if we head all the way down here we have a little look we got plenty of tomatoes and that is in there at the moment, so because actually it's not a really fast production. We only get in about two thousand liters a month, so thankfully we can have like multiple of those. Cause even like tomatoes, that is yeah, well, two thousand four hundred liters a month. Plus another thousand, so that is we got nine months worth. So, yeah, really, we can actually get away with having like two of those on the go. But, yeah, so, anyways, we've got our fertilizers and what sorry, so they prefer us as fields and our herbicides fields. I need to cost us 500 pounds to borrow because the others has got milk and dig not digestate, sorry, in them. Also, yeah, we've been buying the seeds of fertilizer, got them loaded up, and I thought, since we've got stuff in there already, got a little bit of milk ready, let's go ahead and start making some cakes. Oop. So yeah, all it really needs is sugar, eggs, and butter. Got some pallets there, ain't gonna last us too long, and not enough to get a full 5,000 liter pallet, but I thought for now, it'd be a good little way to start off the production. Very expensive for us getting those pallets, but 
I think the eggs, we didn't need the eggs. I think we've got plenty of eggs already, so it was a bit of a waste. But, oh yeah, heck it, why not? So, now it's going to deliver that to, no, not the distributor, not the market stall. Do not sell everything container. Not line production, not the PGA. Ah, that one there, so. Oh, if I just put that on the road, will that work then? So we can come back, get that last little bit of liquid fertilizer. And all that, so. How about now? Out. Yeah, it's all so good having this, but ain't even that complicated to get to, so. Oh well, you know what? Set that there. But yeah, so the milk is now ready in the bakery. That's going to see there, of course. And once we're getting at the moment for the cows, that's going to be saved up and be used for the cookie production. Obviously, all that is going to be a bit down the road within the next month or two. Just for now, we've got the basics, get things going for the cakes. And then we'll worry about the rest of the later on. But, anywho, let's go and start putting some of this stuff in. And actually, I think we've already cocked this up already. And then we get the tractor in, but that trailer's going to hit that gate. We're hitting the gate now. This will be like perfectly straight. There we go, manages to knock it about. I think you know what? Actually, heck it. We'll put this down. And I'm hoping we can just grab these. The yeah, downsides we don't have a way out of these pads are heavy. And also, we're going to be picking up the trader as well, I can guarantee that, so... Anyways, we'll take a gamble. Just get it lined up enough. What's going on there? I said we hooked it to... Where do they want to throw those pallets? That about those. Have a little way of looking up. There we go. Just go in. You know what? That works. The exit going in. Well, the R just takes a while. But yes, yeah, so if we have a look now, we should be starting making cakes. Ain't gonna be much, only for a cycle to get one pallet. But it would have been one normal pallet, but we need five times as much, so. But anywho, let's go and get this corrected. And actually, the best we can do is just strap him back on. There we go, I think we'll leave them. Really, they can be used up north, but yeah, it's just we've got so much things to do I think we've got enough fertilizer for now actually we can take the fertilizer with us so that's just do that seeds were fine for now pop in ah, so yeah Get them hooked up like that. Oh, I didn't know that we can do that. That is something actually new to us, so... We'll take this back up. We'll get this hooked up again to the roller, or the mulcher, sorry. 
and yeah, we don't waste too much time with the breaking down of the tractor because of the super worker. So yeah, let's go and sort all that out now, shall we? There we go, so yeah, we got the John Deere doing the grain mill fields. And yeah, I mean the fence, we're just going to do is down here, I was going to sell the worker off, but... Knowing the worker, so I'm going to go through the hedgerows and into the fi or field bean fields and mulch that. And if that did happen, I'll be absolutely pissed off. One worker has already cost me five, five grand, five and a half grand, whatever it was, in recovery. It's going to affect my insurance premium in that, on our equipment in that. There's obviously got workers on the farm now, so we need obviously that liability insurance to cover the workers who are working at the farm for our safety, for the public safety, and for my safety as well. And the farms itself in general. But God was that worker absolutely stupid. It's like why intentionally, I swear it was intentional, driving the water, this has lost control, but as far as I can gather, for what I'm told so far by the people who recovered it, and when we dropped it off at the dealership, that they did see any issues with what could cause a, like, you know, like a sticky throttle, something like that, or a dodgy clutch, or whatever, or no brakes. All the basic controls seem to be working, it's just getting it running. At the moment, we're apparently screwing more out, so. At least the engines ain't hydro locked, but and yeah, the repairs because ain't our fault. It was a worker's fault. Obviously, we're not to be liable to pay in the bill of itself, which I'm guessing is the hindsight of everything. But uh, workers complete your task. No, you're not completed. I was gonna set the worker off in there. We're already done. Ah, no, no. My correction is actually work over here. Fair enough. So yeah, we get this hooked up and take this back to the farm. What she could be doing? Don't really use much herbicide. It still would be good to have, you know, just a bulk supply. So I'm inclined to buy in a few more of these. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, another six I'll do. So I'm gonna quick get this all loaded up. And we'll just get the worker take this back to the farm, so on the road you go. Another automatic save. Yeah, it's annoying these automatic saves, but it's just in case of a crash. I left the game, loaded up a few times since our crash in the last episode, and touch wood, it seems to be fine, but I am not taking that chance at all, so the worker is doing alright here at the moment. And we'll just take over the John Deere here. Some, some issues. It's like a Mr. Shrimp over there in the middle, so not sure why, but so yeah, anyways, and um, shit that we forgot, but nothing to worry about. But yeah, I'm thinking with that side production, all that. Yeah, it is a small building, so obviously ten grand you get what you paid for. And I think there is a bigger one, if I'm correct. I'm going to have a look. It's not this one here, right? Farm production. No, it's not this one here. Is it this one? Farm production barn. Different packs. So if we have a look here. So yeah, it'll be this one here, but that's 50 grand. It's bigger, more substantial. And it can do everything we need. But you want that cookie factory, so. So, you know what? Heck it, we'll put another. We'll say. The pad's gonna come at the front. 
Let's put another two down. Obviously, that's 30 grand compared to 50 grand. Yeah, I get that. But obviously, where we got things set to distribution, I still want to cock anything up, so. Feels like this one here, but bigger. And yeah, that'd be nice, but. Yeah, you know what? Somewhere like there, I'll do. I'm getting all that side of production. And that's the thing, yep, yeah, expense. It's going to be expensive for a few months, but between doing contract works and everything else, it's going to be worth it. And we'll make a lot of money. Like, we've got tons of greenhouses underway, so supply demand, that is not an issue. And dang it, I've put the wrong building down. But yeah, looking at that, I think that's the same ratio, right? No, it ain't smaller. Yeah, of course it'll be smaller, but... Oh, which one's that? It's that one. Oh, dang it, that costs us five bloody grand. Easy done, that's the thing, they all look the same, so... But yeah, here, yeah, your dairy, fruits, I mean, oils. That's thing, that's one of the about doing corn. Like, we can get this. And yeah, there's a few other things. We could do cereal and that. But we're going to do cereal, but we can do corn, popcorn. So. But anyway, so yeah, we'll get back to what we was doing. Stone and its fruits, yes. So. You know what? Somewhere like that. Like that. So yeah, that costs us an extra money, which I didn't want. And you're stopped as well, and that's going to be the thing. It's good having workers, but... Yeah, they're so temperamental at the best of times. But anyways, let's go and get this done. And I'll see you folks in a bit. Once we are done with all the mulching.
And there we go, that is all the mulching done and the fertilizer. So let's go and have a quick look because we have been busy. So let's go to the map, have a look. So if we go to here, go to mulched, all of our fields are mulched. Also, we've put an application of fertilizer on all of our fields and for 109 and for a bit of 59. That has its second application already put on. That's because we've leased a tractor and a fertilizer spreader. This was a regret because I didn't realise we had one. And it's just at the other farm. Completely forgot. Yeah, the Brittle K105. I can do lime and fertilizer. And yeah, completely forgot about that. So that is a complete waste. We'll be using that. I'll be returning that at the end of the day. Actually, can we undo that now? That's, that's filled up with fertilizer because also I decided to buy a bunch of fertilizer. Yeah, 18,000 litres. Not needed, so. There we go. That does the job. Too many pallets. Oh, great. I need to put this somewhere. Actually, better be a sec, I got an idea on that part. And that is with our old silos back, so got them back in. Haven't charged ourselves for it since it was a technical mod issue now. So yeah, let's go and put this in. There we go. That should all just trickle in and empty itself. Just like that. So yeah, we'll get these put in a sec, so if you bear with me. And then we'll focus on what we've got the plow here and stone picker. is solved now, a little issue, a little quick time lapse there maybe. So yeah, we will turn this. Yeah, because it's completely not needed. But yeah, since we've got the Massey in the shop, we've had to go on and lease this. Technically we didn't have to because we've also still got the fence. However, the fence, I want to reserve that as much as possible for Basically hard work in that, so far as the two over here. Things like holding stuff in that, and when I'm doing like the wind rowing and mowing, because if you look at it, it's already on 30 hours, almost, just over 29. And we will give us a quick service now, since it actually needs fuel and a little service. But if you catch us cast yourselves back to or on the series where we had the class 800 series and that got worn very quickly just because of we was using it a lot for a lot of stuff and yeah she'll fill it up in a few moments yeah let's go and look at the service because the more we use it the more it's going to wear quickly like with our class combine, that's got 50 hours on it. See, so six grand at the moment ain't too bad. Ain't too bad, but at some point, we was perhaps well, they need to look into well, English there, but that was all complete mumbles. But we need to look at possibly replacing this with something just something a bit younger, a bit more mod, not saying mod, but a bit newer. That's why, where possible, I will reserve this just for... Actually, how much X we got there? Well, only a thousand meters. But yeah, as I was saying, reserve this for the hard work, holding stuff, like using the trans. Like, the other tractors can pull it. 70,000 meters of stuff, but it is such a heavy boot, or, or brute, <laughs> when it comes to just maneuvering stuff, so... And that's why we're going to leave it at that. And that's going to be there. 
But yeah, the plan. Are we going to do any crops and that for next year now? Looking out the window, I think we'll do one, I think, yeah, barley and oats, definitely. Got enough wheat now, we could do wheat again next year, next, basically this time next year. So I'm thinking if we do barley and oats, just to mix it up a bit, keep that fire production going. Because, yes, yeah, so if we're going to do that, I'm thinking dedicate three fields. Maybe, I'm thinking barley, and then we can have oats. Actually, yeah, barley and oats here. And then we can have oats as well here. So, yeah, oats, oats, and barley here. And these five, one, two, three, four, five, yep. They could be for other crops like sugar beet we're gonna be doing. Try to think as well. Maybe cotton, we'll look into that. Sorghum. Can we do sorghum flour? Yes we can. So we'll do a sorghum as well. So yeah, sorghum on one of the bigger fields, and then sugar beet as well. Yeah, sugar beet and corn, that's definitely... Cotton's a maybe in that, so that's actually if we go down that route of getting the spinner in that, or a production that can do clothes. May not do it. But yeah, definitely corn and sugar beet next year, and that's going to be in March, April, and that, so... So I think for the other fields we'll just do grass, like get a bunch of silage in and have just one big silage session, so obviously, actually can we direct drill? Uh, I don't think our cedar is a direct drill, is it? No it ain't, it's just a planter, so do we look at possibly getting a direct drill cedar? If so, it will have to be something like this. That does it 8 meters. It's a bit small compared to. And the lease as well, that is expensive. That's going to have a fair few hours on it, so. I'm thinking we'll just rip it up and just get the things done. Just get it plowed, rock picked. Because I do want that line, that little bit of extra income there. So we'll just hop across the sugar, not sugar beet, the field beans. And yeah, we'll get the plow on the way. And next time, that's where we'll be getting this all done. Get the plow done, get the raw picking done. And I think as well, getting that cookie factory in. Because harvest is just around the corner. For, actually, no, sugar beet, it's October. Field beans. That's actually can we tell a difference? So there should be a difference then. Fill beans start green. So yeah, in September we're gonna be doing the fill bean harvest. There we go, just make sure everything's on. And no, I'm not having that. We've just patches of grass, so just do this. I think actually what we'll do as well is lease a second one out as well. Get a worker on that. Because we've got so much work to do. And I think yeah, if we have a look here we'll see we will have large stones. Yep, yeah, got large stones. It had medium stones recently. And actually do we need to lime? No, we don't, I don't think. Maybe with a root crop on that, but apart from that, don't need to do anything else. So, literally, get the plan on the way, get the rock picking going, and then we'll start seeding the wheat and that. Hello, folks, and welcome back to Court Farm. 
here we are in the depth of August, and we have been busy. We've been doing some contract work, that includes the screenshots of that. But yeah, the plan for today is going to be getting the grass in the ground, because as you can see, we have been busy. Off camera, we've been plowing the fields and we've rock picked them. And oh boy, we've got a lot of rocks on that, so with that all taken care of, we've got the lime, we can sell the lime and get some money. But all we need to do is sell the grass, so as we head back to the farm, I'm going to quickly include screenshots and going to show a new business that has been popped up around the local area that I think is going to be a huge benefit for us. So as we're picking up the other trader, you can see there's a huge grain facility there to our right and oh boy it is a lot more in depth than just a grain facility. It's a brand new local cooperative that has been spawned up so let's have a little look here shall we as we go into here. And yeah, that is a huge facility as we're getting stuck. Try sticking to the path here. Set by, I guess, the cooperative or constructing company. So yeah, let's have a little look here, shall we? So, what's on pull here? Stop. And yeah, this is a brand new warehouse facility, a little local cooperative that's been... I'm guessing heavily invested in, because I think... I can tell all of this was like, I don't know, a million quid, so... So yeah, we've got a little grain facility here, so we can store grain here if we want to. But also, we have an option to store our pallets, so... If we go over here and have a little look... Go through the door... Yeah, look at that, it's a huge racking setup, so we can put our pallets in here... Can't see any forklifts or like skid skid steers or whatever in here, so guessing it's only just been open. I'm just waiting on for some equipment coming in. But anyway, so yeah, we have access to this, but it's not for free. It's gonna cost us. So Let's shut the door a sec. But yeah, it's gonna cost us. I think the figure was ten thousand pounds a year to access it. And for a grain, we store it, and then a small percentage of our crop we sell, we store it here, goes to the local cooperative, and yes, you may think, oh, that's a bit greedy, but again, it supports all the farmers, supports all the local farmers, so let's say if we have a bad year now, or something in the lines of we have a disaster with one of our silos, or both our silos, and can store anything, then that is an option for us to store grain there, so yeah, I'm not going to look down on that, because that actually is quite a good idea, so definitely going to be making use of that, once we've clipped the bollards, as you do, but yeah, let's head back to the farm, because we've got a lot of planting to do. And I've got to get the grass in now. It's got to be in August because it stops growing after October. I'm still cut in November and all that good stuff, but the actual time to for it to grow is two months and it stops growing after November, so no, sorry, October, so we need to get the grass in. So yeah, I've got the plow over there, we finish all that. Uh, where did I leave our planters and that? I'm guessing that's all I've spread everywhere on the map or at the farm. Now that's our cultivator over there. Uh, ah, it's all down here so we need to get that hooked up so I think we'll use actually what is a horsepower car because I may use the Massey we currently got on the lease, so yeah, okay. use that cedar. So let's hop into this massive we've been leasing out, and yeah, it's absolutely filthy. 
is already worked up for work hours on it, and I think our other Massey is going to be ready in September, so it's just one more week we've got this on lease for. And yeah, it's going to be worth it rather than buying a new tractor. Seeing that, we've got a quarter of a meal, we can buy a new tractor if we want to. Yeah, I'm not too sure on that, but I'm not going to focus on that for now. Because we need to get all the harvesting done the next year and that, first of all. And get everything planted. Because at the moment we've got our flower going to be set in December, along with our bread and that. So, we've got money coming in. So, yeah, I'm not too worried about... Okay, you're right. The least massy. That wasn't because of the worker, that was because of me. So yeah, I'm thinking this I should top this up with fuel first of all and give it a quick wash. Actually, how much fuel have we got? Uh just over four thousand litres, so not too bad. And yeah, we'll give it a quick wash, so yeah. Let's get us cleaned up, hooked up to the cedar. And then we'll start getting our grass field seeded. Okay, so right, we've got the cedar all hooked up and ready. But I've decided to go and let's turn traffic back on. Lease out a second cedar and I want to try something different. I'm using the Amazon Cyton 15001-C. This is a 15 meter cedar. And yeah, this costs us like 10 grand to lease, so it's going to be pretty expensive to lease. But I've been told, because we've paid such a high leasing price, compared to our usual few grand, we're not having to pay for the hourly work fee, so that's good. So yeah, let's divide and conquer. I'm going to get the workers to start doing down here, hopefully. And then we start doing the fields up here, so... As you see, we've also done some field extension. So yeah, we'll have a little look at that in a few moments. So we need to maneuver this out properly. Put our beacons on. Because it's a pretty tight exit to the shop. And there we go, we are out. Excuse dear. Thank you. But yeah, this is an oversized cedar. We've bought some seeds and a little bit of fertilizer. We've got fertilizer at the main farm, but for having seen one lucky me, I thought heck it, buy some fertilizer because some of our fields do need fertilizer. The grass, what well, will be the grass fields, not the shoe bean or field bean fields, so that's at least one part taken care of, but yeah, now it's just accessing the fields, like can go for the home farm and that. It's that tight little left there we've got coming up by the green mill. Leading up to the home farm here is going to be difficult, so well, let's give it a go anyway. So I'm just hoping no cars come out because this is a huge cedar. I can't really see got any cars behind us. So indicating left. And yeah, we need to do a really wide turn. Okay, there was a car there. Ooh, that was close. There we go. Got it. Yeah, just breeze in the grass verges there. But yeah, it's possible. And I think with the lease as well, it's a good test for us because... Down the road, we may upgrade from our 12 meter cedar to. That can even maybe this. But yeah, I'll need to test the access to the fields we need to. I think, well, technically, we don't own the home farm. Yeah. We can have access to it. So, alright. We'll just do that. Ah, uh, yeah, where is the field? There we go, just over here. Oh, this bit may be tricky. Come to go all left. Uh, 
last possible moment is crank it. There we go. Clear that. Are we going to clear the building? I'll show you, mate. Has I got, has I got rear of steering? Oh, that's what I steering just now. Oh, it's going to be my imagination, but... There we go. So, yeah. Does the cedar work for us? It does. <coughs> Don't have to do awkward navigations. But, yeah. To catch up, folks, on what our plan is, because... We're only going to redo a more wheat or whatever in the coming year. Well, actually, seeing that, we may do... Actually, I need to figure out this. We are going to do one of these crops, but which one and on what field? I'm thinking, actually... Maybe what we can do is actually... Still plant everything because we can just do a spring wheat and spring barley. That would push the harvesting window into pretty much August or September of next year. But yeah, I think it's going to be worth it because um, with all the grass we're going to get, we'll bait it, get silage, and if you cut it and bait it in October, that's going to be ready for December. Oh, no, sorry, November, actually. And the price is at its peak around, yeah, December to February. So as soon as it hits around the 570 mark, we'll sell. Because, yeah, we've still got, like, 400,000 things at the farm we haven't used. It's covered, so it hasn't turned into compost yet, but still. Yeah, I'm actually liking that. Of course, got all the rolling to do afterwards, that's going to take a fair chunk of time. But yeah, I'm not too worried about that. But yeah, I'm liking how this cedar works. So yeah, it's putting down some fertilizer, of course, if we have a look at the fertilizer map. This should be fully fertilized to a degree, yeah. It's just the verges, the field extension area. And then war of the fields do need fertilizer, but yeah, we can always do do that. So I think what I'll do is I'll do the headlands here, switch to the upper cedar, and then I'll just get the worker doing this. So yeah. Best way to get all this done is a little time lapse, so yeah. Let's get all the scene done, and I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here.
there we go, we are in September now, we've managed to get everything done, all the seeding, the rolling done, and the fertilizer done. And yeah, that was a lot of work worked into the night, and you may have noticed, the money's gone down very significantly, but that's because at one point, we was on 370 grand, we sold all of the light after having to set it to sell because it hit the 100,000 year limit and yeah a few other things actually one thing I do first of all is sell quickly this apple juice so let's have a look yeah so with all this we've sliced by another field which will show in a sec apple juice uh, market stall. Of course, that's not there. Always makes this mistake. Because, you know what? We'll set the worker off. Okay, it needs a wait, so bear with me a sec. There we go. Got our 3.3 ton weight on. And yeah, we've got 14,500 litres of apple juice to sell. So, yeah, that will net us. Close to 60 grand. We, there we go. Which is needed now. After buying a new field, we bought field 111, and that's got soybeans. That's why I purchased it because I thought soybeans is a good crop to do. And when we sell it in June, we'll get a very good price for it. So I thought, heck it, let's buy another field. Why not? But also, one thing we need to do is start shifting some of our pallets into storage just because since, yeah, since we had some issues with the game crashing, I've decided to disable the large capacity pallets mod. So I thought that was having like a mod conflict causing like a mod crash or something. That's a bit. Yeah, six grand as I thought. So yeah, we was having game crashes, so I thought I'd disable that. <coughs> However, that would have meant and has meant pallets perfectly spawn, especially our wool and our eggs, will have been gone. So that needs to be rectified, and I've done that with, in a way. Purchasing those pallets back as your normal sized pallets, but in essence, we've already heard those pallets, so I compensate myself in a way. So, in a way, we haven't lost any money on how many pallets that we've in essence we lost because of the modern issue. But yeah, so it's not just those pallets, we've got strawberries, we're now spawning because I thought, yeah, just sell, sell those pallets when we get to around December or January time. That tends to be the best time when you start selling your vegetables now. Or your fruits and vegetables, shall I say. So yeah, full heck it. Spawn those and we'll just sell them when the time comes. So yeah, let's head to the store and pick up these pallets. And there we go, at the store. So yeah, there's our pallets. No, we haven't cheated these pads. These are the pads that we would have had if we just, you know, done them normally rather than having these large pallets. So, thankfully, thanks to another mod I've enabled, the Liftable Bales. Not, sorry, the Liftable Pallets mod. We're able to get these on with no issues whatsoever. Because, yeah, we had uh, actually almost two of like a single pallet spawn but remember the large pallet capacity meant that the capacity was five times as more so in fairness we may have could have got another two wall pallets but yeah I don't be accused of cheating in that so yeah I thought heck it settle on these and then we'll just get these in storage for now and when it comes to time to either sell or I am so adamant on like furthering our production up the food chain and that in the way of 
get enough facility in, but also I'm thinking about the corn now. There's a cornfield. Fortunately, it's about double the money we've got at the moment. However, I think we could acquire a very small loan, you know, to do a bit of forage work, because corn is good, corn is valuable, and we can make popcorn out of that. However, I'm thinking, get some side out of it, maybe? Actually, can we do corn with what we've got at the moment, or do we need the other production chain? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we need the other production, yep, so... Fair enough. We've almost got a bunch of tomato juice and salads. But yep, so let me get the rest of this loaded up. And then we'll take these to the store. And yeah, I'm gonna have a little look at that new pallet cooperative. Just to see what it's all made of. And there we go, got it all loaded up. And yeah, that's the cornfield there. Yeah, I'm tempted to buy that field, get another little short-term loan. Because, yeah, with all what we're going to be doing, we've got our field beans, they're ready to harvest, got the production chains we want in. Combine that with everything else, including selling our apples at the moment. Yeah, we're going to make a lot of money come Christmas and that, this year or so. I mean, before then. But yeah, most of mine's going to come around June next year when we sell the field beans and now the soybeans. But if I had to guess, half a million, so you no know, short term, nine month loan, give or take. Doesn't seem to be the most out ordinary. But yeah, I am absolutely loving this facility. Those gates open very quickly. Yep, there we go. So, let's have a little tour of this, shall we? And have a little look, so... Because we're not tour getting these all loaded in, so I think... It's somewhere here. No location outside or inside, so... Let's have a little look on inside. Thankfully we've got liftable pallets, but... For the other parts we have, things like the apples and apple juice. I shouldn't even sure they're accepted here, but Alright, okay, one's already gone in. I didn't want that, I wanted it on the inside. Ah, it was at set outside as now it's on the inside, so. See I'm thinking, what's he got put in here? No. Um, here. Nope. Not here. Ah, maybe it's over here. It's in screenshots. There was like a little marked box here. Yeah, I'm not sure actually. So what I'm going to do is actually enable interactive markers. So you can actually see everything, so there we go. Interactive markers are on. Okay, that's the unload. Loading is apparently here. I guess in ah maybe where it unloads, perhaps. Turn on the lights. Doesn't seem to be changing anything. The location out. That's well, inside now, so. So one egg pallet, as far as that gonna be two. Outside now. Hmm. I wonder where is well, no, actually generally, where is that egg pallet to? Huh? Maybe it's in another part of the building, maybe? I 
Is that where the bells did not go? Or bells are stored, but... Yeah, I cannot find where that egg pad has gone to. It's on this side? Ah, it's on this side, so... Fair enough, so actually, bear with me a sec. So if that's like that... Now we said spawn outside. Or loading outside. Ah, right, now that makes sense, so... Fair enough. So regardless, you, everything gets loaded here. So in a way, so you're back up with a semi incense. Yeah, if we have a look here. And there we go, there's all of our wool and our eggs. And yeah, this holds 450. 450 uh, pallets, so... That is a lot of pallets. So, let's grab this. Sorry, little hiccups there, so... Let's chuck you. There we go. Ah, yes, yeah, so there we go. It's all lined up now. 40 pallets. And I'm guessing that's pallets and bales up separately. Because, yeah, we've got a huge rack up here. Can't go underneath the shells, unfortunately, but anyway, you can still inspect all your pallets, so now let's go and grab the strawberries and any other pallets we can find that are full, so we can store them in here. transferred over but then also I thought I can't sit for a hand loan. I asked for a bit of a bigger loan from the bank and they have agreed initially our loan was at £395,000 asked for a loan extension of £205,000 so we have a £600,000 loan to pay off now rather than a £400,000 loan but it was worth it because I've got some new facilities in Got rid of the old silo production facility and got some new ones to put in. But yeah, we'll have a proper talk about that. But yes, with this wall, 20,000 litres, which it sounds about right for what we had previously and for what we've accumulated since. Yeah, I'm actually quite excited here. I'm going to have lots and lots of clothes, hopefully. Especially so close to our main sheep area over here, where we get the majority of our bells. So, yeah, I'm just go out of here and cut in like this, just because of access. So, yeah, we've got two facilities in. We've got the farm production, and we've got the farm production, but there is a difference in the two. So, this one here can and has the option to do everything. But we've only bought this strictly for the purpose of clothes. Nothing else. We've got the bakery already. So this is just purely for clothes. Ignore the strawberries in. That was because of in the... What was it? In what? Two of the greenhouses still had it set to distribution. So ignore that. But yeah, so this is only going to be for our cotton not called for our fabric and clothes production so if we go down here and have a look so fabric wool and into clothes so let's go and put that in there we go and 
last one. There we go. So yeah, 22,000 litres. Quick all save. And yeah, let's have a look at the recipes here. So scroll down. So yeah, we've got enough wool for a while. So we consume in 2,800 litres a month. Let's say 2,900 for the sake of arguments. Or 3,000 just to overly round it up. So yeah, we've got enough for best part of seven months of wool here. Now it's going to be used to make clothes. So your fabric, set that to distribution. So that will go to here. Because this other city doesn't have clothes, right? No. So yeah, this one is similar to the one we had before to making the mix and all that. But it does it at a greater cycle rate, I think. Actually, I'm not sure. Is that quicker or the same? Actually, I'm not sure on that. But yeah, with this, we can also make popcorn. So let's just have a look at the comparison. So go down here, look at popcorn. We're looking at 333 quid, so I think corn's going to be worth more just outright. Yeah, 2600 at its peak, so. Because yeah, we're harvesting, well, we'll be harvesting it in September. And then we can sell it in December. And yeah get some decent profit from that but I am thinking about silage because I'm thinking get silage in uh, yeah 570 quid per thousand litres around February but means at least in a forge harvester so let's have a look at our options and yeah I'm gonna go with the Colossus I am keeping this very simple, not going over the top. Just apart from a long pipe. Colour wise, yeah, I think him a, a, a black and blue, I think. Yeah, something like that. Something simple, something not over the top. Have blue interior rims. Sure, let's have black, chrome black, worn triangles. Sure, orange lights. Nope, uh, not gonna go with all this fancy option. Just LEDs, yeah, LEDs, white spotlights. Go with super singles. I think that would be the best option for us because I don't think we're going to have much room whatsoever for maneuverability. Yeah, I'm just going to keep it simple. It's powerful enough, so yeah, that's 15 and a half grand. Also, going to need a forge header. Yeah, I'm not going to go with any like stupid. Well, it's not stupid, but ridiculous, unrealistic stuff. Purely keeping this simple. And compared to the other Forge Harvesters, it's just a cheaper version. Glad we didn't buy that, because we don't have the money for it. So yeah, with that, we're also going to need a trader. We can use our own. Or I'm thinking... Is there any other ones? Yeah, cause, yeah that's good. 70,000 litres, but it is so heavy, <coughs> heavy to pull and deal with. And also there's maneuverability. Ah, that's got a side body, right? So that's 37,000 litres. Any decent compact ones, that's 52,000 litres, but quite big. Yeah, go with that. Possibly. 
Yep, we can use our own trees we've already got, but I think you know what? Let's go with this. So this app, Mudguard Shore UK flag. Let's go with a similar dark blue. No, not that blue. I'm just trying to find. Yeah, if you know what the heck is, go and lease that. So, yeah, that costs us 21 grand, but we're going to make our money back. Don't <coughs> worry about that. So, here we go. Go to the forest harvester. Actually, it was a bit of a lighter blue, but oh well. Also, we're going to need some sludge additives, so. is absolutely huge on its own so I'm glad we've dealt with, with bigger wheels now. There we go, we're able to hitch up fine. So yeah that pipe is perfect for us so I am happy with that. Ooh, we could buy some fabric if you want to. Ten grand. Actually is that worth it actually? <laughs> Yeah, let's have a little look at the prices, so... No, we're not going to sell the fabric and get a quick profit in that, but... If you want to, sure. Actually, you know what, heck it. Use that to make clothes. Sure, why not? So yeah, actually what we need is slide added. That's why I went into the store function. So, it's going to be under big... Not big bags, pallets, I think. And there we go, sludge additive drum. Thinking, I think one would be fine, but okay, let's get two. So we need to fill this up. Actually, yeah, two was way too much, but I don't know what the consumption rate is going to be, so let's get this topped up. And at 60 litres, yeah, it was definitely not needed, but it was worth it. And yeah, just to test it as a probability for us. If we have the money down the road, who may knows? Because this may be a viable option for us, so... Uh, even then, I think, unlike with the harvester we've got, I may still release this, even regardless of anything else, so... Yeah, we've got 110 there, just double checking, we actually bought field 110. But yeah, our sugar bit field's gonna be ready in October. But our field begins to harvest now, I don't think we'll harvest this today as well. I think I just want to get over there, set up and ready. So I think to round off the episode... Oops, oh, time's... Turn that back up. Eesh. Well, that's close. Do we cross into here? But yeah, run off the episode. I'm thinking. Yeah, that's the way to go in. Do some contracts, get our money back up. So I cannot see where I'm going. Thankfully, this has got some huge double gates. So I am blissed with that. Going a quick first back. There we go. Let's get this unfolded. I'll just do a little quick test pass. To, I'll fill it up or so because I just want to see. Okay, didn't fill it up in the lane. But yeah, nine meter header in that. And we're chaffing it up. And yeah, that is going to fill up very quickly, so this will require multiple trips, so, which again makes sense. I chose to go with this option rather than like the trans, just because of the issues. I know that's going to represent us when it comes to harvesting that. 
the gaps, doing decently, they haven't lost an hour, solid work. And I think from the size we're going to get out of this, this will cover at least half the cost of the field. Come peak cell time. So yeah, actually I think this was a worthy investment. But that's what it is, it's all about investment. We've taken the risk of the loan, we make good payments with the loan, hence why the bank allowed us to have that additional loan. So otherwise it wouldn't have lent us money if they didn't think it was going to be making payments. We gave them our business plan of what we're planning to do with that extra 200 grand. Yep, and they're happy with it, so... Okay, that's going to be the problem as well as keeping on that for not spitting out. But yeah, that was just from... One. Yeah, that's from one pass, that is. I'm thinking, yeah, up and down. That's gonna be. I think we're gonna get close to half a million liters. I think we. I think yeah, about four hundred thousand liters. About three fifty, four hundred thousand liters. Yeah, three fifty, four hundred. So that I am absolutely chuffed with. But yeah, let's go. Yeah, we've got some contracts to do. So let's change tack for the last. 5-10 minutes of the episode of just yet yeah, do some simple stuff some humble contract work I think so let's go to your contracts got a Philbin contract on 86 we've got same contracts on 93 and 72 bit of a distance apart also we've got a Sorgan contract at Long Meadow Stores so Long Man Soars is up there on the right. So yeah, 50 is actually right. My little path and track, so... Actually, it's not too bad, so yeah. Let's do a little time lapse of getting some of these contracts done. I'll include screenshots of anything we do off camera as a result. But yeah, let's get these contracts done. And I'll see you folks in about two or three minutes time.
have been very busy. And yet we're into September 2. Left times at times 1 for now as we're just getting everything done. And yet we just got a last little bit of sunflower here from some sunflower contracts we've been doing. So yep, done uh, yeah, a couple of sunflower contracts. So yeah, let's go to the BGA and sell some of the sunflower, not all of it, because most of this I think is going to be for ourselves, or at least a significant part of it is. There we go. And oh, interesting development here, I think. Is that like, who owns this bank or dealership, whoever? Still a bit of a revampification of the BGA. Fair enough. But yeah, so he's back onto the task at hand. So yeah, we've got... There we go, just set that to tip sides right. 21% transported. How much is this are we going to have left over? Actually, you know what? I think what we'll do is, if we set it to the green door, 76%. Oh, this should not have much left at all. 94%. There we go. So that's 2,000. Yeah, 2,332. Is it even actually worth it putting it into production to get some sunflower oil? Because that is a 2 to 1 ratio. So this will have not much. So, you know what, heck it, we'll just put the rest in. I was hoping to have more, but. Oh well, that's, that's still, what, 10 grand or so we got there? So, yeah, not too bad overall. But yeah, we have done plenty of contracts. And that means we're up to, oh, say 2,900, no, 290,000 pounds. And yeah, that is a good sum of money. You just have to pay off the loan. But I am not going to do that just yet. Because there are some things I want to do, so I think to set things up for the next episode. I want to change what we're doing with the forager and that. So, we'll do stuff right there. Uh, since that's how we've met each other, I've installed some more mods and. Yeah, I'm thinking getting a. Tr some form of, like, you know, trayer system and that, so. Yeah, this one here, how much is that? Tip of body extension. Only 41,000 litre, so. Really, we're looking at the X52 tipper, so. Go with the extension, that's going to be 108,000 litre, so. I think that's what we'll do, because we could tip it back. So, what we can do is have this hooked up to like a lorry system so because yeah that's going to cost us a fair bit but if I speak to the dealership maybe we can get a good deal I don't know maybe a Volvo or something yeah something like this or so so yeah bear with me a sec I'm going to speak to the dealer and see what we can come up with in terms of leasing out a semi for a few hours like we're, we're looking at for what about four hours or so but most likely it's going to be a, either a four day or a half day's rent charge so let's see what that co gonna cost us and there we go some time later and after a bit of negotiation we've managed to lease this volvo here only downside it is a where is it? it's an import model so obviously, we're in left-hand drive, and we're in a country where it is driving on the left-hand side, so... Yeah, not sure on that, but we've got six grand, obviously that costs us. And yeah, I was meant to go back there. 
Right, yes, we've got this, got the trailer, and we've got a dolly hitch. Oh no, this ain't gonna go well. Let's go just to find little ways to do the UV here. Uh, do a UV here, perhaps? No, it won't work. Okay, we don't have access to that. Oh, bear with me a sec. Oh, so I go and. Actually, let's turn it down here by the green mill. So, yeah. This costs us six grand, and that's basically. Unfortunately, they didn't do a half day rate for their lorry fleet, so. Fair enough. That costs us six grand, that's for. Uh, for the week and that, so. Or for the rest of the, for the next 24 hours, so. Actually, how much flour have we got at the moment? We've got some check in. 56,000 litres, so. Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. But yeah, so we've got this, and the plan here is hooking this up to the forage harvester by the dolly. And then when it comes ready to empty, my thinking is gets hooked up, take it to the farm. Yeah, it's a quite a very narrow base lorry. But we don't need a long lorry, and the fairness with our the tight lanes we're working around here. Really, I think that's nothing we should be reconsider is a lorry system. Because, yeah, we've got all these trailers and that, yeah, it's all good. But I think it's that this down it is, like, able to transport mass amounts of rain. And, like, these has got the agricultural tires, got tracks on. With this option at least. So yeah, not yeah, I think it's definitely time we consider getting a lorry. Maybe more of a budgeted friendly one, so uh yeah, maybe I don't know. Oof. That's got a lot of torque to it as. Just sort of bolts off. But we do have like seven hundred and 750 horsepower, I think. So, yeah, this ain't no slouch. So, that's disconnected. Do we have a hitch option on this? I don't think so. If we do, not the right time, so. Alright. I'll park that over here. We'll leave that over there. Actually, what's the hitch type on the back? Yes, that should work out well for us. Oh, I didn't realise we could actually raise and lower ourselves. Down we go, up we go, down we go, up we go. Yeah, I did not realise we can do that. And, oh, yeah, the tree's almost in the right colour, but it's got to be more of a lightish dark blue. That's the best way to describe it, apart from looking at the actual colour code described in the game, but... So yeah, in theory, this should work. There we go. Okay, the car doesn't affect the general use of that, so... But yeah, I just want to give it a little quick test here. See how this would perform, so... Who could do a quick headland and that finishes off? So there we go. Yes. Yeah, we are chaffing away. And we are filling up this trailer. So yeah, rather than have to make multiple trips, we can just do one trip. And that's it. So yeah, actually, well, let's end the episode here with doing a little bit of time lapse. Ain't gonna take us too long. Then, yeah, we will go and put this one inside the soil.
Alright, we're about halfway down with that side work, and I thought, take a bit, bit of a breather, take a little stop. And yeah, we need to get this compacted, and yeah, we're only 30% compacted, and I don't think we're going to be able to get all of the chaff in here. That is a concern for me. We do have some options, but things like, I wonder, can we build, can we build chaff? That I do not know. Because if we can build a chaff, then that's perfect for us. Because then all we have to do is just, yeah, bait it. And that's fine, because that's what we're going to be doing with our grass and that for when we do our silage from our own grass. It's literally just, yeah, bait it. Yeah, at the moment, just trying to compact it with the fence. This weighs like 60 tons. I've got an additional 6 tons of weight. Yeah, I was going to get her very slowly, but yeah, I'm just taking the time as to apologize about the camera work. Oh, that's, that's one of the mods I missed from FS90 is the disabled vehicle camera collision. Was that by... I don't think that was by DD Mod Passion. Mantrid, perhaps? Or it could be just someone else, but yeah, I swear so, yeah, we had that, that disabled camera collision on FS19. And yeah, that's one mod we can really do with on FS3 too. There we go. But yeah, this is going to take a bit of time to compact. And yeah, we'll do the rest of the work in the next episode. But yeah, I thought just take a little stop, take a little breather. The episode's going to be long enough already. Man, yes, it took me three days to get this episode done and recorded just because of real life stuff. I'm going to be spending today, Friday, yeah, doing a lot of videos, batch recording for the weekend because I'm going to be away this weekend, so that's going to be fun. But yeah, I think <laughs> yeah, that's where we'll leave it today. Hello, folks, and welcome back to Court Farm. Here we are with our lorry here at hand, we've got some equipment to sell. So yeah, we're going to be selling our mower, our old John Deere, and our Colossus Combine. Yep, yeah, it is harvest season, and really we should have kept the Combine, but... Yeah, I actually think there's not much use of it. Like, when we did the wheat and that, when we was using the... Our new Combine. Lost buried the field by the time we did half the field, so just because of that and it's depreciating in value, we're selling that. The old John Deere tractor, 105 horsepower. Yeah, it was cute at the time, but now it's getting to the point where really you can do with a second tractor, well, third tractor on the farm. With a bit of decent power, around 250 ish horsepower. And that's what I've gotten done is we have bought a new tractor, another John Deere, a bit more modern. And also we bought a service vehicle, a service truck, so we can work our equipment in the field. So rather than having to take to the workshop all the time, if we need to do the service in the field, or especially refuel in the field. And I have crashed. Why is that not a surprise? Go. Uh, come on. Get in. Don't turn down the approach run, so. Just bear with me a sec whilst I just readjust myself here. So, yeah, with that sorted, let's just give these just a bit of a quick wash. The cloth is fine, but yeah, just give John Deere. Yeah, we're selling the mowers because we don't really need the mowers and that. Because I've got an idea of when we do our big mowing session, we can lease out the windrower. And also, I'll speak to the dealership, because I have technically spoken to the dealership already. And there is a possibility of us borrowing one of these to chrome. No, not the ABCC. 6.6, six, but the Chrome Big M450. 
Obviously, initially, I'd be about 19 grand to lease. But I've heard, if I only use it, that only costs us, like, a quarter of that. And no additional fees on top. And that's the thing, that's because we've got a good relationship with the ship, like, like with these. We'll have a look at these in a sec. But we've got those at a thing about a 17% discount, 15 17% discount, so yeah, overall not too bad. But yeah, so let's go and service everything, repaint, service, repaint, service and repaint. And let's just sell these. There we go. So yeah, with all that sold, we're back up to almost 300 grand. And actually, you know what? This we will turn as well back to the deer ship. So, yeah, let's have a look at what we've got here. So, first of all, John Deere 8410. So, a bit more modern, about a decade or so newer compared to what we had before. 32 miles an hour top speed. It's got wide wheels with weights. There is options for duties. I may get rid of that duty option at some point. But not for the time being. I do like it when you get into the cab. Just adjustable steering comes. So when you're in, bring it forwards. And when we're done, just put it back. Switch the engine off. And then hop out. But now, our service truck. So this is the service truck here and it's got all sorts it's got a jack generator a press it's got all sorts of stuff we'll need including fuel so when we want to top up our vehicles now it's already got a thousand liters of reserved fuel in the tank so yeah we can pretty much fill up anything apart from our combine so i think the combine holds 1300 liters so yeah, it's got a hitch system there. Also, it's got a fifth wheel attacher here, so... I think... Really, if it's a... Uh, yeah, I just don't have any cheap. Actually, wait a minute, what about under our traders? Because yeah, I just want to have a little quick test look here, so... Oh no, not that. Well, we could try that, but... So yeah, use the neck and that, so... Let's give a little quick test and that. Yeah. So in theory, that should just hook on fine, right? There we go. So yeah, we can hook on to the fifth wheel of anything. Including lorries now. Well, not lorries, or lorry trainers now. But I don't think we're going to have the horsepower because this is only. Yeah, this is a 262 horsepower. I may go with a engine swap in that at some point. But yeah, there's old equipment already up for sale. And yeah, look at that class 72% off, 54 hours. That is just huge, but heck it, if someone wants a cheap old combine, the Kloss is a very good combine. At 72% off, that is an absolute bargain. So yeah, let's get everything back to the farm, because we need to do harvesting. I think what we'll do is finish off the chaff work, so yeah. Let's go and do that, shall we? And there we go, let's just finish off this harvest thing, it takes too long. I think it's going to be at least another load and change. Because remember, we've already got in the realms of 250,000 litres already at the main farm, at Port Farm Country Park. However, we do have the option to use a bunker silo at Stonebridge Farm if we wish we need to use it so if you've got any like overspill in that like we can't get in we can like ram it in and all that then 
yeah, that's an option for us, but yeah, let's see how this goes with this, and let's quickly get started with a little short time lapse. And then, yeah, we'll go on to the main point, and that's going to be the Filgin Harvest. Yeah, just remember what we're doing. Yeah, Filgin Harvest, so yeah. Thank you. <laughs> well, I'm losing the plot. We'll get us done, and I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here. done and compacted and covered and yeah it was something in around about 350,000 a year so yeah not too bad of a hole I should have think it's a bit more now because it's 400 actually but yeah so it is absolutely raining at the moment and there is no sign of it easing yeah I think we're looking at for at least a f couple of hours three or four hours I should notice where it's changed since last check, so two and one. Well, rain's been stopped, so that's good. Oh, look at that, nice little rainbow. But yeah, we're heading to the store, because I've gone inside to buy some extra products for the apple production, or for the, specifically, apple honey. So yeah, we need a few things for apple honey. So we have a look, we need honey and sugar. I thought, heck it, buy some cheap honey and sugar, and we should make our money back on that. Actually, we will make our money back. Not much, but we should again, it's something different, it's a little experiment in that. So yeah, let's go and have a look here, shall we? Let's go and turn in here. Okay. Okay. This doesn't have to... Great is off turning circles and steering. Okay, that is a downside to the tractor the steering, but that I can work with and manage, so actually since we've got the pickup here as well, maybe I'll get that on or the tractor on. But yeah, so what how many sugar do we get? One, two, three, four, eight pallets of sugar and 60 pallets of honey since honey is like twice as much usage I think well no four times as much usage so we may need to buy some more honey I may buy another set of eight but we've got more than enough for now and also what I've done is stop selling the apples I'm going to let them spawn and I'm going to store them in the new pallet facility we've got. 
or not we got we got access to oh that sure annoys me how you have not paid the cooperative yet for that access so let's go and pay the bank so it's 10 grand there we go and yeah, and come towards the end of every year, we need to pay a certain percentage of our crops that we use in that facility. So if we saw a green in there or whatever, you need to, of course, make a little payment, even like 1.5%, 2%. So overall, not the of an issue, but yeah, the weather is absolutely howling down at the moment. So let me get something up a sec. And then we'll go to says Apple facility and let's get those up. But yeah, there's something different to do, apple juice for doing. But why not apple honey? And there we go, so yeah, we've got everything loaded up. We've got 10,000 English litres of honey and 8,000 litres of sugar, but obviously that's going to use the honey before and that's going to be empty before the sugar, so. If needed, we can top up our feet, maybe get some bees in, you know, to mitigate that, so... Because, yeah, we can play some beehives down all over the place. One, that will help us with our crops and that, with giving that a bit of a yield boost. Yeah, turning circle, as we know, not really existent with this. And I think having a massive pickup with a thousand litres of fuel. Also, probably ain't helping too much, but oh well. So turn off the hazard lights on our indicators. So our beacon's on. But yeah, the weather is absolutely abysmal. But yeah, I think we'll pay like 25-ish grand for all this, so it's going to be worth it in the end. There we go. Well, that's going in. I'm not sure what we can unload the pick up here, actually. There we go. So, leave that there for now. So, yeah, let's have a look at everything. Some more apple juices. So yeah, we're gonna have a look. As uh, has a little quick all save. So yeah, it hasn't turned on, but we'll easily turn it on ourselves. So it does twenty four hundred cycles per month. So Aska used the sugar in four thousand eight hundred liters a month. So just under two months, that's going to be emptied. And the honey, that's going to be emptied within a month. So, yeah, I think we can do it against some beehives down. So, let's go and do that. So, go to our animals. Go to bees. Okay, I don't have the extra pallet spawn option, but that we can mitigate. So, yeah, I was going to have like, a few of these. Just dotted about. Yes, I know. Don't have any room for it to spawn. I know. Don't need to tell me this. So you have can have one there. One there. Just want to have it within the vicinities of most of our fields. So you know, just bees all over the place. Nowhere too concentrated. No news fills over there. Also, I do want to be cautious of where we put these, so. Because obviously, this is going to be a crop as well at some point. So I'm thinking somewhere there. A bit of terrain work. I'm not too fussed on that. Yeah, a little bit of terrain. Not an issue for us. Yeah, it's going to be quite a bit of money spent on this, but I think it's going to be worth it. Oof. 
Heck yeah, there's some bees on there, so now we can concentrate more of it. And obviously any excess honey we could easily sell for a profit. Over that in objects. Go. There we go. Some more there. And oh boy, that is most of our money consumed. I think it's all gonna be worth it in the end, so one more there. There we go. And we can only afford one more, so let's put that over here while our other fields. So no matter where we're farming at the moment, apart from that soybean field on 111, actually, we will have bees growing, so Go. So yeah, now we need a pallet spawn option, so bear with me a sec whilst I figure that out. There we go, we have our choice of pallet options, so yeah, I'm thinking somewhere around here most likely. Let's just turn on our interactive marker so we can actually see where it's all spawning, so yep, back to bees. Um, yeah, there we go. Now I can actually see where it's spawning. So I'm thinking lengthways like that, and again, uh, somewhere. Is it worth just living out? I think so. Let's, let's do a little, little bit of landscaping. So turn on the brush size a little bit. So I'll pick a point there, and I just want to level it. There we go. That's it, that's how I like it. Okay, that's not doing anything. There we go. Just a little padded area. That's all, that's all it needs to be, just a little bit of a raised area. Somewhere that will work with our equipment so when we yeah, so when we go and move these pallets. So yeah, so soft in the edges. Decorations, actually no landscaping. Let's give it a little bit of a paint, so... I should rather than an asshole, let's try something different. Let's try... Let's try a little bit of gravel. Sure, why not? There we go. And all this is just for an area that's going to be spawning our honeys, so... Yeah, say as you wish about that, but I'm thinking, actually... Well, I quite like it. Just a little dedicated area. So it's close to where we're spawning. Well, going to be making our apple honey. Also, it's not too far away from the pallet storage facility, so it's a win win situation for us. So, <coughs> do you think we're going to get over there? What? That is fine. We spent more than enough money already, so there we go. That's it. If anything, that's worse. Not screw it. That will do. Find me. So, yeah, let's have a look here. So, yeah, this is going to be where our honey's spawn in here. So, yeah, if we need to, we can move over here. And all that good stuff. 
And yeah, a lot of this we're just going to save up now and sell in December, so... We are going to need a bit of honey, so... Actually, a fair amount of more honey. Let's spend the rest of our money on some honey, so we go to... Down here on our mods. And where is it? To... There we go. This will pad it, so... Honey, where is that? To... There we go. And you got £4,000 left. So yeah, not much. Let's go and get that collected. And there we go, it, it's just gone through the clock. Skip to the time a little bit. So yeah, 5,200 litres of honey going in. Bingo Bammo, that is done. And do we have our first apple honey? Apple juice. Apple juice, but no apple honey as of yet. Only at 207 litres, so pretty disappointing on that. Not leave right there. Don't need any of this at the moment. All we need is this. We're still keeping that lease out, so that's going to help us with our harvesting. So yeah, we'll put that somewhere over here. Yeah, we just lease out for the rest of the week. So heck it, let's use it. Definitely save us on transport, and it does fit with silo. So that's that is a plus. So. Yeah, I think now what we'll have to do is just start doing the harvest. There we go. It's a tad filthy for doing all these contracts. But you know what? Yeah, I can live with that. So that, that's that folded. Wheels are up. Lower it. Turn it on. Adjusted. And that's harvest, so I don't think we get shortness. No, we do not. I didn't think so. But yeah, so we've got this to do, and we've also got a soybean field on one one one. Field one eleven. So yeah, I think this is gonna yield up to extremely well for us. I knew we were going to get the effects of the honey in that, or from the bees in that around the fields, but... Actually, it doesn't even affect the field bees. I wonder, but... Even if you don't, it's the aesthetic of it. Get honey for the apple juice. And anything extra is purely for profit. We'll sell it whenever it has been priced, which is what? Ooh, harvesting contracts, potatoes, field, PT. That's one of those fields up there. Up north. Three small. Uh, do we do that field though? I wonder. We'll leave it there for now. Got a couple of size contracts, but. Yeah, what was it on about again? Yeah, the price, so. Go up here to the prices, so honey, there it is. Best time to sell is around February or March. Get around 3300. At the moment, we can get 2700, 2850, 2900, almost 3000 at the farmer's market, so. That's a really good price for that, but that is going down though. That's the thing. But anyways, I think we've got a lot of harvesting to do, so yeah. Best way to get this done is via a time lapse as always. So yeah, we'll avoid the pylons as we always do. Make sure we don't hit them. Still getting caught up on them, so there we go. But yeah, we'll get us done. And why was that automatically saving? Huh? 
Ah, oh, connection. Great. Anywho, minor server interference sorted and dealt with. So yeah, let's get all this done. And I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done. And yeah, it's going to be towards the evening, I think, it's going to take at least the rest of the day to get all these films done. are done with harvesting almost actually we still have one field left of field beans to do and that is on the big field down south but yeah first of all we're going to enter this wrong way but we've got potatoes to sell done a little cheeky contract on field 80 so we got 62,000 years of potatoes so will that Net us some uh, money, so actually, ooh. wait, ah, no, good thing we didn't do that because we're at the wrong cell point. I thought this was here or send these videos, but no, we're not. It's one over here. Which, where is it to sell everything container or? Farmers market. As we have a little quick all save here. There we go. So yeah, contracts. Market stall. Fair enough. 
Now, when I saw it was somewhere up here, I thought it was going to be the forest market here or something, but no, it's the market store. Fair enough, so is this cell point here to our right? Okay, dokey, so. But yeah, so we've got the field being sorted. As I said, we've still got the big field down there on the bottom left to do. But yeah, I'll say we've got a reasonable amount of field beans. I think somewhere around like the 65, 70,000 year mark. And ooh, that's gone up. So there we go, 56% transported. And now sell to that little bit. And hopefully those 300 bits we've got. Oh no, 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 no. I'm not doing that pathetic way. Not by the green door, so. Oh, apologies, there's a cat come rushing in my room, but yeah, so. Let's see how much we actually get, so. I'd be surprised if we make a profit from this. Or do you need much profit doing the tape contracts? Eh, uh, four grand, so. In comparison. Not too bad, especially where we've borrowed the equipment, so... You know what? That I can live with. But now... Let's go over to our harvester. As we're just finishing off the head and over here, so... Because yeah, I think if we get the head and sword here and that, and then we'll just get the worker off on this. And then they'll be happy to eat, so... Yeah, trader over there. Hedden is now completed. Yeah, I'm actually interested to see if we can get a work on this. And actually do it well. I'll say so, yeah, because we've done the head and that, and so most of the worst bits is going to be fine. And actually, our even have the space in the tray for this field, I'm not sure. Because it is one of our biggest, not biggest Philippine fields. In terms of hectare, so yeah, let's give it a crack, shall we? So So go off an angle like that, that's fine. In what that I am happy with. But yeah, 77,000 a year or so. It's going to be close, but I think we should be fine for this. Yeah, I'm not too sure, but let's give it a crack, shall we? So, yeah, I think if I just need to work on this, and yeah, doing that contract has helped us quite a bit, just in terms of, yeah, having issues with financials. Ooh. Break, 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 break. There we go. There we go, we'll sort it out. Let's just get properly aligned. Down side of this is just the ability to get close to it without it saying it's got a collision, but there we go. So yeah, let's see which way the worker's going to go. Good, it's going to do that way, so we can do this bit here by ourselves. Just open again, these workers manage fine. But yeah, let's actually have to cut some contracts we can do, so... Thinking Pine Creek. Yeah, we'll do those. There we go. And yeah, we'll add to borrow some equipment, obviously, from the dealership to be able to mow and all that, so. But yeah, we can deal with that. Yeesh. Yeah, the brakes aren't on this. What they are is. Because it's quite a big old trader. Let's not forget, we've got 8 million thousand a year of field beans and counting. 
as we wrap up the point now we're talking about equilibrium. So actually, whilst that's underway, we scoot off and have a look at some equipment we are going to be using in the next episode. Arrived. Yeah, that we attended on. Ooh, yeah, also got some mulching to start doing. So yeah, what my thinking is, get yeah, actually, I think we can get away with just the one. I think we'll use both anyways, regardless. So actually, I've got a little idea rather than having to use a work or something, because I want to try to save our finances. Because until we sell everything in December and that, that's going to be an issue for us, and our worker's blocked, apparently. Oh, girls, come on. If we get you on... There we go. Yeah, just scoot up that. Actually, start the war. Yes, you are. Fair enough. But yeah, my thinking is no, not that one. This job here. But yeah, let's go to the shop and have a look at the equipment we are using for the should be harvest. Let's give a little secret peek at it right now. And there we go at the dealership. So yeah, we've got a few things here. So. Let's go and lower that. Undo the tension straps. Actually, what? First of all, what we need to do as well is disconnect the front loader. There we go. So, yeah, this is going to be a weird thing. Technically, we can do it with just the one equipment. But, yeah, I'll just have a little bit of fun with this. So. Actually, which one's going to be the more horsepower requirement? So, that is the harvester itself. Which makes sense. So, if we get that hooked up, there we go. And then we just hook onto this, drive off. But, yeah, the plan is going to be to obviously, it should be. You need to harm top the field, so that's the thing. We do have options in that for obviously harvesting the sugar beef. We have a look, so big technology. Obviously, this is what we're using the Grimmy, or will be using. And yet, yeah, we could do use a normal header in that, and that's fine. But yeah, I just don't like that, so. The downside is 6,000 year capacity in comparison to if we use beat technology we're looking at what we're looking at 30,000 liters 45,000 liters and yeah you can watch some mods and that got the Colossus Root Harvester got the Grimmy Maxtron 620 and then we've got the Home Terrados T440 which is what the, I think, yeah, the cost is based off that, right? Yeah, in a way, yeah, more or less, so. Yeah, it looks very similar. But anyway, so, that's what we're going to be using. Obviously, we need to transport it, not like this. So, if we start to fold in. Apparently that's still folding. How about now? Huh? Oh no dear. <laughs> there we go. But yeah, what you do is you pull on this so we have the look. Pretty much see how it goes, you pretty much support to your field. In question. So, 
Mr. Lineup. So yeah, all you do is you touch the fuel and then it unfold it, hook up by your fire front or rear. I think the rear would be the best way to go. And then yeah, we just go and harvest this. Obviously, we're not quite ready yet. We've got another week or so, I think. I think it's in its final group seat now, so the next episode is what we'll be doing. But yeah, it's just something different to do. So yeah, I think this would be a very good use for us, but I think to round off the episode, what we'll do is one more little time lapse, so we will get you sorted. But yeah, I think we need to empty the combine first of all, so yeah. Let's get all this done, and then, yeah, I'll see you folks in about an hour or so, yeah, just around after 10, before quarter past. Yeah, it's going to be a little short time lapse here, so yeah, we'll get this done, and I'll see you folks afterwards, and hopefully, we should have all the fields harvested now. start the mulching however we've had some incidents with the worker going into the grass field so if we have a look here uh, if we see go to our growth state if you have be easier to see that has reset the growth state so oh, there hiccups there so yeah that's reset the growth state and yeah that ain't great because we have a look. The grass that stops growing in. Wait a minute, November. We planted this this um, in September, right? I'm sure we did. So 
the new takes one month for the grass to grow, maybe? Who knows on that part, but there you go. Yeah, that's it. Okay, the worker's gonna do that way. If we're gonna do that, I'll just uh, what? screw it, let them do whatever. But yeah, also we have some apple honey. Uh, so you can go to, oh man, they're heavy. 1.1 tons compared to apple juice, which is literally half of that, so I think when we move these, we're going to need some more than just the skits here and that, but at some point we need to put these into the padded, so I think if we skip time, can we even lift a apple juice and the honey padded? Because that's what's going to come next, so... I think it's going to be around 1 o'clock by the time we get a new pallet. No, even days from that. Nine, nine, four. There we go. So yeah, can we lift this up with skids here? I do wonder. If I to guess, no. So if we say go to here. One is just about fine. If I should say that on top, push it over a bit. There we go. It's a strap. Can we lift this? We can. But it's only just, yeah, it's actually, if we stack it and then move it, I think it'll be fine, but. If I try to do what I normally do, is that to spawn? Oops, get out. Nope, just get out of there, not into the building. But if I want to try to do it, is you just go bam bang and sack it on top like that. That ain't gonna happen, so fair enough. But yeah, what we need to do at some point is start to move this into storage. Because, yeah, we've got. A lot of stuff to sell come December, and hopefully we can have a lorry by then. But I very much doubt it. Maybe if we lease a lorry and then we sell it, well, return it, and when we sell these, we can afford a lorry. Because looking at some lorries, yeah, 130 grand. Oh, may see look around like three grand for the Mac Pinnacle, but these are American trucks. Yeah, that's American truck, so ideally want something a bit more European based, you know, like some of like Volvos or the knockoff versions, but I don't know, so okay, you're going to do that, you're wasting money. Fine, 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 I'll just do it myself. And also, I don't think it bothers which one I put in, because... I think I'm going to easy fill both these up. And actually, yeah, I forgot to mention how much uh, fill beans we got. So if we have a look here, scroll down, fill beans, we have a look. We've got 112,000 litres, so that is going to be well over 440 grand. Like, Close to even 500 grand come peak sale price in June. And yeah, for the. F Actually, how much will we get for. Uh, the soybeans? Wow, we get three grand at the moment. But if we wait again till June, we can get six and a half grand for a thousand a year, so. Actually, I think that's going to change on what we're going to be doing next year when it comes to planting. I was thinking about doing some wheat fields, but yeah, I'm not sure. I may just do all soybeans, I get a lot of money in. But then again, we've got productions and we pretty much use the soybeans. And if you go down the route of using soybeans for production chains, I don't think that's going to beat. Six and a half grand. We've just got there from doing that one little strip there, so I've got many more strips of that size to go. And 
find the gas from this field. Half a million, maybe. Find the gas somewhere between 400 and 500 grand we'll make from this field. If we do, that covers the price of this field. Because how much does that cost? 353 grand. So, literally, just from purchasing the field, not doing any seeding or anything like that, mulching, rolling, all that good stuff. We're making profit. Do we do that instead? Because we have a look here. I'm sure this is all fertilizing that. Like, yeah, apart from being rolled and mulched, it's got a 95% yield bonus, which makes sense. Because even though some say it's 5% each, it's actually 2.5% when you work out as shown there when it comes to the mulching and the rolling. But yeah, that also brings a question up. Is worth mulching even worth it for 2.5%? Of course, like we even sure we know. Getting an extra, let's say, 100,000 liters. That's an extra 2.5%. Two, two uh, yeah, two and a half thousand liters, so I think it's what? An extra 13 grand there. So yeah, sure, that extra percentage will help, and then it does make a difference, so yeah. Anywho, that's the thing we're going to leave it today. So yeah, next time we will finish this off, start looking at getting the rest of these fields mulched. Worker has stopped mulching, because yeah, fair enough. Got to do a little strip over there. And then we've got 54 and down here to do. Include up down there and here to do as well. We got the mulching, we can pretty much leave out to the late. Because I don't think after the harvest that come when we do the grass now. That's when we again we start skipping mumps. Sell the and all that in December maybe. So to produce in December and then decide to sell in February, but apart from that, yeah, I don't really think there's gonna be much field work to be done. And, yeah, do we, unless we want to plant wheat in that. Because yeah, we can plant wheat, barley, rapeseed, oats, linseed, rye and all that, and alfalfa. Actually, if we do alfalfa, and that is ready in what to harvest is May, we can still do a late soybean field, and yeah, do that in October. But that all implies on getting the alfalfa in now. So do we risk just direct drilling. I know we're going to need to... We can't direct drill unless we get a cultivator perhaps, so let's just have a little look. So, planters can't do alfalfa. It's only the cedars. And yet, these big ones here, they can do it, but it requires um cultivation. Unless we go with, you know, one of these, six, eight meters, or the horse one, which is what? Nine meters and can do direct drilling. That's the thing, for a cultivator of, uh, no, disc arrows, is it? We got, yeah, we've got this one here, and that barely fits around the lane, so unless we go bigger, Something like that. Go with the Kinsey Mac Till. Yeah, I don't know. There's a few options what we can do here and go forwards. Hello folks and welcome back to Core Farm. Here we are in October now and it is time to harvest the sugar beets. However, we've got some stuff to do. We've hit the pad limit or did. So what we've gone and done is move the honey that we spawned over to the apple factory so we get more apple honey. 
it was around 2700 euros a couple of pallets, so I think one thing we need to do for now is get all these pallets loaded up, so we've got our apple juice and honey loaded up. Now what we need to do is start moving the strawberries over, and we've got a fair few of these, so whilst getting these loaded up, as you may have noticed, we're back up to 135 grand. And that is purely from doing contract work, and yeah, we've had some fun with that, so once I get it sewed up, I'm going to show just a couple of little short clips and a screenshot of us doing set contracts and we'll explain what exactly has happened because we've had a glitch with the cotton harvest contracts. So yeah, as you see, it's been pretty hectic because we did the con contracts and either it wasn't going to the sell point we were asked to put it in, so things like when it said, oh, send it to the value view stores, so fair enough, take it to value view stores, and absolutely nothing happened. So I thought, okay, maybe a little glitch, so maybe it's value view bells, because it is a con bell at the end of the day. But then that's just the old thing, so after I have to do some tests and work it out. So yeah, pretty much we've maybe slightly over profited from those contracts, like in terms of the amount we got, but also there was like excess cotton as well from the harvester and that. And that's the thing as well, because when we did it last year, we used the equipment from said farmer use our own equipment, so maybe that's the difference of where this time we borrowed a, did borrow a cotton harvester from the dealership. You know what, honestly, I don't know. Also, we had sugar beets to do, and actually that, that was good, because we did test out the topper we had, and it was, they were, because it was a potato topper, not a, because I thought a cotton topper is a cotton topper, regardless if it's for sugar beets or potatoes. As it turns out, it is not. So, yeah, we have to treat that in for the one you normally have. I was still thinking we should have gone with like a self-propelled unit, but yeah, at the moment it's just finance. It's like, yeah, we're up to 135 grand. Again, that's good. But remember, we still need to purchase the cookie factory to get all the cookies in that. Get the butter and chocolates in, that's like 75 grand I think, so... Yeah, it's going to be pretty hectic. Also, the grass is ready, so... We can do that. I'm also thinking of... What's just a little bit tight. I was even planning on doing like corn in that next year and that soybeans. So I'm thinking the field beans that we... And soybeans that we harvested, well, sorry. Just the field beans, because the soybean field is now alfalfa. I think for the other fields we can do grass or even alfalfa again. I think I'm more inclined to go with grass, because then what we can do is get TMR. Because I doubt it's going to grow and get a cup for December and that, so. I think what we could do then instead is maybe on the lines of I don't know, harvest it or bait it like in March, February, March time, whatever it starts growing again and it's ready and then just get a little cheeky sell then. Yeah, it won't be at peak price, but better than nothing, better than just seeing the field as it is. And then it's again as well, we get a frozen seat from the grass, so. Yeah, that's some options for us. So, what I'm gonna do now is quickly just quick jump cut, get all this loaded on, 
and then we'll take this into storage. So with that sorted, we've got a lot of pallets here, 23,000 litres of strawberries, 8,000 litres of apple juice, 5,000 litres of apple honey, 1,400 litres of tomatoes and mixed salad. Along with our finally our first pallet of clothes, that's going to be worth a fair little bit, and 4,000 litres of wool. So yeah, all this is going to go into storage, the wool we're fine for now when it comes to the clothes production. So yeah, really, yeah, I think we don't need any more at the moment in there. All the things we do need is, actually, from the collectors are animals, and they do need water, so... We have a look at our animals. Go up here, so yeah, for the best part, okay, do need water in that. Uh, they're fine for now, but yeah, rabbits, they're out. And yeah, our cows at Stonebridge also needs water, so... That's one thing we need to do, is give everyone some delicious water to have. But yeah, we'll do that after we put all of this into the pallet facility, so... There we go, just going to turn there. And yeah, with the money as well, 155 grand, we did have 145. But we paid 10 grand for access to the mower setup. And the, well, initially the cotton harvester, but obviously the cotton harvester, we've already returned. But we've already put a damn paint on, because I thought we were going to use it for a bit longer, but... Because of the glitches and that, I just left it, so... We still 10 grand for the mower now for the Chrome Big M450, whatever it is. Not too bad. There we go, that's all the pads in. And if we have a little quick cheeky cheeky look. 78 pallets, and we're just starting to hit the second row. I've got one, how many rows? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows, so. Not even a quarter full yet, which makes sense. 70 out of 450. But still, when it comes to time to sell, it is going to be worth it, especially with things like apple juice, that's going to be worth a fair bit. Got six pallets of eggs, that's going to be worth a fair chunk. Actually, when it's like eggs and at its best price. So I'm pretty confident on everything else, but yeah, clothes for the nose going to be April, yep. Cakes and all that. Oh yeah, I forgot to grab those. Actually, they're worth. They're at their peak now. Ah, so actually, we can make some quick money. So, garden center for that. And this, yeah. So, you know what? Let's grab some cakes a sec and sell them. Not sure how much we're gonna get, but. Yeah, 10 by now, and this is going to go up even more. Last thing, I think it's going to go up even more than it is at the moment, so I think I should all oh, wait. Wait till December, and then we sell the bread and the cake at the same time. Along with the flour, so... Because you have flour, like, two grand, like... Technically, we've hit that at the cookie cell station. But yeah, we're going to get a lot of money from all this, but... One thing we need to do now is one grab all the cakes and bread that loaded up, taking over here. And all we need to do is feed, not feed, give our animals all the fluids they need. So yeah, I think the best way to get it done is a little quick time lapse. So yeah, we'll get all this done, and I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here.
at Sorted and let's have a little look here because I have spent some money, about five grand to get this in. This is a water tank that we put in. Well, tank is a liquid silo, but this is our water tank, so we're going to transport everything back and forth and pick it up from the pond in that. Full, just saw some water in here, so we've done several trips. We've got 400,000 a year, so that's going to be enough for the time being to keep everything topped up with our animals. And actually for the foreseeable future, actually, I think with that, so... But yeah, anyways, hop back into here, and we get us back to the farm. And I think we can start filling this up with some Surrey, because I don't need any more water for now, so... And tops up with Surrey, and then come towards like December time, we'll sell some. Even though I want to look into maybe using like our manure and slash or Surrey to get some like digestate now, because if we convert our manure to digestate, we only get some huge profits from that. But dams to what production it is, how much it is, and like the quantity required doesn't need anything extra but yeah there's a couple of options we do have but yeah I'm gonna have to wait and see I think I've got some mods enabled so yeah we can have a little quick look at that there we go Just back this up over here small little clip in nothing to worry yeah, having these two tankers here are useful because we have one for Surrey and all that stuff, and the other one is just for milk. Yes, yeah, this will be slightly. No, I don't want that. Ooh, I didn't realize we had a water field point here. That's new information to me. Ah, I didn't realize this was a water field point. We get 8,000 a year or so. Not too bad, I guess. Yeah, just park this up over here, right close. And yeah, I don't think I've topped up for a while, maybe, so... Do a top in the milk up, so... Excuse cow, move out of the way. Thank you. So we've got 11,000 litres of milk. And that's going to be important because we need to make sugar and all that stuff. So, what we're going to go with is go to our factories. Uh, where is it to? This one here, the cookie factory. We do have some variety of options like high output and that. Actually, go with that one. I think, yeah, go with this one here. So, Obviously, we can make sugar now, we can make butter, chocolates and that. And there is an option for flour and that, but we're going to use that. Pure use is going to be for the cookies. And making things like butter, maybe chocolate, and sugar. So that is 72,600. So as long as we have that amount left, we should be golden, so... For the beat technology stuff, we need a tractor around for a George Power, so that would be like the Massey, I think, or John Deere. I think let's use the Massey. Where's that two? Ah, it's over here where the alfalfa is. And now, since that is grown, we can put the next application of fertilizer down. So yeah, we returned the other one that we had. But yeah, I'm thinking... If, if our ever feels like we've just done with so with the, not soybeans, the field beans, Emily, come on. We'll put grass in that. Because, yeah, if we do grass now... Have a look here, crop candor growth. We can plant grass now. And that should be ready March slash April. And that's fine because corn and all that, that ain't going to be needed till April that we can plant it. So I think it makes the most sense to do that actually. Because then we can get that little extra silage. And again, with all of it, we're going to bathe it in on that. So but I don't think we're going to do the grass now because even though our grass is technically ready now, 
we have a look. There are those bits there that those stupid workers destroyed, so... Yeah, I may come back to that later on. If anything, we can do that in November, because I think still cut it at any time. Brass, yep. Yeah, cut that at any time of the year, so... <coughs> so that's an option for us. Well, yeah, so, better be a sec whilst I get done. And then we'll start looking at the shooting stuff. And that is the fertilizing done. Didn't take us too long. Just thought we'd just do a quick jump cut right around 10 the time lapse, because. Well, this is going to be like a 20 second or so time lapse, if I even had. See me done fertilizer before, this year in last episode, so. Yeah, sort of space out a bit. So, what we need to do now is go to the shop. Uh, yeah, get everything so we can go right here. Yeah, I think we'll go right. Should we cut through the hedgerows? Heck it, why not? Just do a little bit of cheeky streamlining of everything. And of course, across our Hebrews fields. I was thinking, consider getting more fields than that in the future, but. I think at the moment we're fine and we're just about coping with everything. It's just when it comes to when you, you know plant everything and that, do rolling stuff. That's when all the time is eaten up. So actually, what's we're here? And what? Screw it! I'm gonna dump that here. Actually, no. I'm gonna leave that here anyways because we need. That trailer, we could use trans maybe, but uh, it's gonna be awkward. I think even still, regardless, <coughs> it's gonna be awkward anyways, pulling whatever it is. Gee, I think actually you can. Maybe the E4 can just about do it. But yeah, I think you can use the Massey. Got a bit of extra horsepower on hand, so. Where I'm going up the slope on this field because 4 5 is a bit of a slope, goes up a hill gradually from the bottom to the top. Or if we're looking at it from top down, so north to south, goes up a significant amount of elevation change. So, actually, whilst we're here, let's go and have a look at our flower, how much we've got. Man, that bag is filled up. And. 88,000 litres of flour, so yeah, it was definitely worth getting that big bag for it. I'm actually looking at it, the right is almost out. And yeah, besides from that, it's actually looking very good. So yeah, I think the choices of reducing the pallet sizes has been worth it, especially for like the bread and cakes. Yeah, more of it. So we can actually set it ourselves. I don't know how to get someone set for us by of a third party. That means at the price we can get, I think it's only around like 8% we can get, so that 20% is key because at the moment we've got debt snap, I think what was it four, six hundred grand? I think it was like six hundred grand our debt is. I think it's six hundred because we increased our debt by two hundred grand. To get a new feel, so yeah, so what 600 grand to pay off, and even though I'm in a rush to pay it off, it's not paying some of it now. But we need production, so we need the cookie factory, and also we need our production to produ uh, produce like logistic like that from our manure and slurry, either or. So, yeah, that's the sugar beet field. I see what I mean, it goes up a significant. So, this is going to be fun to deal with. Because I don't know how this is going to go. But, anyways, we'll give it a shot. Never say never. So, right, that's there. So, also, I think with the Massey as well, it's red on red almost. Yeah, different shades and all that stuff, whatever. But, overall, it's not too bad. Just get that hooked up. There 
go. Bang. So yeah, I want to see how this all works out. The only downside is with this, if we miss bits, then yeah, we need to go over again with the hard service, let's like, say if we turn around whilst the hard topper is in the so But yeah, let's head to the field and have a little look, so can we actually navigate into the field? Just gonna do a bit of a that's been okay with large equipment, large tractor and that. It's not so much the harvester itself, it's more of the size of the tractor. It's huge! But yeah, I think... How do we tackle this? Do we do headlands or... Okay, the pipe's coming out there on the right. Pipes coming out there on the right, so we need to go clockwise. No, sorry, anti-clockwise. So that's that. There we go. Yeah, I was gonna get himself. I think just on a straight bit here. There we go. That's turned on. That's turned on. And we are harvesting. I think we are. Yeah, we are. See the stubble texture there. And boy, that is filling up very quickly. Yeah, I'm not joking. That is very quick to fill up. Already out of fur, so. Boy, this is going to be an absolute pain to deal with. Maybe we should have gone some propelled, maybe? Oh, I don't know. So yeah, we're already at 60%. Yeah. I'm going to get a full pass in. Should, should turn the lights on because I can miss going off the edge here just a little bit, so... Yeah, I think... Maybe? Actually, if I stop... Yeah, that's still processing, so... We're going to need uh, some more equipment here, so... There we go, I think... This is the perfect spot for us. Let's go and grab the John Deere. Okay, let's go with the 410. Let's get that tree cell over. So, with the trace picked up, I've also gone and leased a fur trader. So, I think we've got a capacity of almost 100,000 years between our trader setup. Hence why I got the fence, because that's the last purpose of the fence is for the heavy tuber, like heavy holding and all that, so this should be interesting. Go into the fields, crash into the fields, get stuck in the fields, cut through the hedgerows into the fields, causing traffic blockage into the fields. And eventually we're into the field, so... But yeah, it's like... I am concerned on how long this is going to take us. I do really want to swap to a self propelled setup. Even though realistically it makes more sense. And especially if that happens. So yeah, we need to adjust this, so... Can we actually adjust it? Something's been adjusted, I can see the shadow marks, but... Is there a way of getting that pipe to lift up? No, 
just for the flaps. By the looks of it, no, that's a door. I thought there'd be a way to adjust the piping out on this, but if the tray's too high, then. Dang it. Yeah, that's the doors. What's the L? What's that adjusting? Something on the back of the tractor, perhaps? Ah, it's a stupid sunroof. I thought you can adjust this, but I'm guessing not. So, it looks like we're going to have to go with a self propelled setup. So, bloody hell, that's great. That's going to be even more expensive now. So, so, that plan backfired, so, thankfully we're at the dealership, so let's go down there and have a look on what they've got to offer us today. Alright, so no more messing around, we've got the Homer Teradoz T440, this has got a 5.4 metre header, so, now, we're able to do this properly. Foresight is a bit now, so let's just adjust the vehicle volume set. So, vehicle volume, or is that two? There we go, just adjust it down a little bit. And yeah, that is a lot better. Fortunately, the point is out on the other side, so. Let's just do one pass up here, along the street, and then yeah, we'll get this empty, so this holds 45,000 litres, so that is 39,000 litres more compared to what we had previously, and yeah, that means we're going to get this done a lot quicker, so, and yeah, I think the fair is we should have gone with this initially. Does this cost us five grand to lease out from the dealership? So, and it's only for today. It's not like we're having it for a month now. It's literally just for the rest of the week, rest of this game day. So, five grand is pretty expensive for that, but I'm guessing in hindsight, half a day is not too bad. I think once we do want to get to the top and we turn left, I think you know, we'll do a head and then that. We're going to definitely do a head and if we get this on a work here. But yeah, I said, what we need to do is get the pipe out and make some adjustments to this so that then when we do empty this, it doesn't hit the setup, so it doesn't hit the trailers or anything, so. Let's head up here. Maybe a bit slow now, but I think overall this is going to work out very well for us. Maybe you could go on with the sport traders like the Gloss one and that, or like the TARDIS one. Had 20,000 years each, but with that, what we'll be end up doing at the end of the day is literally going back and forth to the farm side to store this because we've got nowhere to store it at the moment but look we do have that farm silo so that will help us out a lot but yeah so let's get the pipe out there we go let's go forward a bit and we'll go to Yes, literally, forget about the whole hedgerows thing. Is there a way to actually empty this? Not really, because it literally, you can see we're literally hitting. Oh, shut up. Yep, 
yeah, literally, there's no way to adjust that. I think we could have adjust that up a little bit. Then, yeah, that'd be really good for us, but... Uh, it was not to be at the end of the day, so with the setup here, we do have the capacity of two full loads at least, so that's a plus. Because, you know, with about a 9,000 litre capacity, well, I think about 100,000 litres actually, like 99, maybe 100 ish. But, anywho, so if we say pulling alongside this. Oh, you have plenty of space. And what we can do is actually just this. There we go, that's better. See, that's what we needed, it was just that. That's where it goes along. I'll just pull up inside and keep on doing this. Now that is what I'm talking about, a proper setup there. And I think I've got the thumbnail for the episode. There we go. But yeah, I think that is literally the best idea we've got. Ah, downside with the road train setup is the flexibility of the, the boost trailers. That's only downside though. And this should have adjusted that output already, so... Like the pipe outlet, so... That's going to mess us up a big bit there. But yeah, overall, it's working out really well. I did say he was going to do headers and that. But I think that the record doing this for now, we'll see how it goes, see how it navigates this down here, so... But yeah, anyways, we all go and get all this done. It's going to take us a little bit of time to get this all sorted, but it's going to be worth it in the end. And yeah, we're going to have a lot of sugar here, for at least. And that's the plus side, we're going to have lots of sugar, so yeah. We'll get this done. I think I'll do it manually as well, for the most part. And I'll see you folks after us once we're done. And I'll see how much we will have.
with our second load here as we're trundling along here at uh, 30 miles an hour. Even with a 500 horsepower fence, 100,000 litres of sugar beet, it's still pretty heavy, as it turns out. Who would have thought about that? So, one thing I'm going to do quickly is turn that and that. There we go. So, yeah, we've got a second load here. And that's all going to go to the farm, simple farm silo. And yeah, what we can do next is get sugar beet cut. There's a trailer that we can use for that, so if we want to get sugar beet cut, we can do that. But yeah, it all depends on what we can do here in terms with the production of our sugar in that. If the facility lets us use sugar beet cut, then I'll do a okay, half and half off. Half sugar beet cut and half sugar beet, then we can get double the output of sugar, but that isn't guaranteed. And I think what we do next is probably taking this back because, as you'll see now, you may see the time maps, it is very hard to navigate in and out of this area here. Because obviously, it's not redesigned for like a flow through system. It's so this year you go in and you reverse out almost, and that's what, that's just what it is. A little clip there. And yeah, we do struggle to get out of here, so... I think once we get all this in, we'll just go and... Yeah, I think we'll just use the Trans 70 for now. Can get quite full two of those, but almost two of those is better than having to deal with this, like it all clipping in that. So yeah, if we have a look here, you see, that's our sugar beet there. And yeah, this is where it starts clipping that, it's really annoying. Actually as well, can return the tray, heck it, we'll do that as well. That to empty. I can't remember which one it is, so we're having a risk losing a load off sugar beet. I'll empty this. There we go. So, yeah, we should have 202,000 litres. Two hundred. Well, 203, there we go. I think it was the middle one. Nope, it was the end one, so good thing I didn't do that. But yeah, Ingrid 2 just about get out of here doing the U turn. I say just about, it's like the pallets are in the way though. There we go, come on. Ooh, just clipping the pallets there. But yep, for now we'll dump this over here. And let's get Trans 70 as we've got a full load of sugar beet here. And there we go. So, yeah, we've got the trailer here, and that is most of the sugar beet already done. So, I think what we'll just do is let the worker get T1 with this. Because, you know, one thing I want to do is start cultivating some of our fields, as well as on the lines of get this fertilize as well before we do anything. There it goes. Choose to speed down. Six miles an hour. But yeah, with the worker now, it does seem to bring in that pipe there. Which is a downer, but still just about get there. It's a bit fitty, but it's doable. It is certainly doable. So there we go. So you've got this bit here to do. And strip down there. And I think the worker will be able to sort that out. Let's quick cut through here. That's what you think. But yeah, we'll let the worker continue on with that. And yeah, I should have close to what? 350, 400,000 litres of sugar beet. And that is going to be a lot of sugar for us 
I think it was it a five to one or a ten to one ratio for sugar beet to sugar. Or something on long news lines, but regardless. That is worth it and going with the self propelled self in the end was worth it. May have cost us five grand to lease out. But it is definitely worth it. I almost hit the one hour mark, so but yeah, because what I want to do is get the grass in now. Well, I say now, I mean like the second week of October now. Because yeah, that we're going to get all sorted today because we are almost at 4 o'clock. And yet, yeah, sun's starting to set here, so... Yeah, so... What we'll just do is oop you over here. There we go. Get the cultivator hooked up. Because yeah, we we'll, yeah, we'll can do direct drilling. And I think we will actually. So I think if some of it we direct drill, and the rest we can just normal drill ourselves, speed up the process here. So we've got three fields here to do. If I get this one on the big field now, then yeah, it could be a good way to do a little comparison in between the two. We should have enough here. And I think the field's already, yeah, they're already fertilized with that in the last episode, so this will be the final application it would require. is going in. And it is struggling. What's the horsepower requirement? 270. And what? That's 261. So we'll need the Massey or the other John Deere, but and yet the workers can Completed the task, so yeah, could just about get it done. I'm not sure what is the working speed on this. Uh, nine miles an hour. Great hitting that. Uh, yeah, we're just about hitting, but I think when we come on the way back up, yeah, we're gonna definitely have some issues here. So yeah, anyways, let's get to work on that. Well, we'll finish this off ourselves, so yeah. Let's get the last of this done. And then we start looking at cult, start doing cultivation. Heading to the next episode where we'll get all the grass planted. And yeah, then we'll start skipping ahead time, I think. Because now everything's done. This just needs to be fertilised and mulched. But besides from that, not much else is to doing on this field. So I think we'll convert this into grass as well, maybe.
done with the horsing and as I'm just quickly getting the heading done here just so that we can get a worker on and hopefully not have to worry about it going to the fields but yeah we're going to do like one pass like one line down before it gets stuck in the ditch so yeah that was very useful of the worker thank you very much uh, yes yeah, cross head row again heck it why not Clear line, going to miss bits, so let's get that properly in line. There we go, and just switch to John Deere. We've got the 6R here, so we can actually pull it decently. Grab you, get you hooked up to the fertilizer, and actually, also, we can return that. And luckily, it didn't have to occur any further payments on it. Got it done just within the hour. So, I should even really pay attention to that, but I am glad about that. So, the field work, I'm going to set the worker off. Just say go there and start. But, yeah, on to actually what we were doing the harvesting. Got additional 41,000 litres, and the trans made a huge difference. No downside is, which which I don't like about it is the braking, like when it's fully loaded, its braking distance is significantly increased. But yeah, overall, well, just well, between 300 and 350,000 litres, 315,000 litres almost, so actually from that, I'll say overall I wasn't too bad of a hole. Yeah, I've got our workers on the way. And now just to cultivate, cultivate, cultivate the fields. And yeah, what we're gonna do with the cedar is actually only have it for less than an hour. It's right at 1.2 hours, so once it hits 1.9 hours, regardless of what it has or hasn't done, we will stop it and we'll just if we need to cultivate it. Unless we want to incur another payment, actually we're in the position now where we can afford that extra hour payment, so for like the fields down there, we'll just need to work a bit on that and what it does, does what it does at the end of the day, I'm not too fussed on that. But yeah, so next time what we're going to do is get the cookie factory in, get the sugar processed and hopefully that we can get sugar and other things. Get the milk sent over as well, so that we can make some delicious cookies. Because yeah, we do have strawberry and we can make strawberry cookies more or less straight away. I do have to like, market match our production a little bit because I can't set things to distribute. Because otherwise it's going to get sent to the other production chains we've got that we can use. but. So it'll be a case off, it comes out, I have to put it back in, but you know what, that's I can live with, with that to be honest, all things considering. Hello folks, and welcome back to Coral Farm. Here we are, we're in the second week of October now. And yeah, we're just returning from the dealership because we've got some horse feed here, so we've got oats here. I thought this was going to be a mixture, like a complete food mix, but apparently not, so... But yeah, anyways, we need to feed our horses, because they're running low on food. But yeah, the goal for today is going to be get the fields turned over, because we still need to seed grass in all of our fields. To get that extra cut of silage going to the new year. We do have grass ready to mow, but I don't think I'm going to do that quite what yeah we'll wait until at least November because then what we can do then is simply fade it, let it ferment for a month and then sell it so start off with get a worker on this there we go and that's just gonna do its own thing there we go but yeah, also we got fertilizing and cultivation to do on 110. We got finished to seeding on field 53. 
And then we've got the front lights, 54, 106 and 107. They all have been drilled with grass seeds, but obviously now we need to fertilize it. I think I'll do the roll there maybe. Not sure as of yet, but we can wait on that. But so yeah, anyways, let's get back to the farm and feed our horses. And there we go, so yeah, we're at the farm now. So I think we're still gonna need some hay. I think we've got a hay bell somewhere over here, hopefully. Hopefully I haven't been that stupid in completely forgetting to feed the horses. Or forgot to keep the hay for the horses, but you know, I'll go over here and have a little quick look. So that would be over here. Oh yeah, I've still got plenty of hay. So yeah, we'll scrap Ooh, no just one please. So yeah, most of that hay is gonna be for the sheep. And also for the Angus cows, because obviously they don't need TMR mix. So we can just feed them TMR as and when. So yeah, if we go to here. Oh no. Go to our animals tap. Go down and have a look at our horses. So yeah, they need a little bit of hay. How's that? Oh, gaining a bit more. Nope. Oh, dang it. Ah, bugger. Okay, that's a bit too much hay, but fair enough. Didn't all want to do that, but... Anywho, we'll go and... Hopefully we can reverse this in. But yeah, this is going to be a very tight going in, and Roy cocked it up. But yeah, I ain't gonna keep the horses for too long. I think we'll keep them over the winter period. But come spring, we will definitely sell them. So yeah, a few more months and I'll be looking after them, which ain't gonna be too much of a job in fairness. I should do mind looking after these horses. They're not really that profitable, but it's something different. And again, it brings attraction to the country park aspect, so. That's the thing, that's part of our site business, so when we get locals coming in, or people from cross country, or even from a different country, come to visit Cork Farm. Who knows, tourism is good, so... Yeah, so if we, say, put the oats here... So I'm going to consume it, or do we need to... I think we need to open the bags on these, I think. Can we just not give them to directly? I don't think so. Yeah, base food ain't going up at all, so... It looks like we'll need something to pick them up with, so... Alright, fair enough. Bear with me a sec. There we go, so yeah, just cut the open cut open the bags. I will put it into here, so Okay, I've currently missed the complete area, so it is OC have, it is the base food. Horse because that's how I purchase this. Purchase as a horse feed bag, so. So, literally, nothing whatsoever. Does everybody need a trailer? God dang it. I thought we could just tip it in, but no. Okay, not even if I do directly over the pit. Yeah, no, I'm just going to chuck it out. Frick's sake, so... Ooh, there we go. Ah, uh, bear with me for one more second whilst I get this sorted. There we go, we have to try to sort it. And yeah, that was a bit of a palaver. 
But anywho, we'll get this story in. Also, we've gone except today should be contract on field 90. We've gone and borrowed the equipment from the farmer, so we'll be paying what about a hundred pounds leasing fee from the farmer, and that's fine. That is completely fine for us. That covers like the wear and tear and I'm guessing all weather. Uh, oh boy. It's a small trailer, but it doesn't help if I didn't align it properly. Anywho, let's go and whack you in. There we go. Now we'll put our oops in here. Of course it is a swivel axle, not a fixed axle, which does annoy me a little bit, but beggars can't be choosers. This is a very cheap trailer, I think, what, four grand this cost is for, well look at it, we're already at 38% with just what we've got, so, yeah, not too bad. Is that all of it? Sure, that wasn't all of it, right? No, it wasn't all of it, so... Ah, wait a minute. Is this... Ah, that's why, it's food that is at the max, so... Can't put any more in, that's part of why he wasn't going in. Oh, stupid envoy. Uh, idiot sandwich moment there, but anywho, let's go and uh, what should we do now? So, workers doing their continue on, so I think we'll give a little hand a sec. There we go, so I think turn around. Yeah, I do like this little track, what was it? The uh, Wenzel PM truck 2385. Yeah, I'm not sure of the brand name on that, but it's such a cute little combat, combat tractor. And actually, that'd be good for like vendor for a but... There we go. Should be able to go in there for some reason. Now it is. So yeah, we're already at 30,000 litres and counting. So yeah, you know what, so we need to work on that. Workers seeding away, and obviously we're almost out of seeds. We're out of fertilizer, so that's going to be interesting, but I think the best we can do is take over. Let's go and get everything done by ourselves. Actually, no, I need to work on that. Yeah, because we need to do frozen and cultivating here. And yeah, also gone bought that front tanker for a grand. So yeah. Let's go with this done. And I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here.
some time later just been doing the Shibby contract. Also, since then, I have left the game and given the game an update because Court Farm just had a new update with the new Lightning by Bullet Bill and there is a significant difference. So, so before he was like a month behind, so for example, currently we were in September because just with the light, how the lighting worked previously, it was like a month back, you need to put the candle on to get the appropriate light in. But now, yeah, it's absolutely beautiful, like the sun, like October time, sun just starting to set. That is realistic, so I'm glad about that. But anyway, so we've gone and done this contract, so thank you very much. Uh, we need a tractor, so bear with me a sec. Should have done that first. As I was saying, yeah, we've gone and completed this contract. And we've got an extra 40,000 litres of sugar beet. And because we're in need of money at the moment, I'm just going to go and sell this. So, there we go. Send the sugar beets. Should get some decent money out from this. Yeah, 29 grand, so not too bad. Uh, wait a minute, why is my gone? I'm clicking complete contract. But it's not, let me. Oh, bloody hell. Uh, I'm guessing that's a bug with the update. Guessing that because obviously I accepted the contract in the previous game save version or the last update, and yeah. Let's see if I can get that amended set because, yeah, that is playing up. Okay, so I had to add the money in, fair enough. That ain't too much of an issue, but anyways, we've got a load of sugar beet here because now. It is time to get the cookie factory in. As will be most likely the thumbnail of this episode, we're gonna put the cookie factory in. And I'm gonna put it down by Stonebridge Farm because it's a suitable area as well. We flagged out put a little pad down already, so it's all set up and ready to go now. All it is just requires now is us putting the factory down and getting the sugar beet in. So now we'll take sugar beet. I don't know if we'll take sugar beet cut or not. As an aspect for sugar, if it does, then we will release a sugar beet cut trailer that will load it in. And as we unload it, it will have it's basically like a muck spreader where it spins on the back. But rather than chucking up manure, it will chop sugar beet and get sugar beet cut. So. Well, yeah, I forgot about the break in on this. Good thing is, we've also got a couple of packs of strawberries over here already. And yeah, we're going to go into here. I think realistically, I should set up a way of properly getting in and out of here. And that is not even the way we're going in. To the left, we've got to go. But yeah, I'm thinking maybe you could put a little co cover in, cover in, and then fill this land up with gravel or something. Just so it makes our life so much easier to deal with and manage, so... Anyways, we're going to open this up, and this is where the cookie factory is going to be at, so... Next to our sheep and that, so a decent area. So let's go and sort this out. Let's go into our productions tab. Now we'll scroll down and it should be one of the first few in. There we go, we want this one here, so 72,600. And yeah, it's gonna be some minor landscaping maybe required, but overall, it is not too bad. May decorate it, add some trees in or something, but yeah, overall it's not looking too bad. So 
now we've got this, we can actually look at what we need and what is required. So, ah, yeah, that's good. So we can do should be cut. Emo is a high process rate, so let's hop into here. There we go. I know we're going to need for over and strawberries as well. I think we're going to need flour as well. the sugar beet. So yeah, the sugar beet cut trader. I think, I think we've got it still installed. Yes, we have the beet ninja. Actually, do I have the order version of this? No, I do not. But no worries, what we can do is cut it at the silo and dump it back in and then we we'll just pick it up. There we go. So yeah, the sugar beet is in ready, and yeah, we're getting sugar already. So we're gonna need butter, flour, and eggs, and all sorts of stuff. So we do need oats. Get oat meals, oat milk cookies. But I don't think we're gonna do a variety just because we won't be able to do yeah oatmeal raisins so we need butter sugar and cheese so fair enough so butter sugar cheese and chocolate I'm gonna turn that on but yeah I wish we wait a minute that's a 10 to 9 ratio That's a five now. No, not that one. Up here. What's the ratio up here? Ten to nine. Uh, vaguely similar, so. But yeah, so we're going to need flour in, so. What I may do is set the pad spawn. Yeah, we'll let the pad spawn. So yeah, we need eggs as well, so I was thinking about to send the eggs, but actually we won't, so we can do that once we get the milk over. Yeah, sure, let's do chocolate and chocolate chip. Only difference is a bit more chocolate. We'll get that enabled as well. So yeah. And then we're going to grab some flour and that, milk in now. And actually, we may, perhaps we may want to buy some milk in. But is there any decent price milk available? So, bear with me a sec, whilst I have a look here at our options. So, skipped ahead a little time here, and here is all we got. We skipped ahead so that we can have one flour pallet. But yeah, we've spent all our money, not sure if it was a good choice, on chocolates, cheese, and milk. So, all of this is going to be for the cookie factory. Spent like 50 grand or so. Yeah, initially I was planning on saving my money in that, you know. Get a lorry in that at some point, but uh, nope. Instead, we're using this, so that's good at least. But yeah, we can get our money back soon. We can always lease out a lorry. You know, put it at least for the day. I say, we'll pay the dealership at the end of the day, but... So yeah, I'm not sure if this is a good choice. We do need more flour in that, realistically. I know I've got that big, like, also they pad it with, like, 90, almost 100,000 litres of flour, but... I may hold off on that for the time being. Yeah, I don't know if it was a good choice or not. I'll say it was. For the time being, this unproved otherwise, but... Because, yeah, we ain't got like 10,000 litres of milk or so at the moment, so we ain't gonna last too long. And maybe things while we may swap out some of our cows for actual dairy cows. 
pubs, and with that right there, we can get milk in. No problems whatsoever. But yeah, it's just that argument of where do you go, how far do you go with it all. Like, this costs us a lot of money. We ain't cheating this in. If I want to, I could have cheated in the milk at least, a bit. At a highly discounted rate, but I thought, no, let's go with something, you know, normal. Yeah, the only cheat side technically is the liftable pallets, but in fairness, I am not complaining on that. But yeah, it's also making me think, perhaps we should do wheat and, or at least oats. Because can we plant oats? N yes, we can, so... Uh, uh, we do have a couple of fields ready. We've got the field here to our left, ready. And then we got the field down at the bottom. That needs to be cultivated, but we can always do oats. I think I will. I think I'll do wheat in one and oats in the other. I wasn't planning on doing that, I was going to plan to do grass. Actually, I think the other one has already got grass in it. Oh, do tell me. If it has, then um, we can do wheat in the spring. But yeah, go to here. Have a look at the soil map. Uh, yeah, I think that's been cold seeded with grass. Ah, no, it's 110, sorry, I'm on about. Yeah, 110. Yeah, 110, and this field. So I think if we do wheat here, and um, do oats in the bigger field. Phew, I thought they were fucked up there for a moment, but no. So yeah, bear with me a sec. Let me get this all loaded up, and then taken to the cookie factory, and we'll get this all loaded in. There we go, so yeah, we've got all the stuff we need here, so let's go and put this in. And hopefully this takes everything, it's not taking the milk, that ain't great. Nope, not taking the milk. Don't fancy the milk? Uh, fair enough, suits you. Full of being like, no ticket from the IBC, which to me makes sense because obviously, oh uh, yeah, so oh, uh, this has been a real pleasure for us. So, you know what I'm gonna do is skip to the morning, I'm gonna sort this out, and I'm gonna show you folks the results of everything that we have done because, yeah, I need to sort this out. So, before we have a look at the cookies, because we have skipped a significant amount of time, so I just wanted to see, like, pretty much what was the total output, and we've almost assumed everything that we've had. All the milk is gone, like, including the ones we bought, so... But I think it was worth it, so, just had a bit of slurry, because we need to, obviously, get some money, because we're in negative money, but now we're not. So yeah, let's go in and have a look at our cookies, and yeah, we've got a ton of cookies, like this is strawberry cookies, the red ones, guessing that is chocolate chip, and that is sugar cookies, yeah. I've got three pounds of sugar already spawned, and we've got a lot more here, so if we have a look, we've got 15,000 years of cheese, 5,000 years of chocolate left, 54,000 years of sugar, because I've gone and cut some sugar beet, so yeah, I've still got plenty of sugar to process, so... Come some time, that's going to be a really good profit for us, so... That's what that's in for so I may keep some of it in storage, even. But yeah, so if we have a look here, we've got 2,000 litres, basically, left to spawn. Along with additional 7,000 litres of sugar cookies. 8,000 litres of chocolate chip cookies. Add 9,000 litres of chocolate chocolate chip cookies. And of course, no oatmeal because we don't have oats and we don't have raisins. But still, that is a lot. So let's take the strawberry cheesecake cookie. So that is 2,000 litres. And if we got 
Number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's nine thousand years we've got. Now if we go to the prices, if we have a look, go down here. They are worth a significant amount of money. So strawberry cheesecake at the moment we can get fifteen grand for that. That's gonna peak in December, so I think yeah, wait till yeah, wait a few more months. This we're absolutely desperate for money, but I think honestly I'd rather sell our apple juice and apple honey because yeah, they're peaking around now, so we can get away with selling it now. Yeah, eight five hundred. So yeah, really, really, should, should we sell those? Actually, let's go and sell those and get a bit of income in. But yeah, we're gonna make that's what fifty grand for thousands of years. That's almost a hundred and fifty grand. That's just for one category. What about the chocolate chips? Okay, chocolate chips and that are worth a little slightly less. Including sugar cookies, which makes sense because it's less input. But yeah, the chocolate chocolate chips. We look at the prices, like... Obviously the cheese, strawberry cheesecake is actually the better one to go with. So really, I think to dictate to do more just strawberry cheesecakes. Stop doing the sugar cookies. I should just do that now. Because, yeah, this production is extremely profitable for us. I've still got flour left. We did use the pallets that we had and may have put a bit too much in there. But, worst case scenario, if we really want to use all that flour, we can just buy these inputs. Buy, you know, your butt. Actually, no, so much of the butter. Buy milk. Buy eggs. Unless we get more chickens in, which may require some editing off the map but yeah really that's what it is just milking that we need yeah I think yeah I could do with more sugar I think if you just do chocolate chocolate chip cookies and strawberry cheesecake cookies that is extremely profitable so yeah I think at the moment we're sitting on Fantastic. Yeah, it's like almost five, about 500 grand worth of cookies there. And that is just from overnight. Yeah, it's okay, technically it's a higher output. But regardless, that is extremely profitable. And obviously to get our money back, we need to sell some apple juice. So, we need to do that. So yeah, I think let's do a little quick time lapse here. But yeah, everything's being all disjointed and that. And yeah, no, come for the hedgerows, but that was just because the workers and that where we stopped and that. So, yeah, let's go and get the apple juice and all that and sell them. So, yeah, there you go. Go to the market stall. Is that correct? Go up here, have a look. Yeah, farmer's market, actually. My correction. So, yeah, I'll tag that location. So, yeah, let's get all this done. And I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here.
And here we go. So as we are just getting the last bits of our apple honey. Boy, that was painful to deal with. Perhaps I should have done it the opposite way around with ant skids deer in the warehouse. But also, I did compensate ourselves 4,900 quid for the pallets of apple juice and strawberries. Like, it's literally glitched in. Like, literally no way of removing that, so... Yeah, okay. yeah okay. You can't do anything about it, you can just like, turn on the spot. I think that's what happened when, obviously, you try to spawn so many pads at the same time. Oh, maybe get out of the wiggle it. Can we wiggle it out, actually? If you can get these free, then yeah, I'll just take the money back. That's not an issue. But yeah, I'm not losing money because of a glitch. Come on. So yeah, it's caught on the ramps now. Oh well, come back to that later on. But yeah, so we made a hefty chunk and change, like 90 grand almost overall. Oh, well, actually, yeah, just over 90 grand. Well, you can't lose three pallets we've lost, so... Yeah, not too bad. And we're actually back up in the red. I was in this episode, I was initially hoping to... get everything else fertilised and seed the oats and wheat for the flower production. But yeah, that just seemed... hasn't happened just because of issues that we've been having, so... It's going to be a bit of a short episode today than initially planned, but then, yeah, next time what we'll do is we'll get everything seeded and all that. That's not going to be an issue for us. And also, then we may skip to December and start selling the rest of our produces, including our cookies. And actually, I am tempted to buy more stuff for the. Oh, was it? For the cookie factory. I mean, like, yeah, we spent like 20, like 50, no, 50 grand on stuff. And we're going to make that money back, no problems whatsoever, so. All it just means is our total profit margins are a bit less than what it would have been, but. Still, making profit, if you can extrapolate that. You know, say if you chuck a hundred grand worth of stuff in there and let that cycle over the next six months then we'll be absolutely laughing to the bank. Because we're over the long run, the longer we get able to keep that production going and booming. Yeah, I think that is an option for us. But yeah, of course well in Actually, when is sugar at its peak price? So I don't think sugar peaks in December. I think it's like like springtime, like April, like along the lines with the close, if I recall correctly. I could be wrong, which is a very good chance. Or not quite. It's a little bit of like August, but then we're only looking at a two hundred pounds difference per thousand liters, and at the moment. Really, should we send that sugar now? So yeah, I think that's what I should do actually, is grab sugar and sell that. We can do that in the next episode as well, so... Yeah, we've got a few options for us in terms of what we can do. But yeah, we've got the last bits of the apple juice, 8,000 litres of apple juice, and 2,000 litres of apple honey, and... That is totally going to help us with... You know, just pretty much get everything done in terms with getting the loans paid off eventually. Or even just fund the lorry, because I'm looking at some lorry options and I think if we go down a particular route, it's going to cost us about 90 grand to 100 grand for the lorry. And for the trader, you're looking at between 20 25 grand, upwards to 50 grand, so. If we can at least hit the 125 grand mark, then yeah, we can afford the lorry in that. 
but again, that's options as well for us. We've also got like two million years of straw to sell. And I think what I would do with that, that straw is actually take it out and bathe it. So I think there is like a multi bather kind of thing that you can take stuff from the silos. No, not here. Because you are around the corner. <coughs> yeah, I think there's like a a combi multi bayer thing. Not not to go vel stuff. Yeah, like a ponder one, I think it is. Basically you can empty it from the silo and then sell it, so not sell it, like bait it. So I think if we do that we'll be absolutely laughing. There we go. Ah yeah, easy hit the hundred and fifty gram mark. Hundred and eighty Ah not quite, but <coughs> still seventy six grand that is nothing to snuff at. That is more than enough for the lorry in that. Yeah, because I'm thinking, yeah, quick, actually, skip, yeah, get away from the noise out from the deer ship. But yeah, I'm going to trucks now. But yeah, I've got so many options. we got the 114 and 124 G series. Yeah, if go something like that. Actually, now nah, I want something more sun face, you know, like a Volvo or a man. But yeah, we're going to start. If we go 6x4, yeah, I think 6x4, 420 horsepower, big old tires and that. And just whatever. And all that. Yeah, all the, the customizations get stupid. Like, 12 grand for suspension? What? But yeah, I think there's that. Also got the cab overs. But something like that, like the 44202. Like your old like American like vehicles, like your military vehicles. Big old spare tire. But I think to keep it simple, keep it simple stupid. Just go with your, your old good old fashioned oh, men. The three three four one four six by six does have a front three point linkage option, so yeah, yeah. If you look at yeah, because engine is four fourteen. We're not having to navigate too many hills. I think you can get some agricultural tires like that. Ninety nine grand, simple. And for traders, yeah, like a low loader or something of that category. Could go with, yeah, let's like say 55 grand, like upwards of 50 grand for the platinum stuff. But got things like this the agricultural plank. Something simple, something simple, rudimentary basic. And you go with the Fiegel here. Or there is one under bell loaders. Where is it to? Yeah, there we go. The Fiegel semi trailer. That's a lot longer. Yes, it has option for bells in that auto load. But yeah, even just standards. That's fine for us. That'd be a good, you know, transport all of our products and that back and forth because we'll be sticking to the main areas we won't be like, navigating the lanes and that and like, worst case scenario if we can't navigate this area here we just go a loop around but I think in, in realistically going through this way <coughs> would be the easier route because that turn there is quite a yeah difficult to deal with but say but yeah so yeah we've got a variety of options for us so yep yeah, I think that's gonna leave it today so yeah next time we're looking at buying the lorry 
haven't made my mind up yet on what we're going to go for, but I'm sure I'll figure something out. And then, yep, get the fields planted with wheat and barley. And also make sure all the fields are fertilised. The road in, I'm not too particularly worried about, so I may just see that. Hello folks, and welcome back to Core Farm. Here we are in October still. I was going to go and skip ahead till the next day. However, we have got a great demand for sugar at Pine Creek stores. It's way above its recommended normal price of about 1600 per thousand litres, so what I'm going to do now is fill up the sugar, and yeah, we're going to take that and set it. Also, you may have seen the mice gone down a bit, that's because once again I spent around 50 grand on eggs and milk for the cookie factory, because I said in that episode, we're prolonging the production chain so it just makes sense it does it makes sense to spend the money so we can have more profit in the long run yep per cycle we're losing money technically compared to if we just left it as it was but over the long run because we should have enough until around December end of November into December so yeah, that's why I've in particular gone for that. And actually, this could be good for the cookies as well, but I'm going to do that. I'm going to be careful not selecting the cookies or anything. So yeah, if we have a look here, we have 64,000 litres of sugar. So yeah, so that is... Auto load is this site, so... Should just take all that sugar. There we go. And yeah, we're still going to be producing sugar anyway, so it's not going to be an issue for us. As you see, that is absolutely just filling up. So yeah, I'm going to fill this up a sec. So you bear with me a few moments whilst it gets filled up, and then we'll go and sell this. And there we go. So <laughs> took a little bit longer than planned. Yeah, it was just taking forever for them to spawn the sugar, so... In total, we've got 70,000 litres of sugar. And also, what was I here waiting for that? I thought, heck it. Let's load up the trader of all of our cookies. So, we've got 33, 42,000 litres of cookies. Man, that is a lot of cookies, that's for sure. Ah uh, yeah, we're going to make a lot of money for those when we sell them in December. But I think for now what we'll do is we'll put the cookies in storage. Hopefully we don't have any issues with the pallets because... God help us if that's the case. But yeah, I think what I'll do next time is... Just simply only spawn a couple at a time, move them and that because... Yeah, we've already lost three pallets. Don't lose any more, so... I'm going to put that there for the moment. We also need fuel in that. Yeah, the cookies are going in. They are accepted. That is good. There we go. That is good to see. So, I was going to dump the tree here for now. And now we have a look inside. 93 pallets out of 450 as cookies, so... Lovely jubbly. Now, let's take the sugar and sell it. There we go, just going to grab that. And we're going to Pine Creek Stores, which is by the BGA, so... I'll see you there in a few moments. And here we are, so let's go sell sugar and we should get about 140 grand from this, so yeah, that is selling. And then what we'll do with the money is, for one, we want a new lorry, so because 
Yeah, holding stuff is putting wear and tear on our tractors and that. Especially as we're getting to the high hours, like like John Deere. That's already got 37 hours on it, and if you save an hour or two from holding and use an actual lorry, I think that would be the best thing for us. So, yeah, just down a little bit there, 12,000 litres. And yeah, look at that, we're already at a quarter of a million. There we go. That's a bit. That is 152 grand almost. Wow. That ain't a bad haul, so you know what? Let's go get some rest. I'm going to order the lorry, and I'll see you folks in the morning with what we have gone with in the end. And there we go, so we've got our new lorry. So let's have a look at this. This is the MAN 33414. And um, we also got the Flegal Flatbread. Flatbread? Uh, flatbed semi-trader and if we have a look here so we'll go to our own equipment truck so yeah 414 horsepower so not the most powerful but i think it really should do just fine for us and also we've got the flatbed semi-trader so that does have the option for bales and that so for now what we're going to do is just leave it here stored up right against i should shut this right Oh, do you realize we can oh do not realize we can do that with the ramps. But yeah, I'll try say Where have got a press washer from, but yeah, can we shut these? Because I think we can. No, I don't want that. I want to Shut that. Oh, I'm not sure, but yeah, so anyways. Yeah, we've got the trailer here. Oh. That's come up in old school 50. Can we amend that? There we go. So now that is all lined up. But yeah, you know what? We'll just leave that there for now. And we'll <laughs> move on, so. We've also spent money on just purchasing some more milk, so we've got 64,000 litres of milk now. And basically what I'm going to do is just keep on buying until we've run out of flour and that. So, obviously like your flour and milk, we have a look. Don't use milk for that, but we do use milk to make chocolate and all that. So, we'll want to make sure we have enough chocolate. We're fine for butter for the time being, but once they run out, that's it. No more cookies for us, but in fairness, we've got a lot of cookies, and I did initially buy another one of these. So I was hoping to you will sell some more flour, not flour, sell some more sugar at the top price. But if we have a look, literally it was fine at its peak price. In the morning, but this just used to be hit nine o'clock. It went straight down. I was like, "Ah, come on!" Should be quicker on that. But anyways, we got forty-two thousand liters for the time being. Yeah, I'm not sure what I exactly do that with that. But anywho, we need to go back to the farm because we need to do fertilizing and we need to sort out getting the wheat and oats in the ground now because we're at the end of the deadline for the winter wheat and that. I think, yeah, cause I think October is the deadline, right? Well, we can go to November, but I want to get it in now, so we will sort that out. <coughs> Turn times back on times two, times two, three for the time being. But yeah, so let's go back to the farm, get everything all hooked up and sorted. And let's go and fertilize and seed our fields. So with the John Deere A410 here, we've got the cultivator, this arrow here. And also down here we've got our seeder that we did place in last episode. So yeah. The plan is gonna be this field is gonna be oats. 
and field 110 is going to be wheat. Oops, we have way. Oh, come on. Just, I'll give you more room. Oh, selfish. That's lovely. As I was saying, yeah, this is going to be oats. 110 is going to be wheat. So that's purely wheat is for like the flour and that, and oats. It's going to be for the cookies, maybe. We may do some oat. Maybe some oat raisins if we get some vines in. But yeah, I'm not sure on that part yet. But anywho, get it lowered. There we go. So yeah. We have a look here at our fertilizing site. We need to fertilize all of these fields here. Get this seed cultivated and seeded, and then just seed field 110. If I'm correct, yep. So yeah, that ain't gonna take us too long. Maybe an hour or so. So yeah, let's get all this done. And I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here. There we go, so we have put the oats in. Now we're putting wheat into field 110. And yeah, that took a lot longer than planned. I thought, ooh, in the time for a time lapse now. We'll have had everything done, but nope. So yeah, we had issues with fertilizing. So we'll have a look at that in a sec. But yeah, basically what it is is that if we have a look, actually, for now. Yeah, we'll stop there for now. We'll go back to that in a sec. So if we go to our map, there we go. Look at fertilized. There's bits that we couldn't fertilize because we had the grass needs to grow. But anyways, that field is fully fertilized and we already previously fertilized this field, so that ain't gonna be an issue for us. 
But yeah, so just confirm it's oats because we did have issue issue of actually putting grass in, but yeah, went over that down here and sorted out. So yeah, I am excited, especially well, sort of coming back onto this after the release of GTA 6 trailer. Boy, yeah, I was just about to get ready to go to bed, and what's well, so, on? You know, I thought pop onto YouTube now on my smart TV. Whilst I was in bed, you know, flicking through, see who's on in that, see like videos and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, it's like some of the content creators I follow, like Sonny Evans and that. I saw, oh, GT6 trailer leak reaction. I thought, okay, is that just like a clickbait thing or what? But no, actually, it leaked like 13 hours early. And yep, yeah, it's a 9 second trailer. It's coming 2025, I'd guess. Maybe either March or April 2025 or November, like October, November ish time. And that's just simply based on like every other GTA game apart from GTA 4. That's coming out October ish, November ish time. With the exception of GTA 4, when that all came out around February, March ish time, so who knows? Could be like a financial year, like. 2025 it turns with it ends in like it's April to March fiscal year so it could be yeah early 2025 in the first quarter or so but who knows I'm excited and yeah the details of it like, I've looked into that I think free stream a few bits and yeah I'm optimistic hopefully it's going to be a huge thing, guaranteed to be one of the best games of all time. Certainly, as I'm recording this bit now, it has broken Mr. Beast's record for the most viewed non-music video on YouTube in 24 hours. Like currently, like 75, 76 million views. But yeah, that is just absolutely crazy. But anyways, back on to farming, so yeah, we're going to do wheat here. Once we've done this headlands, I'm going to get the work off on this, because we do have some money. And yeah, I'm thinking, generally it's time to sell the horses. Yep, yeah, I was going to wait till, you know, next year to do it. But yeah, I'm thinking, sell the horses. So the pasture now, get a little bit of money from the pasture now. So yeah, there we go, let's get a worker off on that. There we go. So yeah, let's go to our horses. So yeah, go to the animal dialer box. And yeah, considering everything we've been doing, like buying all the feed and that. Yeah, that was pretty much worthless in the end. Anyway, so we need to remove this. Ah, uh, we need JCB perhaps. Where's that too? No, oh, that's here. So yeah, we'll grab John Deere to get everything removed. So yeah, I'm thinking. Also, you can't remove the actual physical pens itself. It's sold the troughs and that, and the triggers, but... Okay... Well, so, yeah, that was a bit of a long break in there, so... But yeah, I'm thinking, obviously, we can put productions in here, but... Given the space of the gate here... Yeah, it ain't gonna work, unless we lift stuff out now, but... Oh, I don't know. Tempted, but yeah, I think what we do is just go and put some more apple trees on because, as we know, the apples are absolutely just huge. Like, financially wise, it's just incredible. So, yeah, we'll put the low loader in there. But, yeah, with the apple juice itself, we can, or the apples, we can transfer them over, but. I think, depends on how much we can get put down. 
if we can get a few down in here, then... Because obviously, with Courtfront Country Park, it's not going to be like your industrial area now. That, that's the last thing, it's not designed for that, simply. And actually, what we can do with these oats is take them down and make some cookies. You know, some little cheeky oat cookies. Sure, why not, we can do that. So let's go and set you to go to here. There we go. So we're just going to do that. Off it goes. So yeah, we'll go to this free dung pile. We get 2200 from it. So yeah, that removes the troughs and the triggers. So to have a little bit of poop left over. But hey, that could be, you know, like, your natural fertilizer in a way. So we need to go to our orchards. And actually, one thing I will do temporarily, in case we do decide, you know, to actually collect these, the interactive markers, so... Yeah, I'm thinking I just place a bunch of these down. Because what these can do is, you know, the locals, they can come by and pick them. So, you know, they pick apples. There we go. Actually, if I do down along here, then we can just go a line across afterwards. So, there we go. So yeah, this is going to be a bunch of apples. There we go. So yeah, let me just quickly get these placed down, and then we'll come back and see how it all looks afterwards. And yeah, I think that actually looks quite nice. So yeah, if we shut the gate, like how many we've got? We've got three along here, four. We got so much place down here, so actually we can have a look here at our productions tab. And that is 24 new apple trees we've put down. And yeah, what I'm gonna do is set those to sell. And also we're gonna do the same with our other, like was it 15 or so we've got here? Because yeah, we've got tons of apples at the moment, so. So yeah, I think we're just going to set everything to sell. Obviously, they require water, but thankfully we've got a distribution thing. There we go. Just want to keep those. There we go. Because, yeah, that's going to bring us some huge amount of money in. Because, yeah, we don't need any more apples in the production for the time being. And yeah, we're going to get the average price and 80% of it, but still, I think we've got enough productions and enough pallets as it is at the moment, so losing a bit of money, technically, I am not too worried about that. But yeah, I'm thinking, oh, we're going to get a lot of money from this, so we'll skip ahead time here. There we go, to one o'clock. I was going to get too much money in, but everything now should have water. And actually, it has that affect our water distribution, so... Because do we need to top that up now? Yes, we do, so we'll get on to that. But, yeah, that was going to be for another time, but just for laughs. We're at 3,200. 3, Let's skip ahead just one hour. One hour in a quarter of a month. And that is a lot of money there. It's like, what, 1,600 quid we earned there. So, yeah, I think that's going to be worth it. Is there anything in here worth? Ugh. Funny enough, that's popped up again. And workers had issues, so 
Oh, let's go and put these oops in. Ourselves, because... Like, how? I know it hasn't got a great turn in circle, but... God! Anywho, yeah. Let's quick get in, and then we'll resume the planting of the wheat. And here we are with the oats, because, yeah, the oats to cookie ratio is a 1 to 9, so we should get about, about almost 18,000 litres, about, yeah, 17,000 litres of, no, sorry, no, if it's a 1 to 9, we just put 2,000 litres in, so yeah. Actually, yeah, I'm right there, so... But yeah, oh, 42,000 years of sugar. I think there is a new sugar production that's just come out, but... I think we're gonna start relaxing off and start calming down with the... All the production stuff we've been doing, like, we've got the cookies... And yeah, we've got another 24 apple trees in, so... Yeah, I think we're good for the time being, if not the remainder of this series at least, so... Where is that to the... there we go. Alright, it's done an okay job, I'm guessing. But yeah, so let's do a quick time lapse, get all this done, and I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here. Done. Now, what we're just gonna do is we're just gonna roll these two fields. So yeah, this one here for the oats and the wheat field. We're just gonna get them rolled. Even though I'm really being too keen on rolling when it comes to the grass, but essentially it's gonna be a quick crop. And with how much we're doing, yeah, I'm not too fussed about in terms with. Oh, yeah, we need to make sure everything's all sorted, but. For at least with our actual grains and our natural crops and that itself. We're still going to do rolling because that 5% will make a difference. Especially with the oats because, yeah, we'll do some oats and that. Maybe even do like a small vineyard, you know. Nothing too over the top I'm going to be doing with, most like with, not Court Farm, with Numa Sand. And Survival Challenge, but, you know, just get a couple of strips of grapes in. And yeah, even though yeah, if we can get a harvester on the second hand market, that'd be nice. But there are some vineyard packs, and I think there is a cheaper, a way cheaper pull behind harvester. If that's the case, yeah, we can look into that. But yeah, when can we plant grapes? It's going to be next year, right? Yeah, March, so... Who knows, that could be something we'll look into. 
But anyways, I will continue on this, and we're going to leave, leave it here for today. So yeah, next time what we'll be doing is get the rest of this finished off. And yeah, I think we'll start skipping ahead some months. And yeah, I think we'll perhaps next time we'll see each other is when we are doing slide work. Yeah, because yeah, we need to do slide engine at at some point. So yeah, around November, if, if not December. But yeah, so anyways, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, very choose to do. Hope you have a nice day. For now, it's before our Envoy stream. And I'll see you all very soon.